Now that you're gone, I spend my nights all alone here Wishing you were here, sweet and my
Yo, what's up guys? Welcome. How's tricks? Got my chat today, I see. When I say quiet, I mean, there's nobody here. But that's okay. We've done this a couple of times before. We know how to handle it here. Let me just turn down some of our music a little bit. Real quickly. There we go. Now I can talk to you guys properly. What I'm actually going to do, guys, is seen as... I've got a couple of minutes here. Sure, you want to set blood into such a mysterious realm? Jake, Rum. Yes, fine. I'm not shooting on you. Jake, Rum with the Arnie walk-on. Probably the most baffling choice of all the uh, all the walk-ons that you've ever picked, Jake, Rum. But I like it. And we can deal with that no problem at all. How you doing, bud? You uh, you off sick today? What I've actually realised, guys, is I didn't actually. Publish not yesterday's VOD because we weren't here yesterday, but I didn't actually publish the last couple of VODs, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that just now um, on YouTube. So hopefully everything will go smoothly. I'll maybe just do one and then I'll do the other one later. But um, yeah, so if this is five, this one becomes six. Just need a couple of minutes to s do this, guys, and then we'll get started as normal. I apologize to anybody who's watching this on a VOD and are like, dude, what the F. I apologise. I should have did this before, uh, actually. I should have done it probably yesterday. But um, here we are now anyway. Might as well make the best of a, a bad situation. Not that it's bad. What is it they say? Like, the, the best the best time to plant a tree was yesterday? Or like 40 years ago or something? But the, uh, the second best time to plant a tree is today, so... I'm gonna fucking do that shit real quickly. Let's go ahead and change the thumbnail. I have to do this rigmarole, rigmarole every every time, every day. So I've let it slip a couple of days, which is quite bad because if anybody is actually enjoying watching these daily on YouTube, it must be quite annoying when the the douchebag uploader doesn't even uh, keep up or whatever. So this one's a long vod though, part six. Streamed this for nine hours and seventeen minutes. Still off. All right, my dude. What have you been up to today, man? Have you been up for? Uh, well, first of all, have you been managing to keep your uh, your kind of early morning routine, or have you been getting up later on in the day? Cause I know you're up at like fucking half six for work every day or some mad shit, right? I'll put an ad here, and we'll fucking put an ad here, and lastly, I fucking we'll put one like here. I'll do. Save that shit. Cool. Last thing I need to do is copy my link across so that part 5 is linked up. Can get rid of part 5 now. And then we just have to. Fuck. We just have to put the timestamp in the description of when shit actually occurs. Close this. Maybe start playing this roughly. Like, like here. Yeah, fuck it. Ten or two, I'll do. Ten or two. Must it baby save? Welcome back. Magic. Alright, we'll make that one public and then we will leave that for the time being. No more efforts involved just now. If we publish too many videos as well, it's going to piss fuck off on YouTube. It would piss me off. Alright, cool. I say we just get into some Red Dead, guys. I'm going to set this up. I just want to catch your feelings. Alright. Nice, Sue. 
Yo, Ash Balcomon. Ash, uh, Ash Balcom. Hi, bro. Hey, what's up, my guy? Welcome to the stream. Sorry I missed you. I was doing some riffraff nonsense there. Welcome, guys. Teach a man to fish because all roads lead to Rome. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Yeah. All right, back in the back in the saddle here with uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. This is day eight. We are almost fifty percent of the way through this game. If I check real quick, I think I can go into a uh, story, and I can. Oh, I can't go to the save game because it's busy. Uh, can I go to the load game and show you guys? So yeah, here we go. We are at forty six point seven percent, which is a. Uh, I don't know, it's a bit lackluster. What I'm going to do today, guys, is I'm going to follow through on our plans from the other day when we played, not yesterday, but the day before. I was at the dentist yesterday, I can tell you guys all about that, but in all honesty, everything went smoothly. I decided at the end of the last part, we were going to go and get ourselves some decent clothes because there's a couple of things at play here. I feel like I have... I am, yeah, sorry. Um, I feel like we have a lot of money to spend. Hey, Vince, what's up? Welcome to the stream, dude. How's it going, sir? How are you doing, old buddy, old pal, old chum? We are going to hit up St. Denis, which is a big town in Red Dead. A lot of you guys all know this. We are going to head over here and we are going to go clothes shopping for some new fucking outfits, dude. We're going to up. We're gonna go to the clothes shop first and then we're going to go to the gunsmiths, okay? So, we've got a tailor here. Can we go there first? Let's go see what the tailor's got to offer and if that sucks, we'll go to the general store. Maybe we can get ourselves some actual decent clothes. Um, I'm doing well, thanks. How did the scene combo with Mrs. Wolfie go? So when I texted her the other week, Vince, yeah, she was just a little bit confused. We obviously thought it was hilarious because we had context, but to her, she thought she was, she thought that someone had stole my phone or something and was like trolling her or some shit. Uh, I don't know how she jumped immediately to that conclusion. Probably because I don't ever text weird shit like that to her. I'm not even beat the train here. Please don't kill me. If I get hit by a train, that'll make for an excellent clip. Please God. Oh! <gasps> okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't... We didn't exactly... Your horse is critically injured. Um... Uh... Hold on, horse. I think I can save this by making... Hmm... Uh... Is Batwing dead? Or is Batwing still alive? I think Batwing might still be dead. I think Batwing's dead. I, I don't have... Cr I have horse medicine. Oh no. I think Batwing's dead. Um, how's there another train coming through already? I think we have to walk to the city. Batwing, uh, Batwing, I'm sorry for everything that happened. That was a complete accident. Um, now I'm just carrying my saddle. I have, I have good horse medicine to heal certain horses, but I don't have, oh Jesus. I don't have, um, like, I didn't have critical horse medicine, if that makes sense. Yikes. Time to make some glue. Oh shit, Batwing, that was not good. I didn't want you to die like that. Right, well, uh, that was unexpected. I could save scum it, but I feel like we've made our bed. We should just lie with it. I thought there was a risk, but I didn't think the horse would die. Um, I'm pretty sure my horse is dead, right? It's not moving. Oh, it's tail's shriveled up. Yeah, I think it's dead. Um, Alright, well, let's head back to the camp then. I guess I've got a new horse to buy now. Which is a problem. Um, That was unexpected. So here's a... I thought this guy was, like, in distress, but I think he's just, uh... Hey there, partner. Hey. You interested in a little friendly competition? No, my horse just died, mate. Sorry. You a shooting man? I'm uh, looking for I, a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What sorry, I'm busy. That? My horse it literally just got hit by a train, my dude. And I gotta get back to my camp and get Sue. Hmm. But yeah, anyways, <clears throat> now that that's a thing that happened, we need to 
We need to get ourselves some new clothes now. I guess we need to buy ourselves a new horse now. Yikes. Hmm. I don't know what to do now. I I always I did t I did make a note to myself mentally when we spoke last time we were playing, and I said, you know, I, I'm pretty sure there's a critical injury for the horse, but we only have like severe injury medicine. Hey, Snowblower, what's up, my guy? Welcome. Um. Well, shit. Is that the real Mister Snowblower? I think it might be. It might be. It could be a paid actor, you know. There's a lot of um Mr. Snowbar impersonators that live on the internet. You know what what the what it's like. It is indeed. Oh, thank God. Um well in truth I didn't think I'd find myself be doing this. But uh we're here now. I shouldn't have tried to beat the train and get through the gap at once. That was a bit risky. What's bothering me now is that we're going to have to get ourselves a fast horse again. Um, or we could use this time to get a better horse. Arthur, you dumbass. Good to see you back. Mm -hmm. We lost our horse. Yeah, it ran away. Yeah, definitely didn't get hit by a train. Twice. As, as all the carriages went past, they all had a kick at the horse. It was a bit... Um... I didn't run into the train on purpose. Definitely not on purpose. I was trying to beat the train. Um, shit. Okay, well this is going to slow things down a little bit, unfortunately. At least we have the stables. Um, go get your feelings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so how do I do this? Horse station. Retrieve Sue. Thank God we bought this. Sue, what's up, my dude? Um, it's been a while. Okay, girl. It's been a while. Uh, I mean, yeah, literally. Just said that. Right. Okay. Um, I say we head on down to South Park and have a good time. I think we just stick to the original plan. I could look at getting a horse first now, but I feel like I should do that last. Because it's going to be probably expensive. Uh, we could go back north and catch another Arabian horse, but um, I don't know if I have the recipe to make critical horse medicine, but uh, I should probably buy that again for the future just in case. What's the gulag? Oh, I'm in the gulag, says Jkram. Not the gulag, dude. The Gulag is a Russian prison, Vince, but I think the Gulag that Jkram is referring to is the one attached to the new Call of Duty game. Mm -hmm. You got this. Get that second chance. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Alright. Go catch your feelings. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What are you doing? Fucking hell, dude. These maniacs on the road. It's literally like GTA where they just swerve into you. Okay, we're just passing through roads. We don't need to worry about this. I'm pretty sure we made all of the special trinkets we could make the last time I was at this area. So, I don't think we have to worry about any of that. You're gonna give Warzone a look, Wolfie. Ah, Snowblar. Um, I might do, guys, but the thing is, what's what's making me think that I won't be starting or trying out Warzone for a while? Like, it's a lot of my mates are playing it, and it does look interesting, and I, I really love the fact that it's free. I think that's like an insane step by the developers, and it's obviously really good for a lot of people. Um, honestly, the only thing that's holding me back is the storage space, because although I could stick on the download and it would be done in like an hour or something. I um I don't have space on my hard drive for it because I have Red Dead installed. I have Call of Duty on the PS4, and so I'd have to play it on the PS4, which is great because I love playing on PS4 and I can still play with my mates cross-platform. But um the like Call of Duty itself, I know that I know you can download the you can download it separate, right? Like it's a standalone the Warzone mode. But um yeah, it's just I've got Call, I've got Red Dead saved on it now. I've got Final Fantasy 15 saved on it for when we play that. I've also got Tomb Raider saved on the hard drive, 
and my hard drive for the PS4 that I own isn't that large, it's just the standard fucking, I think it's like 250 gig or some shit, 500 gig or some shit, I don't know. But um, it does look interesting, I think it looks very similar to Blackout from the last Call of Duty, but obviously the Modern Warfare spin, um, obviously there's new features like, you know, you can do 1-2s or 3s and then there's the Gulag and I think that's all cool and interesting, but I'm not desperate enough to try it. Um, I have been watching some content on it though, so I am interested. I was watching Dr. Disrespect, Dr. Disrespect play it. I was also watching uh, Jack Frags did a video on it where he explained stuff. So I watched all that, that was pretty cool. How am I supposed to get in here to the shop? Is this whole building the tailors? It says courtesy of the tailors there. So I'm just gonna abandon you. I'm gonna abandon you soon. Shut your mouth. Stop sleepwalking. I'm feeling fine. What have you guys thought about it so far? Those of you guys that have tried it and played it. Has it been good? Spawn external HDD from a PS4 for Final Fantasy 7. Nice. Is it? Right, Taylor, my dude. This would be a good store to rob. Hi, I would like to browse catalog. I need some new clothes, my dude. I got three grand, three G's to spend in here. I also got to consider buying a horse. Uh, outfits. What we got? Um, can I just look at these in the outfit section? Right, um, all outfits. Okay, so the Corson, the Saint Denis. Oh God, these are awful. Yo, Richard, what's up, my dude? Yo, Richard, thank you for resubscribing two months in a row, dude. You're a beast, Mr. Wolf. Not like this. Not hello, friends. Not like this. Oh, sorry, two not like this is followed by three hellos. Welcome, Richard. Welcome to the stream, dude. Thank you for the resub, man. That's hugely appreciated. Thank you. GG's. We've had you two months. Two whole months. Ridiculous. Right, I tell you what. I think these outfits are awful. We're going to have to customise solo. We're going to have to customise solo here. Shut your mouth. Just let me have a look. Um, Can I just view these? Wait, hold on. This is awkward. All hats. I don't know why it doesn't just take you straight to this menu, to, to be honest. I guess, like, they want to have it, like, realist or whatever. The stocking hat looks cool, but it's very faded. Is there a way I could have this in, like, a jet black colour? See, like, something like that? Help you leave here feeling good and looking great. That's pretty cool. It's only a tenner. Let's buy that. Okay. Wait, was there more? Yo, what's up fam? <laughs> hey Rich, thank you again for the resub dude, that's massive. Much, much appreciated my guy. Uh, is there anything else? I never even looked at the rest of these. That one's alright, kind of. I kind of want the hat that Arthur has, but just not as beaten up. State boss hat, bowler. No, I think we got the best dish deal. Alright. Yo, Richard, says uh, Snowblar. Wanna be famous? Buy followers, prime, and viewers on starstarstarfollowbot.com. I'm so glad we don't have fucking links enabled in our chat, dude. This shit would get real annoying. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Alright, here we go. This is what I'm most excited about getting the coats. I'm gonna have a look at all coats here. A good coat could save your life. I would like to get a long coat, but I would like to get one that's decent quality. That's an alright jacket. We have this one right now. What else is available? These are all kind of shite. Grey. These colours are awful. They just, everything in the game, I know it's like a cowboy western, but like everything looks faded. See, that's a nice, that's a nice quality, but like, I don't like the colour, I want like a black. Please, peruse at your leisure. I carry like, that one's cool, I guess. 
Do I get a black duster coat like that? Oh man, it's such a struggle. I want like a long coat like that. Um, classic coat tail is pretty rough. Yeah, dude. Honestly, I think that's what I want. I feel almost human. We got a follow up one or two. Yeah. Right. Let's get the pants next. We'll figure out the rest of it after. I would like to view, please. All right. Can I have a look at all of these? Everyday pants. So, what do you think? Town pants would be all right. Something like that, but like, oh, they're pretty sweet. Work pants. <laughs> Can I get these? But like, oh god, no! Just remove the catalog feature from this game. It's fucking annoying. I don't know if anybody likes it, but I'm not a fan. Just think it's annoying as fuck. Right, guys, do we go for the work pants with the checkers or do we go for the stripes? Are we feeling stripes or are we feeling checkers, guys? It doesn't really match the colour though. If I buy town pants, can I get a colour that matches my coat? I can go for the red, match the waistcoat. Well, I want something dark. Hmm. I take pride in my selection here. Everything here is of exceptional quality. See, these are cool because they're just jet black. Oh my god, dude, please. What do these look like? I get all sorts walking into this establishment, but they all end up looking better when they walk out. Is that right? How's everyone doing? I'm making peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm doing great. Feeling refreshed after yesterday, guys. My teeth feel like they've been hacked to shreds. But other than that, I'm fine. If anybody's had like a deep clean before at the dentist, like a hygienist kind of clean session, Afterwards, your teeth, you can feel all of the grooves on the back of your teeth as they connect to your gums because basically they've just went in amongst your gums and like basically pulled out all the stuff that's not supposed to be there and everything just feels really like, like it's, it's like a good feeling but it's also like not, it's hard to describe. What have I, what am I wearing now? Like what, I don't even know what I look like. Can I just view my, my personnel? Fuck. Um, we have shirts. styles for all persuasions, but I'm sure you'll look good in anything you choose. Right, can I, um, all oh, shirts. Everyday shirt. All those shirts are Everyday over shirt. And comfortable. And they look Union shirt. Too. Everyday shirt. We can go with the red theme. Feels a bit weird though. I really like the black themes. You can really feel the quality of that one, right? Yeah, feel the quality. Yeah. Coats, hats, outfits, boots, accessories. What are in the accessories part? Gloves. Yeah, we need gloves. We need to have a look at gloves. Okay. Mm All gloves. Riding gloves. My, my, Cavalry really gloves. Cavalry gloves. I don't know if these actually do anything. Are you feeling good? Because you're looking great. Ah. Riding gloves. What else have we got in here? Just black riding gloves might actually be nice. Red ones are pretty cool. Rifleman gloves for shooting. We'll stick to the new cavalry gloves, they're fine. Do you know, there's like missing a sequence where you can actually just see your character while you're in the menus People like this, and I, it's kind of same, annoying. Like, Raiding boots. People tornado boots. Just for those. 
Creature Pride Boots, Workman Boots, Quick Draw Boots, they're pretty sweet. Plated Quick Draw Boots, Relentless Boots. Hmm. Classic. There's so many, dude. There's so many boots. What the fuck? The quick draw, the plate, the plated quick draw bits are pretty cool. Can I get I these in like a different color? The best in my shop. Oh, there's Buy the red, dude. And you'll never be disappointed. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't know if beautiful is what I'd call that, but whatever. Um, what's up? Got any lunch plans? Smooth with strawberry jam, of course. Nah, I just got food with me. Top quality Scottish streamer to watch. I'm personally a fan of crust, a uh, crunchy with crunchy with raspberry jam. Nice. Uh, all right. We've got the puff tie. Oh, the dress tie. Oh hell yeah. Dude, I'm really not digging this coat, man. Yourself, that looks excellent on you. Right, not feeling the tie. We could get ourselves some new fucking some of these bad boys though. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. Yes, yes, wear it well. I've no idea what I'm doing here. Uh, next. Yeah, can we get some new spurs? I don't know if the spurs we have on are, like, special. But I'm gonna have a look at some of these, because some of the ones we have are shit. Those are nice. Oh, Western Deluxe spurs are pretty cool. I quite like those. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. <sighs> sure. I have to say, that looks just fantastic on you. What else can I buy? Is that me? What do I look like? I actually can't see, like, my entire costume. It's actually weird. And that should be good. How are we looking? I can't see my guy! Like, what the fuck? Why is that not an option? Do, do I really need to browse, like, the shirts to see what I look like? Now, what's going on in here? Coats. It's like I have to view the coat I have on to see what my outfit looks like. Like, why is, it, why is that not a feature? So, what do you think? Wearing it out? I've got this kind of weird ass fucking blue that doesn't match the colour of my hat. It's doing my fucking head in. Maybe we go for something else. We could go for the shotgun coat. I really like the duster, but I like I want a black oh, duster coat. Man, I don't know if that's something I need to unlock, maybe? Mm -hmm. If I had some raspberry, I'd be having that too. One food at the house right now, I gotta go eat some groceries soon. That's fair, I do the same. I'm gonna do a delivery to a bunch of heavy stuff for the joys of not driving. Oh, man. Yeah, I was lucky yesterday, guys. I drove to the, uh, to the dental appointment, and I was so glad I didn't have to get the train. This is all looking pretty good, but like my coat is just the missing piece, you know. I take pride in my collection here. Everything here is of exceptional quality. Maybe one of these. This is the jacket I had on, and we need to change it. We need to get something new. If you have any questions, you fuck. Just let me know. If you're having girl for girl problems. I feel bad for you, son. Shotgun. No, don't look at that, dude. I think I'm going in the fucking weird ass classic tailcoat. God. I think we're in the duster, but like. Oh, so bad. 
Navy, is that really what I got to rock? That's appalling, dude. I carry only the finest items. I may actually just go for that. Hmm. Rambler jacket. I get all sorts walking into this establishment. Fuck, dude, I hate it. I actually hate it. Colors are terrible. I'm gonna have to steal someone's coat. That's it for now. Are closing now. Not took me that long. The shop's closed. Oops. Well, we look upgraded at least. Right, where are my options? We are going to go to the gunsmiths next, but the place is closed, so we're going to go to the saloon. Didn't cost too much money, spent about $100 in there. Maybe the gunsmith can help us out, we'll buy some new shit. Dude, I'm already hating this coat, we need to change this. Taking it off. Where's my horse? Come here, yep. what are you doing in there? Yep, yep. Come on. Can get you get through that? Here. You can't even- How did you get on the other side of the fence? What the fuck is going on? All of my horses are always silly. IGN have a new article. Saying the CD Projekt Red already have plans for a new Witcher game starting with after the Cyberpunk release, not Witcher 4 though. That's pretty cool. Um, hi, I'm here for, dude, I, I hate this coat so goddamn much. Hey, dude, can I, um, have a room, please? Can I get a room for tonight, please? Okay, room's all good. Alright, we're gonna advance some time here. Hello there. Oh, what, what did I just fucking, did I just decline a prostitute? I think I did, I was trying to say hello. I think I just declined a hooker. Uh, hello. This is a fine establishment, I tell you. Is this my room? Hell yeah, right. Let me, uh, I could raid this place, but we're just gonna go to sleep. I'll sleep until the morning. Although maybe I should have slept till noon, because I don't even know if the shops are gonna be open when I wake up. We'll see. Hey, Mark, what's up, man? Maybe there's a wardrobe in this bedroom, actually. There might be a wardrobe in here that I can change my clothes. I bet you I can. Yeah, I think I might take my coat off. Mm. Is that an option here? Uh, search drawer, sure. Uh, wardrobe. See this ugly AF fucking coat, dude. Mask, bandanas, neckwear, gloves, weapons, equipment, satchels. Wait, what? Can I change this? Oh, you can't take that off, I guess. Talismans. Eagle talisman. What? Now it's just replaced my fucking spurs as well. Holy crap. Where's my spur? Where's my good spurs? It was the deluxe ones. Right, that's fine. Can I take off my gloves, neckwear, satchels, talismans, coats? Oh wait, I have these as well. Are these just ones that I unlocked? Oh, that one's nice. Montanico. Warm, too hot for warm, uh, too warm for hot weather, paired with other items. Right, okay. Good to know. Paired with other items from protection from the cold. Paired with other, yeah, dude. Honestly, I might go back to... This one's actually really cool, but it's too hot for warm weather, which is fucking upsetting. I'm gonna save that outfit. 
and we're gonna go with hunting jacket can i change this let's wear the hunting jacket for a bit that's gonna be outfit too i wonder if i should change my stinking fucking trousers man the trousers are shocking might just actually go back to work pants Uh, I need to view. How do I get into my... I want to save over outfit 3, but I guess I can't. Right. That's a little bit better. Right, we are going to go to the barbers and get a shave. Looks like the same place you've every mm. day. Let me see here. Well, someone put a drink in the freezer and forgot about it. Someone just opened the freezer and it exploded. Oh, wait, what? Um, That sounds... Pretty wild snowblower is are you at work, Snowblower? Fourth place says Jcram. It was a good run, got hey, gunned down by a hello squad. Wait, what were you doing? You looking for a good time? Jcram, what were you doing? Oh, I'm in the gulag. Oh, you were playing yeah, yeah, sorry. I thought you were playing yeah. Red Dead or something. I was so confused as to what was going on. I got you now. Hey, fourth place is pretty good though. The XP you get is stonking. Hmm. Right, we've got some things to prepare. Let's go to the, there's the stable down there is an option. Where is the, well the gunsmith is also an option. Where was the barber? I saw the barber before. I could go have a look at this as well, the photo studio. Well, the barber's real close. <laughs> All right, nice. Hello there. Let's go. Okay. There's the barber, I can see it. You stay here, Sue. I just broke a window. Yeah, I am. I just smashed the windows in this guy's door. Uh, here, can we do anything? Yeah, can we get a new style, maybe? Styles? Middle partant. Uh, right partant. Looks a bit mental. That's what we had. We had to sweat back. Swept back fade. That's pretty sick. <laughs> Left parted. Middle part? No, never, never middle parted. Right parted's pretty cool. Right parted feels natural, you know? Looks a bit unkept though. Let's go for the sweat back fade. Can I make it longer? No. You can just make it really short. You have to let it grow out otherwise. On, Let's go for that, right? But we'll also... We'll also get our uh, beard trimmed as well. Facial hair. Trim full styles. No, we're not gonna get any styles. I can't be asked with that. Uh, can I just take this down a notch? Wait, why is there a bald patch on my chin? That's wait, why is there a bald patch on my chin, dude? Hmm. I say you look ready for a portrait now. Thanks. Fuck, dude. Uh, okay. If you what does that say? If we please you, tell others. If we don't, tell us. Okay, I get it. Alright, where's my goddamn horse? I literally... See, this makes no sense. Because when I went into that fucking building, I literally hitched my horse to this fucking post. So why... This is what's upsetting me. Where is my horse? Why is it out here? Why... Dude, you guys saw me hitch my horse, right? Why the fuck is it over there? How does that make any sense? Uh, Kibliss says, yo, what's up with the shootout series not working? Uh, what do you mean by the shootout, Kibliss? Sorry. Um, yo, Phoenix, welcome to the stream, dude. Law have mercy. Law have damn mercy on this guy. Never mind, I can't uh, ask this guy anything if I can't even figure out how to... How to own his damn beard. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying, alright? I'm doing my best. 
I was trying to fix the beard, but it just didn't work out. All right, don't don't judge me. <laughs> you have to call for your horse, dumbass. I mean, you can whistle for your horse, yes. But when you tie your horse to a post, when you come out, the horse should be at the post, right? Hence the point of tying the, po the horse to the post. So why is the horse teleporting around the city is my problem. I know how to call for the horse. That's not an issue. Right, I'm going to the gun shop. Uh, I don't know what you mean, Kibliss. I can't help you, my guy. I'm sorry. You said about the uh, the shootout. Is that part of the online? Just out of curiosity. No, it's not always a mile away. When you tie your horse to a post, it's normally at the post. At least in the single player, anyway. But for some reason, my horse just decides to go off on a little adventure by himself. Alright. Let's uh, let's go into the... Are we going in here? See, look, I can leave my horse just not tied up, right? Now, if I left my horse and I came outside and it was halfway down the street, that would make sense. But, when I hitch my goddamn horse on this thing, which is which the game should let me do, when I hitch my horse like this, and he literally ties it up, I don't know why the horse should escape, but I don't know. Just my opinion. Mm hmm. Right, I would like to have a look at your catalog, sir. I want to buy myself a better repair. And we got money to spend. Okay, so... Evan's repair, apparently. Um, I don't know if this is the best one. Looks like it's got less damage, so we will not... The cheapest? No, we're not buying that. We're not in the market for the cheapest. Lancaster, repeated, updated. The Lichfield is locked, so we can't even How buy that. How did you ever get so much power?! Farming rifle is owned. I don't think Sugar. we can upgrade. Spice. And everything nice. What's up, Roxas? Welcome to the stream, my dude. How's things? Oh, she. Alright, okay, I'll tell you what, right? Let's buy some uh, revolver. Buy some of that. What else we got here? Repair regular is fine. Repair express. We should probably buy Repair Express. Okay. Else we've got shotgun slugs. Arrows will buy. Upgraded holster I've already got. Bought out the, the gun oil. We can't buy any more of that. I guess that's us. We could upgrade. Potentially. Should we upgrade the uh I guess we have to go on a customize, right? Mm-hmm. Did I spook you, says Roxas? A little bit. Hey, Nye, buy a gun and name it after me. I'll buy a little pistol and call it Nye. But I am still waiting. <laughs> um, but damn, shoot, quick join, shoot out CDs isn't working right now. What the fuck is going on? I'm sorry that's happening, Kibliss. I'm sorry that's happening to you, my dude. Um, it's probably just some sort of online issue, if I'm being honest, my guy. What do I want to do here? Uh, accessories, I think I've done all that, right? How do I uh, customize? Right, I would like to volcanic pistol. Why don't we? Uh, yeah, sure. Looks we'll like clean the weapon. Good care of that gun. Components. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. Grip. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? I think we go with what Mark, uh, Mark said. Let's make this one white. Barrel. Length. Gives us more accuracy. Sure. Give you a real edge. That thing's turning into a fucking shotgun, dude. We've already got improved rifling on it, so we don't have to worry about that. Iron sights. Does this do anything? It does. It gives us more accuracy. Okay. The quality of the workmanship. Locked and loaded. Trophy unlocked. Feels good. Um, Styles. Metals. Oh, there we go. Bottle. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have the gold tip. What the fuck? <laughs> this feels like so insane, dude. Like, you can go into so much details with this. It's actually unreal. Engravings. Holy fuckaroo. Can I change the color? Find a better selection of firearms this side of the river. Yeah. 
What the fuck, dude? I don't even know if I can be arsed getting into all this. Carvins. The saber tooth target. Should we just get a little. Oh, we can get a wolf. The scorpion. I like the puma. Who gets a who gets a deer on their gun? Let's face it, nobody. Right, let's go for this ugly piece of ass. Volcanic pistol is going to be really distinguishable now, at least. I say we uh, I'm just going to clean these up. Components grip. Let's make this one white as well. The bottle, land to the bottle. Sorry, they've been extended. <gasps> rifling. Improved rifling, hell yeah. Iron sights, we'll take the iron sights as well. No regrets, with that decision. no regrets. No regrets. Right, I'll tell you what, we need to change the color. Can we go for like the gold again so that they're both gold? It looks shocking if I'm being honest. The brass. Gold. Uh, yeah, we need to change this. Not really about this life. Can I make this like a kind of dark color? A man got shot right there on Courtney Street. Did he? Uh... Here, you carry a gun. <laughs> Engravings. What did I get last time? Huh? Carvings. The eagle. Okay, Papa Roxas just wanted to say hi. I have to go now. Oh, and what? Is, how was the dentist, Jack? Sorry, guys. Um, the uh. <laughs> Wait, sorry, I'm missing all this in the chat, guys. Give me a second. Dennis was fine, Roxas. It was a bit uncomfortable and unpleasant, but nothing I couldn't handle. Um, the dentist himself actually told me that my teeth were good and that I'd been brushing well, which was nice. He said whatever I was doing to keep doing, and I didn't have to go back for any more, like, more appointments. Just another checkup in a few months, six months. The hygienist, on the other hand, she raked me a little bit. That was a bit of a nightmare. Let me see here. Um... Let me see. Not gonna lie, I got a little spooked, says Roxas. I ain't insecure, says Nye. Hope everyone is doing great. Missed you, says Roxas. Yeah, missed you guys as well. Hope you guys had a good day yesterday when I was AFK, folks. Sorry, I never really talked about that that much. But yeah, just went down the road yesterday. Got up at about um, half past eight. Left the house at half nine. Drove for about an hour and a half to get to my house. No one was in my house. So I waited there for half an hour by myself, just chilling, watching YouTube videos and that. I then drove to the dentist, which was about mm, half an hour's drive. Drove um, back from the dentist to my house, hung out with my mum and dad and my sister for a little while, and then I drove home again. So it was a lot of driving yesterday, but uh, it was just kind of nice to get shit done. So, and it means that when I go away to the, if I go away on a holiday now, um, I don't have to worry about my teeth or anything. Either. Everything's good according to the dentist, so that's good. Um, Mark says the online is always broke to kibbles, probably because of the crappy update yesterday. It might have been my guy. I don't know. It might have been. Mhm. Mm let me see here. Um, okay, Papa Rox has just wanted to say hi. Broke anytime I play. You playing on console? Asked Mark. Uh, well, just had my boss coming around discussing people working from home. Welps is Snowblar. Oh dear. Uh, is that actually going to be a thing, Snowblar? Is this because of. Um, you see the church across the street? Is this because of the. Uh, Gun. A Dellinger. Is this because of Corona, Mark? Oh, sorry, no, Mark. It's no more. Kibliss. <laughs> Are you okay, Kibliss? Are you from Scotland? Sounds like it. Or Ireland. Yeah, from Scotland, mate. Good good job. You're one of the first people to get it. I mean, it's pronounced P-U. Um, ma, I guess. P-U-ma. I've never ever... I would call it a puma. Okay, the cat. But I called it a puma because that's what most of the American guys call it. A puma is obviously a sports brand. A lot of the league teams are sponsored by Puma. I call it Puma. I called it Puma because we were on stream, but it's whatever. Because of coronavirus, yeah, at least I got a free VR headset for a while. Oh, sounds interesting. Nice. Are you actually going to have to work from home for quite a while, Snowblar? Is that going to be a problem or is that going to be like a blessing in disguise? 
<sighs> right, I'm happy with this. Um, I might actually have some of my other... Uh, I might have some of my other weapons cleaned while I'm here. I might just do that really quickly. I can see you look that doesn't need cleaned. Okay, right, we'll cl clean you. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Carbon repair. Can you be upgraded, Glad my dude? See you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can give you some better options for the sites. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Scope. I don't want to scope. Sure. You will feel the difference right away. Um. We also offer an engraving service in case you are interested. Eel. Let's go with that. Um, I can see you look after your firearm. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Clean. There we go. Nice. <clears throat> America is apparently stopping flights. So smart. Oh, US is stopping flights to Europe except for UK. <sighs> Mm, not sure not 100 percent sure yet with work it's a potential all right that's bizarre i know i saw on twitter some of you uh some of the guys in the in the netherlands some of their universities were closing which is is mental when you think about it see my um yeah see my rifles guys my long range rifles i feel i feel like what i'm gonna do i can see you look after your firearm i'm gonna clean that glad to see you're taking care of it so many people rolling block does a lot of damage i feel like we should upgrade some of these bolt action components Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun did you know a rifle barrel adds noticeable accuracy we can do that to this model for a great price <laughs> for a great price <laughs> um this bad boy has a lot of damage this is a Glad lot of damage so many people don't. Components. Have you already had the? Uh... I have some better quality components. If you're looking for the best. For the best. The best of the best of the best, sir. Son of shotgun. I've never really used the double barrel. I use quite a lot, but I think I've actually already fully upgraded I can this. See you look after your firearm. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? No. There isn't really that much to customize in terms of your like your like your stats, I guess. Um, Springfield, you want? I've got the Springfield. Yeah, Springfield's pretty good. You don't you don't have to at me every time you message me, Kabliss. Just uh, just letting you know, my dude. <laughs> I see you in the chat. Don't worry. <laughs> Not hundred percent sure yet with work as uh, I feel uh, it's a potential. But yeah, working from home will be good and bad. It means I can chill at home, but then it means I can't work with others as easy. So snowball, yeah, I feel you, my dude. I feel you. I can do um, some nice ornate engraving on there. If yeah, I'm gonna like change the color price. of this. I actually quite like the double barrel, so I'm gonna find something that's better here. I think that's nice. Let's go for a different color of metal as well. Can I change this? Oh, dude, the black. That's dope. Hold on. This, the frame I could change as well. It's a bit too white for my liking. Let's make it black and steel. You won't find a better selection of firearms this side we want the sight to be quite significant. The trigger we can keep. Yeah, that's fine. Trigger guard. I quite like that. Um, can we get some engravings on the double barrel? I don't. I can't even tell what these are supposed We've to be. Some of the finest quality guns in the south. Yeah, sure. Let's get some carvings as well. The wolf. All right, nice. Although, to be honest, with a shotgun, you probably have one of a ram or something to kind of express the kick of the gun. Alright, pump action. I don't think I've actually upgraded the components for this, like so the gun. rifling can actually be improved here. If you're looking for the, best. the long barrel as well is really nice. Uh, iron sights. You'll sure. 
idea the workmanship. Wrap. Do you want a wrap? Can I change the color of the wrap though? Right away. No, I guess not. All right, that's fine the way it is. We also engravings. Offer an engraving service in case you are interested. Spending a lot of money here, and I don't even know if this is important. The varnish. It's got like a different color. Pretty sweet. Uh, okay, everything's just been upgraded quite a lot. Uh, we did get a new rifle though. I'm trying to remember what one it was. Was it was it rolling block? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it was rolling block. I think Mark told me last time that it was really good rolling block. Um, my main worry is about flights going to Canada in two weeks. Yeah, if they cancel, that's going to be fucking grim. I get you snubs. Yeah, we've got um obviously our holidays in less than probably about fifteen days now. So we're in the exact same boat. You're going in the opposite direction from me, Snowblar, because you're going west, I'm going east. But um, yeah, I really hope that your flight stays on track, my dude, okay, for the time being. Uh, fingers crossed, there's not much you can do, mate. It's out of your hands. That's the way I'm looking at it. Like, if I, if my flights get cancelled, some of my hotel and my, like, trip is actually non-refundable. There's a really expensive hotel right at the end of our hotel that the guy recommended he got us a deal on it, he said, when you're when you're planning a big holiday, he says you want the start to be really good, and he says you want the end to be really good, and then everything else in the middle you can kind of mix and match depending on budget, right? So the end of our hotel, or the end of our stay is in Dubai, and it's at this lovely hotel, it's like insane, it's probably the, big, the best hotel I'm ever going to stay in in my life, right? And it's non-refundable, so if I do get, like, if, if, the, if any part of my holiday gets fucking wrecked because of this virus then I don't know what's going to happen I might not even see that I'm, I might just literally lose the money I've spent for that part of the holiday I don't know what's going to happen mate it's out of my hands at this point I'm trying not to think about it I'm trying to just concentrate on going on holiday enjoying myself because that's what you're supposed to do on holiday I'm just going to go with the flow I do have my trip booked through an estate agent so I'm hoping that they'll be my protocol if anything goes wrong but it's only time only time will tell I just gotta go with it yeah. Kibliss says, uh, it's based off a real flintlock black gunpowder weapon way back in the day. Okay. In real life, it takes a while to actually load the gun. I was an ordnance man in the military, says Kibliss. Nice, dude. Nice. Are you from the US, Kibliss? You don't have to answer if you don't want to, my friend, but uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Repeating shotgun is a beast also. I don't know if I have the repeating shotgun. I've only got two so far. Some of the shotguns I've seen in the store, but they're locked, so I can't actually access them right now, but hopefully soon. Yeah. Yeah, it's the least on the cost, but the loss of the holiday itself, uh, as I'm going to visit Dixie. I feel you, man. I feel you. Yeah. Be safe on holiday, bro, says Phoenix. Same. Eight years. Wow. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be fine, guys. Um, But as I said, I'm trying not to think about it. Trying not to worry. Just keeping my ear to the, uh, to the wall, kind of listening in on what's going on and trying to keep an eye on updates and shit, but my horse has gone fucking AWOL again. Do you know what? I actually think that the horse has got an issue in this area because of how busy and crowded the streets are. Because this is the first time this has happened. Um, right, where are we going to go? Let's go across to the stable. And we're going to look at some stuff real quick. Alright, we've just upgraded all of our guns to a certain degree. Some, most of it is cosmetic. We've uh, changed the, the appearance of our character. So I think the only thing I need to look at now is actually consider the horse because a lot of you won't have seen this earlier but I actually ran my horse in a train accidentally earlier on today. So it was literally the first thing I did after turning on the game. I was talking to you guys, I tried to beat a train at a crossing. The train hit my horse, well I ran into the side of the train if I'm being honest. The horse died. So we lost Batwing and now we have Sue. So I need to consider getting a better horse again. I really like Sue but it Sue is not fast. And Batwing was very fast. I wonder if we could find some in the middle horse. Yeah. Appears out of thin air. Yo, Sonic, what's up, dude? <gasps> Can I just go into the stables via the door here? Appears out of the air in a surge of wind, <laughs> hanging out the sides of a helicopter, wearing a certified Wolfie merch, long coat blowing sexily in the wind, carrying a briefcase, handcuffed to my wrist, evening, lads. <gasps> oh, dude, the, uh, the certified Wolfie merch is not existing yet. Again, you must be on the prototype, Sonic. 
I think the social media is making a bigger deal out of it than uh, what it really do, to be honest, is Phoenix. I agree. I agree, my dude. Obviously, the thing is, to a lot of young people, right, a lot of us in the chat right now, right, a lot of us may get the coronavirus at some point. Uh, a lot of us might even end up... Um, at this stage, it seems like a lot of people are... Like, a lot of us are going to get the coronavirus. A lot of us are going to need treatment, but a lot of us will survive. Some of us won't, but, like... From what I understand, it is just like uh, another form of the flu, um, a, a kind of strong and more potent version of the flu, um, based on what I've heard. I'm not an expert, but obviously, I think the, the people who are most at risk are old people, right? Which sucks for them. Those people have to be really careful, really careful. But I'm hoping that um, this is something that, you know, the world kind of deals with as a team and tries to minimalize the outbreak as much as possible. And hopefully the human, like, mankind will just overcome it. I do think that to a lot of young people, it is um, not so threatening. So when Phoenix says, I think that social media is making a big deal out of it, obviously they are. Newspapers globally sell, they sell fucking breaking stories because it makes them money, right? They're like, there is a degree of fear monger in there where they're just trying to, like, make the headline. They're trying to sell the paper. They're trying to get clicks. And, uh... Yeah, I, do, I don't think it's as big a deal as a lot of people think, but it will be it will be fatal to some people though, and you can't dismiss that, right? So for the for the older people that exist who are more at risk and whose immune system isn't as strong, these are the people who are really you know have to be super careful. Um, that being said, who knows? I might go to Dubai, catch Corona, and die in Dubai. So you never know. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but we'll just have to go with it. We'll just have to wait and see what happens, guys. Everybody's got to try their best to come together, I think. I have a video of Doctor literally telling the media to shut up because they are uh, causing widespread panic. I mean, that's always the same. The media always is like that. It's a shame, but that's what a lot... Of, like, I feel like a lot of media companies, because of the freedom of information now with the internet, a lot of these media companies who people would rely upon for news, they're not as big a deal anymore because everybody has a phone. Everybody has an internet connection attached to their phone. A lot of people can transmit data instantly. Right? They can transmit pictures, they can transmit fucking videos, um, audio recordings, they can Skype call each other. There's so much like communication now across the world that these media companies, although they do, you know, a lot of them do a good job at reporting the news, a lot of them are trying to stay relevant, right? I'm not saying that media companies are not ir irrelevant or, or, sorry, are irrelevant, but, um, I think a lot of them are desperate to make money now. They they'll, they'll go to extra lengths. So they're always trying to like trump the the last headline. They're always trying to like make it seem more exciting, because excitement is normally brewed from drama, and drama is normally brewed brewed from like mishappens or mishappenings and shit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Buck, what's up, dude? Welcome back, Buck. Hello, hello, Jack. Welcome. Um, yep. How are we all doing today? Old people and people with breathing issues, says Mark. The only people that are passing away are the elderly infants and the ones with the weak immune systems, yeah. If your immune system is strong, you can fight it, says Buck. That's what I've heard, guys. Uh-huh. If you have trouble breathing, you need to see a doctor, says Kabliss. Pay attention where you put your hands, don't touch your eyes, nose, mouth, ears, and stuff like that. Yeah, there's actually... I think what Kabliss is saying is, is true. Um, but there's a meme right now going around... Uh, from one of the, uh, I think it's like one of the health ministers in the UK. I think, first of all, the health minister actually does have the coronavirus, which is very ironic. Um, unfortunate for him, I hope that he's okay. But I did see, an, uh, I saw a clip, my dad told me about it as well, and there's a woman who gives a press conference, uh, I think she's British, and she's like, so guys, here's what we need to do when the coronavirus is like kicking about. We need to do, go through a couple of like regimes. It's very important that you don't touch your face first and foremost. And then she goes like this. And then she like turns the page with her like, with her finger. She, it's li she literally says like, it's very important that you don't touch your face guys. And then she like licks her finger to turn the page of the, it's like, anyways. Ah, uh, uh, there are no horses for sale, really? Really? Appearance. Can I get rid of Sue's, like... Like, zebra spots? I guess we just put her through the, uh... That'll make your horse, happy. Mm, horse provisions. Gonna buy a couple of these. 
carrots, celery, celery. You were drinking rosé, right? Horse reviver, revives horse from severe injury and moderately restores its health. Horse medicine. I can't buy critical horse medicine. I guess I have to make it myself. Hmm. I guess we're back with Sue for a while. How does this place not... This is like the biggest city in the game that we've found so far. How do they not have horses for sale? What the fuck? What is... Oh, that's my saloon, yeah. Hmm. Well, I was planning on considering buying a horse there. But I think we just leave it. I do want a better horse though and I want to start like taming it sooner rather than later. I don't know if there's a point in going to the stable elsewhere to see if there's better horses on offer or if we should just go and catch a new Arabian horse up the hills. We could also go hunting for a pelt to make a better saddle. Is there a trapper actually in the town? I think there is, right? Yeah. I'm actually going to go over here guys, we're going to make some notes real quick. Mm -hmm. You should head up the snowy mountains and get the legendary female Arabian horses, Wolfie. <laughs> We've had an Arabian horse for the past five streams. It just died this morning. Um, so now I'm back to my starting horse. We had the, the, the past five days, the white horse that we've had that I called Batwing guys was the legendary Arabian horse. We've had it every day for the past five days, but it died today. Mm -hmm. um, you can brush your horse and it will get all the dirt and stuff off her. Yes. That is true. Um, what I was trying to, what I was, tr what I was trying to change though, is uh, the actual spots and stuff on the horse. I wondered if I could like change the actual color of the pelt, not not necessarily the dirt, right? Like I, I know you can. Uh, I brush my horse fairly fucking frequently, um, and I complain about it sometimes. It does actually remove the dust, but I'm trying to get rid of the white kind of spots. You see how on the horse's ass it's very kind of like spotty. It's almost like a zebra. Uh, but it's whatever. Yo, Antoine, what's up, dude? Welcome. Mm -hmm. The legendary Arabian horse was the horse I used for the whole game, says Phoenix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go get the Arabian. It will be totally worth it. Right, okay. I'm just going to fill you guys in on everything, okay? I'm going to fill you guys on everything, right? So, first three days of Red Dead Redemption we played, I had this horse here, Sue, right? Every day, you guys told me every day, Jack, go get the Arabian horse. Go get the Arabian horse. Go get the Arabian horse. And every day I was like, okay, chat, we'll go get the horse at some point. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll get the horse soon. Just let me play the game. I don't want to get an insane horse right off the get-go because it's going to break the game. It's going to make it really easy. And you guys were like, Jack, just go get the horse. It takes ages to level up. And I was like, guys, I promise I'll go and get the horse, right? So, on the fourth day of streams, we went up into the mountains, we caught ourselves an Arabian horse. It was a white horse, we named it Batwing, okay? As soon as I had that horse, you guys were happy for about an hour, right? After that hour passed, you guys were like, Jack, there's a better horse you can get, go get it. And I was like, chat, I got the Arabian horse that you wanted, I need you to settle the fuck down and relax, okay? So... For the next four days, we had the Arabian horse. It died as soon as I started playing today. And now, you guys are like, Jack, go get the Arabian horse, it's legendary. I'm like... Now, I know, I'm not blaming you guys, because I know a lot of you guys haven't been here for all that time. You could not have possibly known anything that I've just said, right? Just, I'm just explaining how it feels for me sometimes to play a game. Because I know you guys dip in and out. You guys have got lives, right? You guys are busy people. You dip in and out. You give me a little advice here and there. I love the advice. It's very kind, okay? Try to understand how I feel right now. That's all I'm asking. I'm not looking for apologies. I'm just saying I appreciate the advice. We'll get a horse. That's good, okay? If anybody mentions an Arabian horse again, I'm going to kill everybody in the city, okay? And then I'm going to slap my face off a wall IRL. My advice is, get fucked. <laughs> right? Are we happy? Are we good? Who started them off in one of the leads? Or oh, one of the lads? No, we're fine, guys. It's fine. I promise. Just don't mention a horse again. We'll be fine. Okay? I love you guys. I got you, man. You do you. 
I'm, I'm just... I'm no... <laughs> I'm not even angry. I'm just... You know, a lot of you guys are, are giving me good advice. It's good. It's solid. Don't kill me, please, Mr. Tram. I'm just trying to explain what's going on. So when you guys are like, Jack, for fuck's sake, I've told you a million times, go get the Arabian horse. I'm just letting you know. I know that the Arabian horse exists. We had one for five days. Okay? Don't worry about it. Go get yourself something to eat. <laughs> I would like you to have a mule, Kappa. Sir, I want you to have this. What did he just give me? Special snake oil? Give something instead of just begging. All right, the trapper's here. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, is there anything I can sell? Hey, J-Bob, what's up, dude? The Raven is better, though, than probably 90% of what everyone has. But I feel that guy. Only that is. Right. Uh, I am going to have a look at the shopkeeper here. <laughs> we are going to have a couple of considerations here. You guys were talking about saddles, right? If you bring this guy the right shit, he will make you a perfect boar pelt, perfect cougar pelt, alligator skin. I can't see what these do or how better they are, but guys, is there a difference between these saddles in terms of the stats they give? Because I haven't actually made any yet, and I probably should. I would like to get like a, a maybe... We should probably probably try and make one of these. Mm -hmm. Did someone say cougar? <laughs> when Jack starts sneezing in the Corona world, oh, we've had a, we just finished this Corona discussions. I probably have it. Um, perfect boar pelt, perfect bear pelt, perfect panther pelt. Um, I don't know if if these are any good or not, but. I'm gonna buy Tomox from this guy because I like Tomox. We need to get the trapper to make us a saddle. It's gonna make things better, I think. Oh well, God, Jack, your health is upset. You have a cold? No, 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 no. We're absolutely fine, guys. I don't think I have a cold. Um, chat's just making me ill. Uh. <laughs> um. All right. So. From here, what do I want to do with my time? We could go hunting for our, where is the trapper that's up north? We could go get our al an alligator skin, or we could go hunt like a boar or something and make a boar pelt, or a bear pelt. I'd like to get a bear pelt. That'd be cool. That might make things heavy. I don't know. The trapper's here. Hmm. We got the king bear over there. I don't want to go too far, but at the same time, I want to go and make myself an actual saddle, because I haven't done that yet. If I was to go... I guess we could just catch ourselves a regular deer pelt. Would that be fine, guys? Or is it worth our time to make a better one? Does anybody know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Where do I want to go? Of all the pelts, does is there a difference between them, guys? If I make like an alligator pelt, if I make like a, if if I, if sorry, if I make like an alligator saddle or I make a bear saddle or a a puma a puma saddle, like what what is the difference? Is there a difference, or are they all just the same? I don't know what the stats do, because if I, if it's if they're all the same, I mean as well just go catch a deer one, and get the perfect deer pelt. That's going to be a lot easier than anything else I can do. It would be really easy to go and get a, a gator saddle as well, if I'm being honest. The look saddles don't have stats. You guys told me, or people told me yesterday, that if I get a saddle made from the trapper, it'll boost my speed and acceleration of my horse. Is that, a, is that a fail? Is that a lie, guys? I was told that the saddles that the trapper makes actually boost the stats of your horse. Is that incorrect? Uh, apparently, if I get like the right quilt... I can boost the speed of my horse when I make the saddles. Is that completely wrong? 
I was under the impression that it was purely cosmetic as well, because when I go into the trapper, he doesn't actually have any stats on the saddles that you buy. There's no information in the game that they increase speed, but I don't know, because I haven't made any. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Stirrups, I think. The beaver and the panther have better stats, says Ladybug. Are you guys sure? Are you guys sure? Before I go and hunt one, I don't want to waste time, guys. I'm getting a lot of mixed signals and opinions. Some of you guys are saying they don't have stats, some of you guys are saying they do have stats. I'm not gonna- if it's purely cosmetic, we can just leave it and do some main quest stuff. But if it's actually beneficial, if we can make our horse faster by going and hunting, I will do it. But I need you guys to be sure. <laughs> So it's Lady Lady Seventy One Bug. I appreciate the advice, friend. Thank you and welcome. Is it only the Beaver and the Panther one? Is there no none of the other animals? Because if it's just the Beaver and the Panther, that seems really bizarre that there's only those two animals give better stats. Saddles do make a difference, says Buck. This is where I'm confused, chat, because a lot of people are pretending that they know what they're talking about. What's going on here? I can Google it if I need to. They all do, but those ones are the best. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to Google that as a cross-reference, not because I disbelieve you guys, but I've took advice from the chat before, and we can waste a lot of time. So, Red Dead Redemption to Best Saddles. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Just going to Google. A lot of this will be like online related stuff. Um, single player, I think the Panther Saddle is the best, which correlates to what um, Lady was saying. Yeah, I'm doing it right as we speak. Stinger Roping Saddle. Pretty sure it is, I just really hate hunting Panthers and I keep messing up the pelt. Um, down at Braithway Manor apparently. Hoping, hopped off my horse and almost immediately saw the panther creeping up. Got it in the head, kind of intense. Um, shoot them with a poison arrow. Right, okay, we're going to go and hunt ourselves a panther then, guys. That's what we're going to do just now. Uh, I don't know if we should be doing it when it's dark and foggy like this, but apparently down at the Braithwaite Estate, which is down in this Braithwaite Manor, apparently you can find them down here, roughly. Um, I don't see any on the map. Which is a problem. But we could kind of head down in that direction. And just have a look around. See if we can find any. Um, I don't actually know if I have that animal in the compendium. But we could check. I hate cougars. They always eat me. Says J-Bob. I have been killed by a, a mountain lion in this game. That's the only animal that's killed me. Uh, yeah. A mountain, um, uh, a mountain lion is the only, or was it, it was like a cougar maybe? I don't know. I don't know if we've actually saw one of those. <laughs> mm -hmm. The panther, I don't think we've seen a panther. American bison. What are you, are you a cougar? You're a cougar. Yeah, I don't even think we've seen a panther. The fuck is that? Is that a skunk? <laughs> what we got here? Legendary beaver, legendary grizzly. I could go and catch the otter. An otter would be easier to catch than a panther. Yeah, these are all the legendary animals. So, according to online, apparently there's a lot of them down spawning in this direction. So, what I might do, guys, is I might look about for some for a little while. We can't actually go onto the estate because it's not technically... It's somebody's proper... What the f fuck have I just walked into? Jesus, is that a gap? The fuck was that, dude? I just got absolutely butt pounded. What the fuck was that? Was that an ambush? Um... 
I lost $142 for that. Cool, that was interactive. I didn't even get a chance to go into Dead Eye. I, I, I don't even know what just happened. Right, well that was fun. Uh, I'm gonna eat some minty big game meat here. Yep. Right. Uh, is that because I've got a lot of money on me? I don't I don't know. Well that was exciting. Um okay. I didn't even have any of my guns equipped or anything. I guess I should take this more serious. Right, there's a couple of things we're gonna we're gonna have to do here, guys. Moving forward. It's gonna be morning. The first thing I need to do is find a panther so that I can study it, okay? So, I don't know from my compendium what weapon I'm supposed to use when hunting a panther, but as soon as I find one, I can study it, okay? And once I study the panther, I'll be able to know and we can actually actively hunt one, okay? It rained bullets, it did, yeah. They had an automatic gun, yeah, it was definitely a gatling gun or something. They tore me to shreds. I'm just glad my horse didn't die. That would have really fucked us up. Um, what are you guys still talking about, Sonic and Kiblis? Alright. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just hunt it with your bare hands. Just go hunting for the... Uh, The legendary cat by just with my bare hands, yeah. What could go wrong? I like it. That's probably what a J Bob would do. I don't know if I could handle that kind of pressure though. The legendary panther. Maybe we'll find the pink panther. Alright, I think it's moving from nighttime till morning. So this is the estate, right? My horse is freaking out a little bit. So, now that we're here, I think we just do, like, laps trying to find this animal. Um, maybe we shouldn't do it during the day, but all I need is to kind of bang it into one and kill it. In fact, let's just have the, uh... Let's just have the double barrel equipped. And we'll put the slug shells in as well. Right. All we're hoping to do is come across one. If it attacks me, I can kill it, then we'll know where they spawn, and then we can come back during the day and actually hunt the bastard. Go catch your feelings. I don't know if I'm in the right spot, but we'll, uh, we'll have a rake around. This is a bit slow to do, guys, when we actually don't have, like any knowledge of them or if we haven't seen them yet but I'm just gonna run around see if we can bang into some might even find something else on the way that's a bit more exciting just gonna head through the trees here oh there's a cap down here okay I can hear it right next to me I think that might be what we're looking for oh no my horse kicked me off Did it run away? Shit, that was really unfortunate. Damn, it actually just fucking ran away. I think that's what we need though. Is that gonna appear on the map now? No. That's what we needed though. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we can track it. Okay. I will tell you where the stuff is located. I mean, you could do, but then that would kind of defeat the purpose of playing the video game, would it not? I appreciate you guys trying to help me out, but just, uh, we are right. Don't go to your, um, don't go to any crazy lens, guys. I mean, we just arrived and we found it almost immediately, um, which was pretty good. Is that a pig? We found what we were looking for. I just need to find another one, and I know they're now in the area, which is good. We're good, guys. Don't worry about it, alright? Relax. I appreciate all the help, guys. Don't worry. Alright, 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 alright. Mm 
That's weird that the panther attacked, but then it never actually... That actually might be something an attack by one. What's up? Oh no. I don't think I can help him. I don't... I don't have it. Give health care. We're fine, guys. Relax. Are we good here? Are you all right, Mr. Snake Venom guy? I owe you so much, Mister. Can't believe you saved my life twice. Me neither. Well, I best be getting back to town. This guy keeps getting bitten by snakes. Right. I wonder if we set up camp and do this during the day. I'm kind of just hoping one attacks me again and then now that I'm actually on foot I'll be able to just dead eye pop it in the head. I had the dead eye clipped on its on its head guys but the horse freaked out instantly threw me off. Which was just kind of unfortunate. But I did see we banged into it about here. Uh, so I'm going to leave a marker. We'll take this marker off. And I'm just going to have a little run around here. I see you guys talking about um, in the trees and stuff. I will try and keep an eye out, okay? Your pure raw man muscles made it run away. Yeah, I was kind of... Um, I was kind of hoping that... Uh, our uh, killer cat wouldn't be... So problematic, but he just instantly fucked off. Is that... Oh, it's a sheep. I could ride the horse for faster ground coverage, but there's a chance that it just fucking throws me off again. My, my controller is pulsing, and I don't know why. I wonder if that means that I'm close to something. Either something dangerous or like a treasure map or some shit. Was that a boar? Hmm. Alright. We just want to kill one of these and skin it, and then log it in the, uh... Apparently the panthers creep up on you, I saw that. Like, apparently the panther will sneak up on you. I'm hoping that it appears in the map, and then I'll just try and gun it down. Once I, like, skin it and locate it, it should make things easier. Apparently poison arrows is what we're supposed to use to kill it, but I don't know that for a fact yet. There's a lot of bears, or beer boars? Boars? Oh. I thought I heard like a growl in there, I got super... <laughs> what the fuck? I got super excited there, I heard like a growling noise. Fuck, it's a shame we ran into one and then we didn't even get a chance to shoot at it. We don't have a set time, it's usually early on though. Says J-Bob. Uh, it doesn't mean... Necessarily means something really good, just anything that you're close to. Oh man, I might set up camp and just try and hunt during the day because this is a bit of a fucking nightmare. Just gonna run back through here, see if we can uh, see if we can find one of these. Do 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 do. A lot of screaming boars. Hey there, piggy. Oh, it was the pig that was making the noise earlier. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck, dude? How are you supposed to react to that? Well, we found one. Or one found us. Is that gonna charge me a lot of money again? I didn't technically get looted, I just died. I saw it on the map and I went in a dead eye, but it was behind me again. As soon as I, I whipped round, went in a dead eye and it was behind me. Fuck. I don't think that. Does that take money off of me? 
Fuck me, dude. You literally don't get any chance to react. Kind of like a real attack, probably. Listen, Sue, I would appreciate it if you didn't run away every time a fucking animal ki tries to kill me. I definitely think the uh, the double barrel is the way to go, though. Fuck. Um, can I have my hat back? Maybe that's what we're missing, guys. Maybe we're missing the uh, the beaver hat. Do you think that's what it is? Do you think we need to go King Beaver? Maybe that's the one thing that we've been missing. We could set up camp so that I don't get, like, kind of caught off guard by them. Because right now I'm kind of just getting wrecked in the dark. I wonder if we just set up camp. Hey, Dixie, what's up? How's it going? How's the show's been going? <laughs> Give me updates. Come on, fill me in. What's been going on? Once you get to level 9, it'll start showing you stuff underground dirt rounds. Oh, cool. Uh, let's sleep until morning. We won't bother setting up the tent. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because you need to heal up and that costs money. Mm. I understand. Yeah, my health is probably low. Did that thing one-shot me? Like, actually one-shot me. Tear down the camp here. Still quite dark, though. Alright, I think with the beaver hat on, we're untouchable, guys. If I'm being honest. Alright, where are we at? I say we set a... Where, where were you just now? Oh, we're over there. Like, let's say... Uh, let's say another marker for here. We're gonna roam back through, and we're gonna try and not get eaten by... a panther, okay? We're gonna catch one of these fuckers. And we're gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. The shows have been great. Feels awesome to see all the work come together in a final product. I'm beyond exhausted. You're doing amazing, Dixie. It's Thursday today. You're gonna accomplish more amazing things today. Before you know it, it's gonna be... Before you know it, it's gonna be... Um, Saturday night. And you'll be done. And you'll feel like... on. You'll feel like an absolute... An absolute king. Let's go ahead and pick these. I don't know if this is actually important or not, but we'll do it anyway. I have the poison arrow recipe, guys, but I don't have... You are tearing me apart, Lisa! <laughs> I am sorry my cousin Bibby killed you. Please <laughs> forgive him. I am sorry too, Mufasa. Thank you for the £3 donation. My cousin Bibby? Please forgive him? Is that who it was? Was it Cousin Bibby? Well, you better tell Cousin Bibby that I'm coming back for him and his family. And I've got the beaver hat on this time, so... Give him a fucking bit of warning. Fucking goddamn... There's not, like, a quick turn in the game, is there? Maybe I just need to stop and turn around. Every now and then. Fucking panthers. I wonder if there's going to be one in here. Oh no. What is this? This looks like some sort of slave cabin. Oh, well, I didn't know that was there, but we found it. Family photograph. Flip. Look at this graph. That was not what I expected to find. We've found a bear in a house like this before, so... Looks like somebody was held a uh, prisoner here. Take the newspaper scrap. Go catch your feelings. Is there anything in here? What's that, Kentucky bourbon, probably? Can't pick it up. Yeah, we went into a cabin once and there was a bear in it. Oh, it's here! Jesus, it was my fucking horse, dude! Did you see that? I saw something red on the map, dude, and then the horse fucking flew into my screen and I fucking shat myself. Goddamn Sue, dude. There was a red marker out here. Oh, fuck. You could be an older Weasley brother. That makes you Hagrid, Kibliss. Just saying. 
try to uh, trying to wake up at the moment, says Dixie. Oh, a snake. What the fuck, dude? I've never caught a snake before. That's the first time I've even seen one. Skin. Ooh. That's exciting. Oh, we just pick up, yeah. Northern Copperhead Snake. Interest. Oh, my. Alright. Stringy meat. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but sure. That wasn't exactly the cougar I was expecting, but we got it. Alright, can we pump the shotgun so it's good to go? There we go. Right. Back through the woods we go then. Ninja Sue. Dude, Sue actually made me shit a brick. Because I saw the red marker and I panicked. There's two reasons why I panicked. One, because I'm thinking... What the fuck? Is this another one? Was that another snake? I keep seeing these red dots on the map and then I freak out because one, I think that I'm going to die to a cougar attack, right? But then two, I'm also thinking, fuck, what if it just runs away and then we just waste more time? This is kind of terrifying, dude. My emotions are running high. The thing is, the red dots on the map, they never appear in front of you. They always appear behind you, which makes you kind of whip round and freak out. fuck was that? Uh, we're gonna eat that. Hummingbird sage. Oh, fuck. Do I even want to eat that? Sure. Not sure if you've ever known horses, but I've always wanted people to get on the left side because uh, back in the wartime, soldiers would wear their swords on the left side. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sushi, what's up? Well, didn't know you could catch and skin snakes this Sonic. Yeah, apparently. Right. We're going on a cat hunt. We're going on it. This is like a scene from Jurassic Park, to be honest. See, when somebody goes hunting for the dinosaur that kills them in the rain, they always die. This is never a good idea. We've died twice. I just need to make the... In fact, we've only... Wait, have we died? We've died twice to the panther, right? Or did we die? We just died once. I think we just died once. The, the first time it ran away. So, it's 1-0 to the panther. We have to make it 1-1. And then hopefully we'll be okay. Mm. Go get your feelings. I thought that rock was like the arse of a of a fucking cougar. All right, let's uh, change this up a little bit. Let's head back in the direction of this one. Oh. Sucks that I saw it and I was like aiming at it the first time, but then Sue kicked me off. Subsen. Hey, um, the reason I keep stopping and harvesting plants, guys, is because we actually have a. We actually have a, a, a challenge to eat wild berries. Five different species, I think. Indian tobacco is also very good as well, so I'm gonna pick it up if I can. I'm cheering for you, but inside I want Bibby to live. No, dude, Bibby has to go down. Bibby's fucking... He's ruined us twice. We have to put Bibby in his place. It's a turkey. Why is it getting dark again? Have we really missed the more... Like, have we really missed the daylight in this area? Why is it so... Awful. The weather is really poor here. I wonder if I should be, like, on horseback with a gun out. But the horse is just going to get me killed, I know it. Was there actually something inside? What the fuck? We've been in here. <gasps> it's behind me. There's a snake in front of me. Jesus Christ. The shotgun is not very good at... What the fuck is this? Is this a different one? Southern Copperhead Snake. I understand the circle of life. 
hundred dollar donation to save the life of Bibby. <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. But we have to get the Panther Quilt, dude. We have to, first of all, finalize the 1v1 that me and the Panther keeps having. And then after that, we need to, uh, we need to make a saddle, guys. That was another fucking snake, dude. There's hundreds of these little bastards. It just disappears. That one actually hissed at me, that was kind of creepy. If you stand next to a horse and feed an apple in real life, for example, you stand on the left side. Thanks for that, Kibliss. You're just a fountain of knowledge, aren't you? You're a fountain of knowledge, my guy. I'll uh, write this down in my brain for later, for when I tame a horse. What the fuck is that, Sushi? Is that me wearing a bandana? Is that Mr. Wolfie? Wearing... What the fuck, dude? I'm a smart guy. I'm sure, my dude. Pick the mushrooms. Uh, health herb. Well, we're gonna eat one of these. <laughs> Jesus. Why'd you guys keep destroying my moats, dude? What the fuck, dude? <gasps> I don't like when I pull the shotgun out that he has to cock the shotgun. Every time. I understand why, but it's gonna get me killed. See that one microsecond where he fucking cocks the gun? I swear this animal's gonna wreck me. That actually sounded like one. And the controller pulsed as well. Oh, behold. What the hell? No, I don't want that. Can I interact with this at all? This is kind of fucked up. Mm -hmm. After this day, everyone will ask, do you remember where you were, uh, where you were when Bibby was slain. We have to find Bibby first. Bibby's been a, li a right little bastard, dude. I think Mufasa actually tipped him off. I did tell Mufasa to give Bibby a heads up, but I didn't want Bibby to leave the fucking country, dude. I didn't want him to leave the jungle. What's weird is, I wonder, maybe once I add the animal to the compendium, it appears on the on the map. Maybe that's how it works. But apparently this is where you get them. Hmm. Nah, what the fuck is that, dude? What is it like, is it Paddy's Day coming up or something? Is there a bunch of Irish, Irish editions? That's Jack with a leprechaun beard. What the fuck? Is that? What the fuck is that? Get away! Get away! A badger! I'm sorry, bad. Oh my god, he's rolling, dude. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. I think I've actually got badger. Oh no, I don't. American badger, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That little fucker tried to attack me, though. Like, I don't know what he was doing. Um, we don't have to put that on, so that's good. Alright. Oh, maybe I could dive. Dive at the cougar. That would maybe give me an advantage, Kappa. Alright, cougar, I'm coming. Where are you? Sometimes they'll pick an apple. Oh, I... Uh, and it will drop on the ground, they'll get it though. Talking about feeding horses though. Bibby is in Animal Kingdom witness protection right now. Why did we nickname the panther Bibby? Why did, of all the ferocious and terrifying names we could have given to Mufasa's cousin. Why did he, why Bibby? How did that happen? Stop it. 
St. Patrick's and Women's Day, I think. All right, cool. Come on, motherfucker, where are you? If this thing bites me in the ass again, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. Apparently they stalk you, like a panther would IRL. So maybe we just need to get to a clearing and then like whip round and shoot it in the pus. Maybe that's what we need to do, guys. Is that what we're doing wrong? Maybe he's actually stalking us right now. Baby, are you out there? Hmm. Motherfucker. Hey, a little house. Would a carnivore bait work, says Buck? I think it would, yeah. Um, the only thing that I'm worrying about is that sometimes... My brother told me that the, the carnivore bait is really awkward. Like, if you plant it and there's no animals in the area, it doesn't actually like, spawn them in or something. Apparently they kind of need to be around anyway for the for the bait to like proc them. So, you know the first cougar that we saw? You know the first cougar that we saw that ran away, guys? That would have been the perfect time to use, like, carnivore bait. I don't think we can just use it and hope that it works. But I could be wrong. He's here, he's here, he's here. Holy fuck. Big cat. Skin. Let's find out if this is the baby we needed. We're gonna find out once we skin it if this is the panther of our dreams. Now we put two shots in its torso and head, so I don't think that this is going to be the perfect belt we need, but you never know, we may get it lucky. Uh, we got a good panther pelt, panther, so this is what we need, but we need a perfect pelt. I'm going to put this on my horse real quick. Um, now though, what I think should happen is, um, can we pick this up and potentially cook it? We can, that's good. Holy fuck, you get very, very little time to react to that, by the way. Okay, so, here's the thing, guys. We can now, that we have this uh, progress, this is why I was trying to kill a panther, right? We should now be able to see in the... We should be able to see the panther in the list now. Um, he's probably in the P section at the end. I don't know if he's like the American panther. Is that him there? There he is. Okay, so here he is. Panthers are native to the forests and the wetlands of Limon. Uh, as carnivores, they are prey on the deer, boars, and goats, and jacks. Um, an effective way to hunt these large mammals is with a rifle, with a high velocity or express bullet, or a bow with improved arrows. So we can use poison arrows, but we don't have any. So I think I need to use a rifle with high velocity or express. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, the thing is, what's terrifying about hunting the panthers is that if you have a rifle and you miss, the panther's gonna fuck you up. Um, so, let me just go in. So, the rifle we have that does the most damage is probably the Springfield with express bullets. Bolt action does less. Rolling block has massive damage with express, but it's got a scope. And I think the scope actually prevents me from... Let me just see if I can take the scope off. I think the scope uh, it prevents me from using Deadeye in quick time and... That would be a massive problem. Now, if we can see the panther coming and we can shoot it from afar, it'll be fine. Maybe we could do that. Could we set up bait in the clearing here on top of the dead body? Because we knew we know there's a panther in this area, but we need to take we need to put the bait here and then we need to take a we need to like take Sue over in this direction. So if I go I don't know if this is going to work or not. Come here, Sue. We'll see. I think now on the map it should... Is there no panthers marked? Oh. I thought it would mark that. You know how this has got a boar picture, for example? I thought it would mark the, pic the, the part of the map. But... Right, what we're going to do is we're going to tell Sue to come over here. And we're going to try and headshot one of these fuckers. But I need to be in a good position. And I need to have a clear shot on it. So Sue, you come over here, my dude. Right, you're going to stay here. 
we're gonna go over here. We're gonna try and stay on the high ground. I'm gonna put like the bait like here. Uh, can I, how do I do this again? Is it in here? Canned peaches, baked beans, salted beef, sweet corn. This is all just food, right? Moonshine, stamina, chewing tobacco. Where did I get the bait again, guys? Is it actually on my horse? Snake oil. You can tell I've not done this very much. Pirate rum, miracle tonic, cocaine gum, miracle tonic. Need a water source is usually good. Just lightly hold R2 Jack. Um. Maybe I need to get it off of my horse. Gin, Guantanamo run. Maybe it's not here. Is it in this area? the fuck? Dude, if one attacks me now, I'm fucked. Maybe, maybe I need to get the bait from a horse. So, do you have any of my stuff? Oh, here we go. Uh, horse reviver. I actually don't know where the fucking shit is, dude. Do I need to go into my actual... Can sa kidney beans, canned peaches, baked beans, solid beef, candies, venison, assorted biscuits, bread chunk crackers, chocolate bar. This is just food to eat, right? So it's not there. This is health stuff. Miracle Pone, Miracle Tonic, Moonshine, Cocaine Gum Bitters, H Pirate Rum, Miracle Tonic, Miracle, snake oil, open snake oil, binoculars, ah, oh, here we go. Use uh, to block human scent, reduce animal detection. Let's go ahead and put that on. You've applied cover scent, sure. So, it was in here. We need to also... Right, I'll tell you what, right. Let's go back to where we were. I need to put it on the high ground so I can see... Or I put it in a low point and then try and shoot it from... We'll see if this works. It might not. I don't know. Um, herbivore bait, predator bait. Come on, motherfucker. Just use that shit. Right. Um, from the surrounding area. Bait the remote areas, then crouch, stand by and, and stay still. Rolling block express rifle. Dude, if this thing fucking eats me in the back while I'm waiting like this, I'm gonna be so mad. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Yo, Phoenix, thank you for the host, dude. I don't know if this is going to work guys, the bait in this game is a bit fucking fernickety. Don't know how long we have to wait. Okay guys, I'm going to head out, I dropped you a host, I'll holler at you after. Phoenix, have a great day man. Thank you for the love. I'm giving a certain flying shooting game a try. This is sushi. Nice. Can imagine what that is. I've only used bait once before in this game and it didn't really impress me the last time either. 
I think uh, what my brother told me was true. You kind of have to have the animals already in the area or some shit. <sighs> oh, Anthem was the shoot, the flying shooting game. I thought you were talking about Ace Combat or some weird shit. I was like, you've got bigger bows than an Ace Sushi. Going in it. You're going in Ace Combat. Dude, I don't think this is actually working, man. I don't know how close you're supposed to stand. I might actually just leave on this slant. Uh, I'm going to put down some more. Maybe because we killed a panther here, there won't be any more spawning or some shit? I don't know. You may have to make camp sleep till morning and reset the day and it respawns the animals. Do you think the bait will still be active if I reset though? You can't even see it, that's what's dumb. I would imagine that the animal's supposed to turn up a lot sooner, right? Like, I don't think they would have you waiting for like 10 minutes. I know that's kind of the point of hunting, but... I guess, like, did I just set a, a marker on that and then come back? Like... Sometimes no animals show up. Yeah, well, dude, so far I've got 100% fucking track history of no animals showing up. Welcome move, by the way. Hmm... I could also try and track track an animal, but I don't know if the cougars are actually like actually trackable. I guess I could set up camp. But the thing is the camp's gonna move me. Ah <sighs> fuck. Well maybe even if I reset the area and put down some bait. I got plenty of bait to do this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sleep until the morning. <laughs> We're going to just completely get rid of this whole fucking day. Totally, totally. I hope this totally resets everything, but we'll see. Um, I think, yeah, get rid of this shitty weather as well. The effects of your cover scent have worn off. Stay downwind of animals you're hunting, and they have less chance to detect you. We're going to leave our tent here. Okay, so the bait is actually right next to us. Over there still. Hey Paul, what's up dude? Welcome. Hey, and Lestat as well. Hey guys, come in. Make yourselves comfy. Right. Do you think, guys, that we try one last time to reset the bait and then we just wait? Because the bait is over there, but I think the bait is completely done so. Right, I'll tell you what. We're going to use one last time. We're going to use the cover scent lotion. It's going to stop the fucking animals from seeing us. And then on this blood spot here, we're going to try... The fact the blood still exists is kind of worrying, because that makes me think maybe the uh, maybe the animals are technically still despawned in the area. Um, I'm going to try and... Well, first of all, I don't want to get the light out. I'm going to try one last time with the predator bait. We've got five out of five of these, apparently. Just use it, bitch. Right. I don't know if this is going to work or, or not, guys, but we're going to try it again. We're going to see if we have any luck with this shit. Here he goes. I don't know if we have to... Maybe we've not properly reset or whatever, I don't know. Hi, right, lads, don't mention anything about horses today, especially the raven horse. It's taboo word. I don't want to talk about it. Save and reload. It's 
fucking lame, dude. Not a single fucking animal. Apart from a white-tailed deer. This is so boring, dude. Hey, True, what's up, man? Is that the True Maverick? Right, there's a chance we get fucking... Do you know what I'll do, guys? I'll keep the uh, the Springfield in hand for when we're travelling. We may have to come away and come back. I'm going to keep the Springfield in hand, right? We might... We might be able to quick tap. Um... What the fuck's going on with my scope, dude? What the hell? I think we have to cut, like, reset the area or something. One and only you sexy shaved beast. <laughs> How's life, true? How's life, my guy? Welcome to the stream. It's been a while. <laughs> well, yes, and also chat ticked him off mentioning it. No, guys, you have to understand. It's not like the chat said, hey, Jack, here's a bit of advice. It's what happened was... So, we got a lot of advice to go and get an Arabian horse, so I did it. And then, after that, the chat was like, Oh, there's better horses, that horse sucks. And I was like, okay. So, you guys told me this was the best horse in the game. I got it. And then, they told me to replace it. And then, we had it for four days, and this morning, my horse died on a railway line. Right, I won't get into the details. It's kind of hard to talk about. But, um, basically, my chat instantly told me, as soon as my Arabian horse died that we've had for the past week, um, they told me to go and get an Arabian horse, and told me all the benefits about why it was so good. And I was just a little bit confused. You know. That's pretty much it. That's like a, a two minute summary. You know. So yeah, horses are a, a touchy point. That's fine guys, I know you are just trying to help me out, you're just trying to give me good advice. It's just kawaii sometimes, you know. Yeah. Dude, railways are always horses death, are always horse death traps, it's true, yeah. I, it, was, it was my own fault, I kind of drove my horse into the train. It's not exactly anybody's fault but my own. It's nobody's fault but my own. Piggies? We're gonna go back here and we're gonna see if the blood trail still exists. Shut your hole. Right, I think this is where we... Wow, is that him? Is that the real Kalmar Fry? Lost a man fonts... Uh, lost a man phone lassie that way. Wild hogs everywhere, but no cats. Right, I'm gonna try this again. Kalmar, thank you for the Twitch Prime, man. Forgot how good this game looked. Hell yeah, dude. How you doing, Cal? You alright, dude? It's been a while. Thank you for resubscribing, dude. Nine months. You're a hero. Um, so I need you to come over here. Thanks for using it, hey guys. We've had uh, quite a couple of, we've had quite a lot of subs recently. Uh, it's something I say pretty much almost every day, but I just want to like remind you guys that I'm really grateful. So to anybody who's subscribed, resubscribed, or gifted subs recently, you guys are insane. Thank you, Calmar. Welcome back to the Wolfpack, man. Nine months is incredible. Thank you for the support. I'm gonna tell you to stay. We've actually had a couple of subs today. We had Richard resubscribing earlier as well, so shout-outs to Kalmar and Richard today, guys. We gotta celebrate them. Right, let's try this. Uh, the Springfield is the gun I have in my hands, but I don't think I want that. Um, I think what I gotta do is get my rolling block back again. So, the rolling block has the most damage by a mile, I think. Yeah, rolling block express rifle. So we're going to try and use this to headshot the, the panther, if it actually decides to make an appearance. If not, we're just going to be sad inside. I'm going to keep using this area because I know there was a panther here because it attacked me here. 
and if it works it works and if not then i'm just being an idiot but we are going to i don't have any more predator bait jesus christ that's so sad Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. All right. I guess we gotta kill one on horseback. Feels bad, man. Um, wait, we're back on suit. Did you get Nightwing killed? Uh, I did. Yeah, Nightwing. It was actually Batwing, but yeah, Batwing is in the. Batwing had such a ca catastrophic injury, guys, that we couldn't save him or her. We couldn't save Batwing. I'm sorry. Batwing was driven headfirst in a train. Um, it was an accident, no matter what the chat tells you. I didn't mean to kill my horse as soon as we started playing today, but it was something that happened and I can't go back now. I'm sorry. Just woke up, so still a bit groggy, says Kalmar. Well, again, thank you for being here. Steven says, well, Ireland in lockdown. Hey, Steven, what's up, my guy? Ireland's in lockdown. Is this more corona developments, I guess? All the countries around the world, one by one, seem to be... Uh, clamping down at this stage which is scary for traveling I got my holiday lined up in like less than two weeks now I think we might be in trouble Richard Kalmar kiss kiss hug hug hell yeah dude what time uh, what time is your side of the world Kalmar time Sonic says gotta head to bed good luck with the hunt wolf you have a great day until next time Sonic thanks for being here man take it easy it is ten past one in the afternoon right now true for Kalmar and me Mm -hmm. I had a really late night. Mad love soul. Fucking hero status. <laughs> How's life been true? What have you been up to, my guy? We've yeah. missed you. We have missed you, sir. I hope life's been going well. Nothing interesting. Just sat watching Netflix and didn't see the time. Classic Kalmar. I am pretty sure that if I try and snipe this fucking... If I try and shoot this thing on horseback, I feel like it's going to be a mistake. I don't think it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. We can cover a lot more ground than horseback and potentially respawn the animals, so although I might end up dying doing this, guys, I feel like it's still the best play. I've completely ran out of bait, so I'm not going back to this city, basically. That would be a pain in the ass. I might come to regret it, but... I think with the with the panthers, I think they kind of spawn a couple of feet away from you when you're not looking. Like, they spawn behind you, and then I think they just run at you. Um, some of the chat was telling me earlier that they, they hang out in the trees. I don't actually know if that's real or not. If it is, it's really cool. But I don't actually know. I haven't seen a panther in a tree yet, so until I see that with my own eyes, I'm a bit sceptical. I wouldn't put it past Red Dead. You know, like, these some of these trees are big enough for panthers to actually sit in. But um, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think you can actually see them in the distance, but I could be wrong. Maybe I need to be doing this. Denmark is in lockdown too. My girlfriend, uni, and gym closed because of the virus, says Paul. That sucks, man. Yeah, I saw Italy as well, apparently. It's crazy. There's talk that my uh, my sister, my sister's in high school here in Scotland. There's actually talk about them cancelling the exams. Because obviously that would put all the children in the same room together. So there's like potential options where the exams get delayed or they end up using the prelim grades for for the actual exam results, which is crazy. Um, just a lot of uh, lot of nonsense ongoing at the moment. I heard that he and his wife both says Lestat. Did you see the Tom Hanks got the virus? I did not see Tom Hanks got the virus. What the fuck, really? Damn, dude. I did not see that Tom Hanks got the virus. That's crazy. Him and his wife. Dude, I'm super busy trying to finish uh, my Gears of War 5 playthrough uh, gameplay edit, sorry. Also, I keep saying, but Era Mixtape 3 is long development, but I finally was able to update League, been off League for two months because of trash internet. I feel you, man, I feel you. I got you. Uh, did you manage to get better internet, true? Or... Playing League with shitty ping is the worst thing on the planet. It is actually so gross, so I can totally understand that. I think they will uh, hear, which is a massive kick in the bollocks, as I will lose the festival dates we've got. Yeah, it sucks. Um, Mr. Snowblar was hanging out in the chat earlier, guys, and he's obviously gone to Canada very soon. 
to visit Dixie, who we also know and love from our community. Um, those guys were going to be hanging out, and obviously, Snowblower is hoping that his flights don't get cancelled and that Canada doesn't go into lockdown because that obviously is going to be a problem. Uh, again, I've got my holiday in like 15, 16 days. And we were so excited, like, I, I haven't been on holiday in like, three, four years, probably even longer at this stage. Uh, I, I'd actually did go to Portugal not that long ago, now that I think about it, but other than that, I've not had like a major international holiday for many, many years. And Mrs. Wolfie really does deserve a stress-free break at the moment, she's been working so goddamn hard. She's been working so goddamn hard, and she deserves it, and right now this virus is obviously slap bang in the middle of when we're supposed to be going so oh, on one hand i don't want to miss my friend's wedding um and i also don't want to miss you know just going to new countries that i've never been to because i've paid for a lot of it so we just have to wait and see <coughs> also skateboarding snowboarding playing secret of mana playing dragon ball z kakarot and been playing mobile legends bang bang nice hey true it sounds like you've been busy my guy i hope that uh, all is well in the life of true I hope Brother True and Mrs. True are doing fantastic as always. Yeah. We're going on a cougar hunt. We're going on a cougar hunt. I honestly feel like being on horseback is the worst thing I can actually do right now. I'm not going to give up, guys. I'm going to get off soon. Fuck this. We have to just... Permanently be whipping around on the off chance that one of these fuckers is following us. I thought you were on vacation and went to dinner and the waiter was giving you a hard time about being messy. Um, so I went on a trip to London for three days to visit my friends and watch League of Legends, Paul. I guess you could call that a holiday, but it was just to Bromley in England. Uh, which was lovely, don't get me wrong. It was a great time, I had a blast with my friends, but I never actually went on a kind of sunny beach actual vacation holiday does that make sense it was more of like a city break to see my mates um that was down in in london so yeah i did do that it's true yeah had a few days off to go and see watch some league games but that's all we did we were just kind of chilling drinking watching some league games and relaxing so you could count that as a holiday i guess but not you know not somewhere where i can pop my shorts on and go to the beach kind of deal so we're going on a cougar hunt, we're going on a cougar, cougar hunt. Jack walking up to the bar. <gasps> oh, it's such a pain, dude. We saw two or three, and then now we just can't find any. I'm pretty sure I'm in the right spot. He went to Frankie and Benny's. That's not a holiday for Jack. It's a weekly ritual, says Calmer. I, have, I haven't been at Frankie and Benny's this year, guys. I'm waiting on J-Cram to take me on a hot date. Because I know he loves it there. He owns one of the restaurants, actually. He's going to rename it Frankie and Crams. Benny's. Check out that dead body. I did, yeah, I've, I've had a look at it already, move. I've been in this area for about two hours now. <laughs> I've been here for ages. The first thing we did today was kill our horse accidentally. And then after that, we went to the shops. We pimped all of our guns. We got a whole new wardrobe of clothes. Oh, the fuck was that? Was that a snake? I think it was a snake. Damn it, I got excited there. And uh, after that we came down looking for the panther. I'm trying to catch the perfect, I'm trying to get a perfect panther quilt so that I can make myself a saddle. Um, in case anybody's wondering what's going on right now. What, no poker? Hey, I mean I can set poker up if he's one, what's up to you? <gasps> Alright, so, so far guys, I've been killed by a panther once, and I've also killed a panther once, so it's 1-1 one, one in terms of the panther war- the panther warfare. I am hoping that we are okay soon enough. But I gotta- I gotta give this more time until it- until it works properly. Okay, let's go down into the depths. This should be kind of the general direction to find one. I'm gonna keep so close just in case. I gave up doing the animal encyclopedia because of the spawns. Sick of being in the same area for so long. Yeah, that's what it kind of feels like, Cal. 
that what's really awkward about the the cougar attacks is that like you don't get any time to react to them at all. I genuinely like somebody said online that the cougars stalk you, or sorry, the panthers. Apparently, the panthers follow you. But I both times I've encountered them, the dot appears on the radar, and if you you get a couple of seconds to whip round, and if you're not quick enough, it will fuck you up. Oh, compendium updated panther. What? You've already s Wait, does that mean that there's one here? Maybe it's been marked on the map now? Dude, I'm not even gonna lie. When I went into fucking Deadeye there, it actually made the fucking noise that of a panther roaring and I got a little fright. Um, let's go ahead and drink some snake eye oil here. I'm gonna get all of my Deadeye back for when this fucker turns up. Maybe... No. Why would why would it pop up and say Panther Compendium updated? What the fuck? That was weird. Sue is a panther in disguise. I mean Sue might be a panther in disguise. We gotta keep it up, guys. We gotta keep it up. Can't give up. We're close. I just need one of them to spawn, I need it to attack me, and I need me to shoot it in the head and have no issues. All of those three variables need to line up. Okay? I mean, I could try and, uh... I, w I could also try and see one in the distance before it appears. But, I mean, it's kind of impossible to do that, if I'm being honest. I would like a big clearing like this so that I got a free headshot on it. Deer. Bird. Bird. One of these fuckers is going to jump out and fucking slay me. I'm calling it right now. I hate this game. Well. Why is there a boat in that tree? Can I inspect this? God damn it, dude. I, you get zero time to react, guys. Like, I couldn't even go on a dead eye and it jumped at me. Like, I, I didn't even get a chance to go on a dead eye. Jesus. Holy mother of God. Well, at least we're getting closer. If you count that as close. Let's, uh, no, not custom outfit 2, you dumb fuck. Dude, this system is actually awful. Right, give me my hat. Right. Fuckaroo. I'm supposed to scope in and, and dead eye that, basically. And dead eye in the head. Yikes, dude. It just one bangs you as well. Like if you don't get a chance to shoot at it as it jumps. Alright, well, I needed to shoot something. I was going fucking insane. 
We're gonna loot these boys here. Maybe pay us back for all of our troubles. What are we getting from these four? Did we get money? A gold wedding ring, okay. You guys got any money? $1.84, wow. Health cure is nice. Because I used my last health cure on the snake venom guy. Hmm. So, what I need to do now is, guys, is I need to decide, like... I need to decide if I'm going to keep running around doing this with the Springfield out. You, the, 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 basically the cougars spawn in when they're, I feel like when they're running at you. Um, and I could stay down here, but I, ugh, I don't know. It's going to be a while. I feel like we're trying to go onto the railing and Tony Hawk's all over again. I basically need to get in the habit of dead eye instantly as soon as I hear it. Because you hear it before you see it. You hear it and then you see the, uh... You hear it and then you hear it growl and then you see it on the map. If I'm on the horse, there's a strong possibility that I just get thrown off the horse. It would be great if it attacked me somewhere out here in the open because then I could actually see it. Whereas like in the trees it's quite hard to basically scope in and kill it. <sighs> Speaking of things that are getting killed, dude, what the fuck? Are you okay, Sue? Are you alright? Fucking silly bastard. Right, okay. Trouble with the cougar, eh? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Trouble with the cougar. Like, I literally, the last time we saw it, I went into this mode and it spawned in front of me, guys, and it just ran at me. He needs to wear his wedding ring, it attracts cougars level 100. How did you kill the Arabian ass chew? Uh, I was driving along next to a train and I saw a gap in the fence on the other side of the track so I tried to cut in front of the train to get across the railway line to beat the train and I ended up just driving the horse head first into the side of the, the train as it passed me. That's how I killed the Arabian. It got a critical injury on the ground and I couldn't revive it with anything so the horse just died immediately. That's how my Arabian horse died. I'm trying to get in the habit of like aiming in and then right clicking. That's like the only way this is gonna work. That's the only way we're gonna get this fucking system to work. Can I actually just... This is really unfortunate. See running through the brush like this, this is death. Rip, yeah. I can see it, I can feel it. I can see it, I can feel it. <laughs> can you get a second now that it's dead? What do you mean, can I get a second? Can I, go, can I go and catch another Arabian horse? Yeah, I can. The Arabian horse kind of pissed me off though, guys. What the fuck is that? Is that a wolf? Oh, it's a boar. The Arabian horse was very fast, but it was very small and it ran away more than Sue does. Come on, man. I see boars. The last time I got kind of freaked out when the cougar attacked me because I was already in this mode and I didn't know to just go like that and then bang it. That would have been the best case. I could also just snap it R2, but then there's a chance you miss the headshot if you do that. Is there something in that stump? This looks like the kind of stump that there would be something hidden in. The fuck was that? The boar. Damn, man. Going on a cougar hunt. I'm going on a cougar hunt. Focus on track white tailed deer. Yeah, I don't know if you can track the cougar, but that would make my life so much fucking easier. 
feel like I'm just looking for a chance encounter where it may actually just insta kill me. The fuck? What are you trying to do, you mad bastard? Fucking deer trying to kill me as well. What the fuck? I wonder if I just. Maybe if I follow the. Maybe if I go like over here or something. Oh, dude, this is fucking obnoxious. The horse crash mechanics are strong in this game. Yeah, they do, yeah. I don't have the best control of my horses when I drive them, guys. But, um, yeah, no, the crash physics are pretty insane. Didn't really, you don't, if you don't, if you're not careful, you will fuck up your horse 24-7. The horses are pretty sturdy, though. Like, for the most part, the horses don't die to silly shit, you know? Like, when I crashed into the floor a minute ago, the horse is fine. It's just if you connect with, like, a train or another person, it can kind of get fucked up. Or if it falls down a really steep hill, that fucks up, too. But we actually crashed in it like a full, like a full on moving train, which was pretty much guaranteed death. The black squirrel. Is that what that is? Perfect. Um, panther, 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 panther. Choo choo. I hate this bit of the jungle here because it's so fucking dense, dude. There's so much trees and shit in the way, like. I don't even know if they can, I don't know how fre frequently they spawn behind you and shit. I kinda need one to like turn up when I'm like in the open. Not like in here. This is too clustered, there's too many trees. Even if it spawned here I wouldn't be able to shoot it, it would kill me. It needs to be like out in the open like this. I wonder if I just go get predator bait and come back, because honestly this is kind of getting a bit fucking old really goddamn quick. Thought I heard like a noise there, what the fuck. This is where my horse has been absolutely ravaged by a fucking panther. What the fuck is that? A wild boar? There's also a chance that I shoot with this cat and it's like a two star pelt. Like, that, that's another thing that's bothering me. Like, one of the reasons why we need to get the, uh, the bait is because uh, if I don't get a clean shot, then I may actually just end up wasting my time. Right, if I want to buy... If I want to buy predator bait, do I need to go all the way to the tracker? Or can I buy it from like a general store? Maybe it's the butcher? I could try going here. I don't know if this is going to work or not. There's always a chance I see one on the way out or it kills me on the way out. We'll just try our best, guys. The music in this game kind of freaks me out sometimes. What the fuck, dude? What happened, man? My horse threw me, and I landed on my foot, and I heard a snap. My legs all numb. Hands. <sighs> Unbelievable, dude. Uh, focus on the attack and press triangle to surrender. Now. Hey, you best uh, damn well oh, listen. You got me, lady. I think we can kill her if we do this right. I 
I don't know why I didn't just instantly shoot her though. I'm using my dead eye doing this. Oh shit, I didn't know that could happen. I didn't know you could get knocked out your dead. I'm learning so much today. Oh my god, dude, why is these. I thought when you reach for the weapon it would just instantly kill her, but maybe not. Do we get any good money for this? Because these are technically robbers, no? Dude, feels bad, man. Fucked up. I used a bit of my dead eye as well, so gonna need that to fill back up. As soon as she jumped to our feet, I knew what was going on. I was like, oh, great, nice. Thought I could just get some honor and chill, but no, 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 dude. Now I don't even have the rifle out, so if the fucking panther attacks me, I've got half a fucking tank of dead eye to kill it. Alright, let's get out of here. Use bait, brah. We tried chewy. We used we use three predator baits and nothing spawned. So I'm going back to get more bait. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> that was tragic, dude. I thought if you, um... When you're getting robbed, I, f I thought you could, like, draw and just instantly shoot them. But, uh... Yeah, I also didn't know if you got attacked on dead eye. It makes sense, if you get meleeed and dead eye, it cancels you. I've just learned that as well. I didn't know that was an actual thing that happened. Right, I don't know if I can buy bait from the butcher, but I'm gonna try. I think you can get it in roads uh, if you fast travel from there. We should be alright. The gunsmith might even be able to help me out, I don't know. I'm gonna try the butcher first, because he kinda deals with animals and hunting, so... This will be my go-to. It'd be really cool if he had it, but I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't. I might be able to buy it from the general store as well. Uh, can I just buy from here? Do you have any predator bait, good sir? No, you've just got food. Fucking hell. Uh, I might be able to sell with this guy though, I've got a bunch of pills. Skin. Shut up, my dude. Badger claw. Relax, little doggo. Um, what do we want to do right now? We try the store? Let's say we try the store. Fuck it. The missable quests on this were a pain, says Cal. I can imagine, yeah. For 100% completing. Oh, this guy wants to talk to me. No, no, no. Oh, wait. What's the snake guy? Claim a single item for free, go to the store. Alright. So I'm here to buy a Ferrari Enzo. Yo, what's up, dude? Uh, we probably want to buy something expensive, right? Horse Reviver, $9. Coat, shirts, pants, accessories, outfits. Wait, does this guy have like no... No like supplies? Um... I can get a new hat maybe? An outfit would be the most sensible option. Can I view what this looks like? Do I even have the Panama hat? Oh god, that thing is ugly. We look a bit ugly as well. What the fuck is going on? Will we buy, a, will we buy an outfit on the gentleman? I think it's going to change my entire outfit if I do that though. Maybe I can buy a new coat. Uh, view. Yeah, sure. Why don't you go ahead and buy me that bad boy? Time, I thought I could buy some bait from here, but oh wait, hold on, provisions, shit, canned food, dry food, tobacco. No, that's not what I want. Tonics, hunting and fishing would be where I should be at. I don't know why I didn't go in there first. 
Miracle Tonic. Just want to have a look at the other stuff I can buy here. Mm. Bro, tell me how much uh, you Lucy. Uh, tell me how much. Uh, tell me how much you love Lucy. Is it Sadie Adler? How much you love? Yeah, yeah. Tell me how much you love uh, Sadie Adler after the shopping trip because I love her nine thousand over nine thousand. <laughs> yeah, Sadie's cool. I like Sadie. She's um, she's a decent part of the camp for sure. She's pretty cool. All right, Pred, our bait. Right, we got what we needed. Lake Lure. Buy that shit as well. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. We got a no, new coat for our troubles as well. I bought a new hat and I set the outfit to my horse and now the fucking... Come here, horse. I'm gonna get rid of this coat because it's fucking disgusting. But yeah, Sadie's pretty chill. We like Sadie a lot. She's cool. Alright, I'm gonna pat my horse here real quick. Can I change my outfits, please? Okay, girl, just a scratch. There we go. This is our new one, right? New hat, new coat and shit. Okay, right, well, we got our bait. I'm going to head back, guys, and I'm going to try this again. Hopefully it works out. Uh, my, my aim is to kill the panther, get the coat, make the saddle, and then get the fuck out of Dodge. I'm sorry this is taking so long. Don't tell Mrs. True, but she, <laughs> she got this competition. <laughs> I like it, dude. Alright, we're gonna go. Sometimes in this game, when you're... <laughs> Sometimes in this game, when you are traveling between trees, the, the AI will automatically aim you... Oh shit, I probably shouldn't be in this place. <laughs> Sometimes the AI will control the horse a little bit and guide you through the trees. So I just let it guide me there, and then he just ran straight into the tree anyway. <coughs> Which is problematic. But anyway. I'm gonna try this again. Hopefully the predator bait works this time, but I won't hold my fucking breath. Saw that coming, yeah. <coughs> Running into trees in this game is my favourite hobby. Right, we are going to... Head straight for this red marker. I should probably get the Springfield out on the off chance that we bang into a cougar on the way down because there's a chance we could get attacked while on the path. We've cocked the, the gun and shit now, so that's a bore. Right, we gotta go off the beaten path now. If we get killed by a cougar as soon as I spawn here, I'm gonna be hella mad, but. I'm hoping to use this spot. Oh, it's right behind me, dude. It's actually right behind me. Fuck you, game, dude. I swear to Christ. If that's not a snake, dude. Stop dragging an unknown animal. Let's find out what the fuck it was then, shall we? Dude, that could have been a fucking snake. Or it could have been the actual cougar. If this is the cougar... I guess it's an unknown animal, so maybe it was a snake. I'm gonna track this in the off chance that it leads us to... a cougar. Something red was on the map there, and when I whipped around, it wasn't, it wasn't there anymore. Was it this? It was, it was a snake. Copperhead snake. Fuck, dude, I got so goddamn excited, man. Motherfucker. Yeah, Jack, blame the game, not the fact you need your glasses. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> There's like zero time to react to that shit. Dude, so what's annoying me now is not the fact that I died, it's... It's not even the missed opportunity, it's the fact that now I wonder if that's gonna fuck with the spawn of the cougar. Like, or sorry, the panther. Like, if I go back with the bait now, is that... That panther attack there, is that gonna fuck the spawn of another one? There's no window there for me to like, get my gun up and shoot it in the head, or even just try and have a pop at it. Damn. I am going to try and get my hat back, please. Stalker's hat. 
That's not the right hat though, is it? Dude, I'd much rather have the Arthur hat on. I don't think that's going to mess up the spawn. Damn, that's annoying. There was, I saw it on the map that time. Yep. Yep. Fuck. If it doesn't upset, if it doesn't upset anything, it's fine. But if it does, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. I think that there's like only so many of these attacks that are supposed to happen every like 10, 15. That's another one right by, right behind me. There's another one right. By, hold on, Jesse. I gotta focus for a second. Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off. Oh, we we actually we actually knocked it off that time. It's not over yet. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Please. Please. I can't even tell if the coat's good on it. Have I even found this before? Is this new? Welcome, Jesse and friends. Sorry, we were just in a really intense moment when you were raiding. I couldn't concentrate. But welcome, guys. Thank you for the raid. Perfect Panther Pelt. Fuck yeah, dude. But why is the compendium updated? We've already put the panther in the compendium. That's why I'm confused. We have already logged the panther in the compendium twice. So why the fuck? I, I don't understand. I'm not upset because we got what we came for, but holy fuck, dude, was that stressful. We actually managed to like knock it off balance. It didn't one shot us that time. Whew. All right, dude. Well, with that, we're putting the beaver hat on, dude. We're celebrating. Give me this fucking god that. Oh, look, now it appears. What the fuck is this game, dude? We have logged this in the compendium twice, and then now it's the third time, and it finally appears on the goddamn map. What the fuck? Get me out of here, dude. That's jank AF. So goddamn jank. Take me to the goddamn fucking trapper, dude. I'm here for you, True. Good job. Thanks, guys. We got it in the end. Is that the real Mr. Wolfie? Says True Maverick to Vincent. Hey, yo. Welcome, guys. Welcome. It's good to have you here. Thank you again, Jesse, for the raid. Sorry, we were just in a... We've been hunting panthers for the past two hours, just trying to get the right panther coat, and we finally got it, so... I could have also picked up the panther and took it to the market to sell, I think, but I'm not really giving a shit about that right now. Do we need to scan track... You need to scan track kill and skin for what? To log it in the compendium or to log it on the map, Kalmar? Because I've not I've not tracked it, but I scanned it and I killed it and I skinned it before. We put it in the compendium. Yo, Aquia, what's up? Welcome. Your satchel was full, I think, chick. It's a different type of panther, that's why? I mean, I don't know what the panther was that we logged before, but we definitely put one in. So, the one we put in before, these are the legendary animals. Florida panther, this is the new one. <clears throat> so we logged to, yeah, understand now it was a different type. <clears throat> so that's why I got marked on the map. Interesting. So far, all I've seen is you gamble and capture animals. Is that the real-life Pokemon that you wanted with Game Corner and Pokedex? I mean, it's a good step in the right direction. Hell yeah, dude. You guys tell me that a Pokemon game wouldn't look good like this. Imagine that, guys. Imagine instead of Red Dead, right, we were running around, not on the back of a horse, but on the back of a... I don't know, like a Rhyhorn? And it was an open-world game with Pokemon. You know, I think this game would be insane. How are you today, Jack? I'm doing... I'm doing really good, Aquia. Is that a train robbery?
Oh, are you part of the robbery? I deliberately didn't shoot you, my friend. Oh god, that was an accident. What? The, the, dude, the dead eye literally just missed the headshot, what the fuck? Did you guys see that? I ran my horse into all the passengers and ran them over by accident, that was a fail. Maybe we can actually rob the train now, though. Chin armor. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Aquia? You alright? One you killed was a Florida Panther. Yes, it is. That is indeed true. When I looked up, I checked. You are correct, young man. How is Truma Verik doing? I dislike realistic graphics, but that would be fun. Why do you dislike realistic graphics, Vince? Looked like it plinked off metal, but maybe I had head gun in front of his face. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Either that or it was his jawline. It could have been a sexy ass jawline, guys. Yeah, he did. He had that, that last guy we shot did have a really strong... Um, I don't even know what happened. Can we rob the train or... I don't know if there's anything to steal if there's like a storage wagon or something. I don't know. Do these guys have any loot on the back of their shit? Alright, do you know what? We're getting sidetracked here. For like the 30th time, realistic graphics do not equal good graphics. Um, You don't think this... Okay, so hold on. Do these look like good graphics? Yes or no? Do these look like good graphics, guys? Yes or no? So if you put Pokemon with these type of good graphics, you don't think it would be good? Confused. I'm good. Didn't know uh, I already told you. Oh, I don't know if I, I've already told you, Sazak, but I've got Twitch working. I think I saw your... Did you comment on Discord, Aqua? That seems similar. We'll start streaming maybe today or this weekend. Cool. I hope that goes well for you. I just enjoy bright, vivid graphics, that's all. I understand. Cool. Dude, Mad Busy says, true, got my Final Fantasy 13 vinyl feels up, uh, video uploaded, finishing my Gears, Gears 5 playthrough. Era Mixtape 3, almost ready. We've been waiting a long time on the Era Mixtape video, true. We've been waiting a while. I'm excited. The video feels video? Yeah, the Vanille Feels video. The Vanille Feels video was a good time. I know Ollie liked it because he left comments on the video. Has to die. Right, I am fucked up right now. You're okay, girl. I'm actually going to eat some food for my guy right now. Games like Pokemon, a stylized cartoon still will always look better. I mean, personally, I think that's just your personal opinion, and I disagree with it, but I mean, it's whatever. I think that, you know, obviously, certain games have styles, guys, right? And it's cool for them to maintain that, but I also think it's cool for games to try new stuff. And I know, without fail, if a game came out that was announced where there was a realistic looking Pokemon game with graphics like Red Dead 2 set in an open world, you guys would all shit to yourselves with excitement. And you would be in my chat every day giving me a countdown when the game was going to be released. So when I tell you guys that I think an open world Pokemon game that looks as good as this game would be cool. I don't know why you guys disagree with me. I'm confused. I honestly think that game would be insane. And I don't know why you guys disagree. I think that would be unbelievable. I'm not saying that they have to can all of their current Pokemon topics or strategies and get rid of them. I'm just saying imagine they produced it on top. Maybe they hire a new company. Maybe Nintendo team up with Square Enix or fucking Rockstar Games and they make an open world Pokemon game. I don't know why every time I bring this up and I'm like, guys, this would be really sick. Don't you guys agree? You're like, nah, nah, 
Good graphics don't mean that the game's going to be good, you know. Pokemon should stay cartoony. I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get why you guys wouldn't like that. It, it confuses me. I need to go to the inn because it's too late. Okay, it sure it's, it's true. Let's go to the saloon. Pokemon game with this style of Detective Chew movie would be cool. I agree. No disagreeing. No, I wasn't talking to you, Vince. Don't worry about it, my friend. Wasn't talking to you. Is everything all right here, boys? Lord Bandit Beaver here is uh. What's up, my dude? You got a problem? The whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. Rocky? Oh, I'm here. I'm here. I need to stay the night somewhere. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. I'll wait out here. Okay. Locate and kill the rats in the saloon, dude. If I go in here and there's a fucking mountain lion, I'm gonna be hell annoyed. Draw. This place looks nasty bad. Okay. Three rats down. <laughs> How many are left? There's one more. Focus on the track of the rat. Oh wait, that's a... Hold your forces. Is that a cigarette card I see right there? Hmm. I wouldn't give a countdown because it's open world or realistic. I would give a countdown because it's Pokemon. Sushi, that's a long way, uh, that's a long roundabout political way of saying you would be excited for a game like that, correct? Don't at me with your nonsense. Sometimes I think you guys are very pernicky. Um, and I don't understand why. It's okay. It's okay to accept that it might be cool, guys. It's not, you don't have to, like, sacrifice your beliefs. You know? You could just say, yeah, that sounds cool. I don't know why you guys disagree. Like, I, I get, like, not everybody has to agree with me, but... You guys can't tell me that an open world Pokemon game like this wouldn't be sick. I don't know why you guys disagree, because I know you would all be excited. Whether it's Pokemon or not, you would be like, oh yeah, dude, that'd be fucking awesome. I'll watch it now, just let me give... BRB gonna tune into the news for a bit. It's starting at Skill Tree. Gonna make lunch back in a bit, says Cal. Return to the bartender. I don't know if I want to stay here anymore. Hello. Still some in there. Wait, is there? Is there still some in there? Dude, I'm trying to talk to you. Hello? Mealy? What the fuck? My horse just got hit by a truck. Dude, honestly, I don't even know what the fuck's going on anymore. I've killed all the rats. Mister, take this. Ooh, this game is so fucking. Set. It's so long, dude. What is going on? <laughs> Thirteen dollars. I just want to stay in your saloon. Can I do that? Can I stay in the saloon? Oh, for fuck's sake! I just want to go to sleep. Oh my god, dude. Why is the game? This game is fucking freaking out. I just want to find somewhere to to sleep. What the fuck is going on? Horse gets hit by a tram. Fucking questline glitches out, dude. Pick up the rats. The Pokemon game would be cool if it took place before Professor Pokedex before. What do you mean true? Like, do you mean like, like rural Pokemon? Like an open world Pokemon game, but like without the... Do you mean like before there was like tamers and stuff? So it would be like the wilds? I think I know what you mean, maybe. Hi. <sighs> right. Do you know what guys? It's lunchtime. I'm gonna set the poker table and we're gonna eat some lunch. Then I'm gonna have my panther quilt made. I'm gonna play poker. 
You got no one to hold them before Pokeballs. That would be a cool concept. Mm -hmm. Before Nurse Joy. <laughs> before Nurse Joy. <laughs> before Pokeballs were invented, you have to you have to wrangle the Dragonite with a Lasso. Oh, no. Alright, I'm gonna go make some sandwiches, guys. I'll be back in a, in a second. Thank you again for the, the raids today, guys. We've had two raids. Sorry, one raid, one host, two resubs, and a donation as well. So thank you for all the love, guys. We got our Panther Quilt. I'm gonna get it sorted in the morning. I'm gonna go make lunch. We're gonna play a little bit of poker for fun. Not for, you know, actual money. I mean, we're playing for money, but it's not uh, big, big money by any means. What is that, a Jack Ace? Seven Ace suited. Okay, nice. Good start in hand. Um, after I finish here, I'm gonna go speak to the saloon director guy, the fucking tavern owner. I'm gonna book a room. We're gonna get up in the morning, make our quilt, and then we're gonna do some main story, okay? We might even consider going to get another Arabian horse. I don't know. We've done that already, and I feel like I'm kind of over it, to be honest. But we do need a better horse than uh, than Sue. So, before Officer Jenny, I know what to do. I'll be right back, guys. Love you lots. Oh, I am hoping... I am hoping that the bit alerts are playing today. If that's what... I, I just The only reason I'm back saying this is because I think that's what she's got in his mind. Um, yesterday, our bit alerts weren't working properly, and I hope that they're working now. But I don't know. So, a word of warning, maybe don't go ham on the big bit donations, guys, if you are going to do the sound alerts, because yesterday they were broken. But, I hope they work. That, that answers that question. You can hear it. Nice. Good. Good shit. Some of us got responsibilities, you know. You all on your lonesome? Suddenly, no. Don't you bother yourself. It's no matter. <laughs> Investors are starting to worry. Hmm. Only so much to think about. Get on with it. All those steamboats from up north are still catching fire. They're all insured by the same structure. No. You hoping I'll fall asleep or what? Had to buy myself a derringer for walking about. Seems you can never be too careful anymore. Did I miss a problem? Is that 
we judges like all the others, they come here with the aims of bringing American justice to the French civil code and end up making rulings on their backs beneath the red gaslight. <laughs> Not the first time that happened. Yeah. What has that been? What did I miss? True Maverick, you've been going crazy, my guy. <laughs> before Pokemon balls were invented, before Officer Jenny, I know what to do. Titanic flute, Titanic flute, Jurassic Park. Oh, wow. Jcram went a bit mad in one of my streams for about five cent alerts in a row, says Vince. That sounds... Surprise, motherfucker. That sounds like something Jcram would do. Yo, True, how many bits is that, dude? 300, 450, 500... 650, 775? You're absolutely insane, true. What the hell? <laughs> Travel from Europe to America is now banned for 30 days. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> no! God! No! Apparently, God, they're still please, living. No! 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 <laughs> Apparently, they're still living UK residents, though. I don't know if that's true or not. Two Maverick coming back with a bang, guys. If it's taking this long, it's a Who's AFK? Decision. Comes back and goes crazy. Going sliced pig. Good old True Maverick. <laughs> True Maverick. Is that your nickname for True? Vince, I like that. How did you guys get on today? I never asked him. Um, I think Jesse went AFK to watch the, mus uh, the news earlier. <laughs> alright. Are you alright, True? Are you just getting all this out of your system, dude? All this missing uh, wolf pack love. You're unloading it in one sitting. True, that's an ab absolute absurd amount of bits, dude. Yeah, but it's on in the background, says Jesse. Uh, Jesse, I meant to ask you earlier, my dude. I'm sorry if I missed this, but when you raided me earlier and you came in with a gang, what were you playing this morning? I never actually asked you because I was balls deep and getting wrecked by a cougar. Um, we're gonna call this Final Fantasy 15. Nice, 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 nice. True, my Eric K. <laughs> Just wanted to spam before work. True, you're insane, dude. Thank you so much for the love. Lots and lots of love coming out from you. You're a beast. Check me. I raise you. Hmm. There's two cards on the table that beat us, but we have flush draw, and we still have the ace. Charlie might re-raise. Uh, Let's see how this goes. Raise. Hmm. This is kind of risky, but we're in. Mm-hmm. You're always balls deep and get wrecked by a cougar. Wait, what? I'll lead by example. All right, we can't get a straight, but we can get a flush. Um, and we could also potentially draw an ace. All in three fifty. So. Some of us got responsibilities, you know. I think that guy might have a straight. True Maverick says, at the side of the screen calls me again like always, love this pack. 
True, you've just came and went absolutely ham salad with the bits, dude. I'm super, super appreciative of you, my guy. Glad everything's going well in the life of the Maverick. Go forth, have an excellent day. I hope work goes smoothly. Say hello to Mrs. True and Brother True. And uh, thank you for being here, True. You've, uh, you've just popped off, as always, my guy. Really, really appreciate all the bits. Thank you. Have an excellent day, okay? It's better you fold. Hey, mate, I What's up, dude? So, what do you think, guys? Um, we're pretty deep at this point, but we could fold. Um, <clears throat> one more club gives us the win, most likely. Uh, definitely gives us the win. Unless somebody's got four of a kind, which is actually impossible. Unless a queen or a king or a nine or a five. Yeah, it's actually impossible. This guy would have to be sitting on two queens. He could have a full house, which beats us, but it's unlikely unless another king, queen, five or nine appears. Do we think the next card is going to be a club, guys? Do you guys believe in the club? If this was a real poker tournament, I would fold here. But because it's a video game, because the buy-in is so small, we're going to call. I need a club to win. If I get a club, we smash. If we don't get a club, we lose. Uh. Pair of kings, ace high, so an ace or a club wins us this hand, an ace or a club. That's what it is. One of the laborers stealing wine from the church. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Metatron. Metatron, Metatron, Metatron. Young man. Listen. 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 I'm in a bit of a... I wouldn't say a confrontational mood today. But I'm going to call out annoying things when I see it, right? You cannot say... You cannot wait... You cannot wait until the, the results have been shown and be like, hey, I told you. Because if an ace had turned there, or if a club had turned there, right? I will admit it was unlikely. But if an ace or a club had turned there, you wouldn't have said anything. Okay? So to be purely results-based like this, I know you gave us the advice beforehand, but you, you did not know that we were going to lose that. There was ways we could have won that. It was unlikely, yes. But I already explained. It was a low buy-in. I didn't care if we lost. Please don't be that guy. Okay? Just saying. Alright. Don't do the results space thing, guys. It's so easy in hindsight to be like, see, I was right. But you didn't know you were going to be right. You just thought you were. I could have been right. I could have won that hand. I could have won 20 bucks. And nobody would have been like, hey, Jack, good job. You would all just sat quietly and not said a word. Do you understand? Are we cool? Love you guys. But that's really fucking annoying. Just saying. This was painful. I'm out. Until next time. I had an industry man come in here last week telling me he's moving down south. Sick of North Liberalism. Let's just say I wish I did. Since I'm back. Well, that's that, I suppose. Forgive me. Hey Jack, good job on not listening to sage advice. I'm sorry guys, I don't mean to be a cunt. I know I'm coming across as a massive douchebag right now, but you have to understand why that kind of advice is annoying. You guys are acting like these are oracles that can see the future. Yes, it was very unlikely that I won that hand, but I addressed that. I literally said, guys, it's unlikely we win this hand. We only win with an ace, but there's a one in four that we draw a club. A one in four? Plus the ace, right? So there is a chance we win that hand. Please don't be the guy that sits in chat and was like, see, I was right after the results have been played. That's so ridiculous. 
for so many you must see that all the time in Hearthstone and, and card games and other card games you know like when the guy's like right I'm gonna go in here because there's a 20% chance I win 80% chance I lose but you know what the reward is so high we're gonna go for it and then it doesn't pan out someone in the chat's like see I told you I was right it's like dude come on you cannot be that retarded you cannot be that silly it doesn't make any sense anyways Jesus like see here right look at this hand Look at this hand. There's a 5-3 on the table, right? There's a fucking 5-3. I'm holding an ace-2. So right now, I only have the ace high. But if a 4 comes up, I fucking decimate this hand. Now, it's very unlikely out of all the cards in the deck that I pull a 4. But it's fucking possible. Right? So, if I make a big fucking bet here, and it doesn't pan out, you can't be like, ah, Jack, that was the wrong move. Because seeing the one time that it is the right move, nobody's gonna say a fucking thing. Nobody's gonna sit there and be like, ah, oh, yeah, actually, that was a sick call, Jack. <laughs> Sorry. It's just silly. Sometimes people are silly. Anyways. Welcome, everybody. I'm actually in a good mood. I'm eating my lunch right now. I'm eating a ham sandwich. I've got crisps. I've got a yogurt. I've got some Smarties. I'm fine. I am a little bit salty, it's true. There's a degree of sodium there. Nobody's even... Listen, guys, I have to understand... I have to explain one thing, right? First of all, I'm sorry for losing my cool a little bit, right? I'm not angry at one particular individual in chat. What you guys have to imagine, right, is that small moments of silliness appear in the chat sometimes, right? Small pieces of silly bit, like silliness, little small doses of silliness, right? You guys can be right sometimes. A lot of times you guys aren't right, but you think you are. Now, I can handle small doses, but when there is a fucking tsunami of small pieces of mongoloidness, do you guys know what that means? I'll let you just look up mongoloid in the dictionary, right? When all these little moments hit me in a storm from different people in the space of an hour, just fucking stupid ass comments. I get a little bit overwhelmed, okay, so I'm gonna say I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry, okay? I'm now gonna go back to my video game, my virtually generated world where we can't know what's gonna happen, you know? My, my game of poker, my game of virtual poker here. I'm gonna try and have fun while I eat my sandwich, okay? How about in real life poker? I already said, if this was a real life game of poker, did you? I don't know if you caught this, Metron, before I made the play, I said, if this was a real game of poker, I would fold. But because it's a virtual game of poker, I have nothing to lose, other than some time in chat right now, discussing this horse shit with you guys. I have nothing to lose, and also the buy-in is so small, it doesn't matter if I lose. So for the sake of winning a $20 pot, for a $4 bet, I thought I would chance the 1 in 4. 25% chance. That's actually not that bad. You give it 5%, it's almost 1 in 3. Right? It was unlikely we won. But you can't sit there and be like, told you so. You can't wait till the race is over and be like, told you that horse wasn't going to win. It's just fucking like... I mean, what do, you, what do you gain by writing that in the chat anyway? Is there a bit of self-reassurance there? Does it make you think that you're insanely clever? Does it make you feel better? I don't, under I don't understand why you would do that. Maybe sometimes I just judge myself by what other- why- I have standards for what I, why, what I would do in a situation. And sometimes- sometimes people don't copy my standards. And I guess I get a little bit confused sometimes. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. Alright? I'm asking if you play real life poker. I have in the past, Metron. Just a little smidge. I'm by no means a pro. That, that much is fairly obvious, alright? Bon appetit, Jack. Hey Taylor, what's up? Welcome. Told you, so emo incoming. Preach it. Would you like some fries with that PG salt? Would you like a timeout with that fucking dumbass comment? Sorry, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm calming down, I'm calming down. I'm calming down, I won't do that. Don't apologise Jack, you aren't wrong. I'm gonna eat my sandwich, I'm gonna eat my sandwich, okay. I'm sorry, I lost a horse today guys, I lost a horse, okay. I lost a horse, I spent two hours hunting a fucking panther, right? The panther killed me twice. None of that is your fault. And I shouldn't be taking out my frustrations on you, okay? There's just a lot been going on today. We're all friends. I'm calm now. 
I'm gonna play this hand and go all in. Okay? Don't judge me. I'm not going all in, that's a joke. Right, I will bet high though. Maybe. I'm gonna bet like this. I need my roll. Mm -hmm. Oh hey. A six. Javi's got twenty one dollars. Just a little wager. Oh, I'll raise that. So again, the four is very, very unlikely. I've got like maybe like a five percent chance to win this hand. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Cause it's only ninety cents of virtual money. Okay, this is pretty tragic. I think Harvey's gonna bet big here. We could try and bluff, or we could chill. Let's just check. Only live once, right? Three, four, five, six. He needs to have a seven. I'll see you. Or a pair of nines. Sorry. Pair of threes. Again. Later, pair of threes. Now, that's well, that's just fine. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Fire. Oh, my. Is this good? Oh, lousy. Losing the horse was completely your fault. It was. It was, man. Is there actually a clip of me losing the horse earlier? Did anybody clip that by any chance? No, no. He'll turn it around. I need your comments. I guess no. Huh? We'll maybe review it later. How are you guys doing anyway? Does anyone have access to the clip? There's a couple of clips today. The bit where I was like, I think I'm about to be killed by a cougar. And then out of nowhere, a cougar leapt from the forest and tore my throat out. I'm out. To all of us. Here, just a little. <clears throat> Whispered the link, you Andy. Vince, have you got the link for me as well? <clears throat> I'll raise. What is this? King seven suited with a pair of sevens and a pair of fives. Let's go all in. So I can, Jack, please send a message in the chat and I can access it. Not too bad, eh? Pardon? Can't you just fucking post it in the Discord? You sent it to Andy on Discord, right? I don't know how to whisper you otherwise. Do you have, do you have the link, Vince? Just literally link me on, on Discord. Or link it to someone else who can link it to me. Are you on Discord? Or just post it or whatever. No, I whispered him. Oh, and they can get it. Yeah, thanks. My bad, my bad. I'm being really salty today, I apologize. We won the hand though. The longer you play, the more people aim for keeps, if you get me. Curses. Thank you. Uh, let me check this out here. So this is what happened with the horse early, guys, for those that are at all interested. Um I wonder if I can do display captures up there. No, window capture is the best. All right. Well, we didn't. We did. Please God. <gasps> okay, yeah. Do you guys see that? Well, we didn't. It's not a very we good. We didn't window. exactly. Is it better if I do it that way? I said before. I said before this. It's not included in the clip, but as we were running up to the railway line, I said. You know, this is probably not going to work out, but at least I'll make a good clip if we uh, fail. Okay, yeah. Well, we didn't... We didn't exactly... Your horse is critically injured. That was my horse dying. Feels bad. R.I.P. Batwing, dude. Gone, but not forgotten. Alright. You ran into the train. I did, yeah, I did, yeah. I was running along side of it. I thought I could beat it, but I, I didn't. Uh, I'm gonna fold. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I took the clip at line out so it didn't look like you did it on purpose, but 
you delved in that info I mean. Asana Giggles, what's up? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. It's the getting away from it all more than anything, right? They say unlucky in cards, lucky in love, but I'm unlucky in both. Why didn't you revive it as Sandy? Because the horse had a critical injury and I didn't have a critical horse revival medicine. I had severe injury tonic, but I didn't have critical. The horse got run over by the train three times. Red Fox says hi. Hey Red Fox, what's up? How are you? Ask Asana. What you eating? I had a ham roll. I had a ham kind of roll with cheese on it. And I've also got some crisps or depending on where you're from, potato chips. I've also got a yogurt for a minute, a Greek yogurt with strawberry flavour. Can I have some Smarties as well? Smarties, if you want to sponsor the stream, just let me know. I have 9, 10, hi. Yikes. Sure. But our horse was level, I think it was level 4. I was sad that he didn't make it. That's a pretty awful hand. Um, I think we just check fold here. Oh, I'll raise that. Twenty cents. I mean, if we got a ten, we potentially in it. Okay. And the pot's seventy-five, so. Well, this is bad. Ten cents, really, dude. Oh my! Flush draw on the table. You got a bit high here. Huh? <laughs> Wonder what he's got. Pair of aces. Pair of aces. Why does his pair of aces win if they're both on the table? Yes. A kicker decided the winner. Oh, it went to the the six, I guess. Oh no, the ten. So we both had a pair of aces, and then he had the king. What the hell is this? What a shame. Hey, true. What's up? How much is a sponsorship? Ask true. I don't really know, dude. I've not really looked out sponsorships before. I guess what would happen is I'm not really at the level of a Twitch stream where we can actually look for sponsorships. Like I can't go to a sponsor and be like, "Hey, we pull in fifteen viewers sometimes." Would you like the sponsors five grand to show your logo on the stream? I think it would be a case of eventually one day these people would come to us. Um, when I say Smarties, if you want to sponsor me, it's kind of just a joke, you know. If Smarties reached out and said, yeah, Jack, we'll sponsor your stream. We'll pay you £500 a week to show the Smarty logo 24-7 on all your streams. I would take that deal. But for the time being, I'm just kind of memeing. There was that one time that, you know, Ann Summers reached out to us. And tried to sponsor us, but I had to decline that. Because we're totally PG. Need money to upgrade my volcanic pistol. Time to play some poker, says Mark. Nice. He asked nine boxes, Vince. True Averick Ick, you're still upon us. Mm. True is just toying with her heartstrings. Went all in in my first hand and won, lol. All right. Nice one, Mark. Imagine you had people before that telling you, don't do it, don't do it. And then when you won, they never said anything. Not good at all. I'm my mood has just been yeeted off the bridge, says Aqua, and I don't want to cry. Why? Aqua, what's wrong? <laughs> so if I don't know something and just yell crew maverick every 10 minutes. <laughs> Listen true. My beautiful, beautiful friend from far away overseas. From the state of New Mexico, I believe. You do not have to sponsor the stream any more than you already have today, okay? That's uh that's the truth. 
I got nine six diamonds here. We're gonna mm, we're gonna raise. Okay. I would much prefer for sponsorships. You guys have already kind of sponsored me with your Twitch subs, to be honest. We want subs from uh, corporations with a lot of money, you know. Okay, we have the King Flush, which is excellent, but we need the Diamond. That guy's all in. Uh, we can check, or we can raise. Let's raise the pot here. You need a cup That's of coffee or something. Alright. Mm-hmm. He hugs Aquas is here. That fucking COVID, uh, that fucking COVID cancelled a fucking event I was really looking forward to. Oh, the Corona. The Corona? I was going to meet the voice actor of Sombra and Mercy, Aquia, really? Oh no, that sucks. Alright, we didn't get our diamond. We are going to bet another dollar. I'm trying to make this guy fold. Looking to make quite the impression, huh? Please give me a diamond, baby. Please. Okay. No for me. He checks. I don't think we can bluff him, so we're gonna check. He's probably got something. We have nothing. We have absolutely nothing. I'm doing very well. <laughs> pair of kings, but we win, right? Oh, we have the pair of kings, and the kicker decides, so we actually win. Oh, well. We won the side pot of three dollars. That's good enough for me. Let's take a look. See here. Mm. Nice play at Mr. Wolfie. You're very smart and make us look like fools on a daily basis. Vincent, please don't do that. People will think that you're actually serious. I don't need you guys. Just to be clear, I know Vince is winding me up here. To be clear, guys, on my little out outburst a minute, my little baby rage a second ago, I'm not looking for you guys to tell me I'm uh, amazing every time something good happens. I don't want that. It's just, it's really unfortunate when we, let's say we make a play, right, and seven times out of ten it's good, right, and it works. Everybody's going to sit quietly, but then the three times out of ten that it doesn't work, you can't turn around and be like, Jack, you're an idiot, because we're just following the pattern of our routine, we're just doing what we do. Alright, you can't pick the, you can't pick the one time that, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like a real life example. You can't pick the, the bad times and be like, oh, that was a mistake. You, your strategy was incorrect there from the beginning. It's not fair. It's just not fair. I, it, normally, I don't even acknowledge shit like that, but... It's just, it's upsetting. You know, it gets a bit much sometimes. We have straight potential. That's it. We have straight potential with the uh, with the king if it appears. Nine, ten, jack, queen. Yeah, we need the king to appear, or we're fucking doomed. I'm gonna just check. Uh, no. Oh, I'll raise that. If Harvey's gonna raise. Hmm. Now, if Harvey's got a queen, we're in trouble. But if he's not got a queen, we're fine. Hmm. Paul. Vince is always serious. You fucking suck balls. Okay. That jack doesn't really help us at all. It gives us a pair of jacks, but if, if that guy does have a queen, we're still in trouble. If Harvey doesn't have a queen, we're fine. It doesn't look like he does, or he would bet there. Okay. So now I actually do think we have top pair. Um, I could bet, but I'm going to let Harvey do the, the nonsense first. I mean, there's 10 jack queen. If he's got king ace, he beats us. Or if he's got nine king, he beats us. But I think we have top pair. We're gonna check. He bets a dollar. We're gonna call that. In fact, yeah, no. If I go all in, I lose my pot. But I do think we have the strongest hand. And if I do believe we have the strongest hand, I'm still technically betting against that guy on the right, though. I'm just gonna call. We could have claimed a lot more here. Two pairs, queens and jacks. He does have the queen. Fuck. He did have the queen. Feels bad, man. I'm glad we didn't go all in. Yes. That's unfortunate. He checked on the fourth turn when he had two pair. The AI in this game is sneaky as balls. Lots of things have been cancelled. E3, NBL. Wait, E3 got cancelled? 
Really? I didn't know that. Someone said the Olympics might be cancelled for the first time since World War Two. I didn't know that E3 got cancelled, guys. I saw that Twitchcom, uh, Twitchcom Amsterdam was cancelled. And get this, guys. Apparently, okay, I don't know if this is true. This is just a, a, something I've seen online. Apparently, there was actually a guy backpacking across Europe to get to Twitchcon for the convention in Amsterdam. He's already en route. And he's going to get there, but it's already cancelled. How fucking shit is that? That sucks. Just shut the world down for a week or two. Voila. Peak past. Look at China and South Korea. Uh, we've got three and a queen here. I'm going to call him. I'm really sorry, Aquil. That sucks. I do genuinely compliment you from time to time, and I'm usually joking whenever I'm insulting you. I understand your logic on people only focusing on flaws, so to speak, and it's very entertaining. You're right. Thanks, Vince. I appreciate that, my guy. Yeah, as I say, guys, I'm not looking for, like, sympathy or validation. It's just, um, we see a lot of people, and I should just accept that it's going to happen. It's not even, like, it wasn't even, Met like, Metatron made a comment, and Metatron was right. It was just the way that it was kind of delivered, you know, you and honestly, the dude never even done anything wrong. I was just grumpy. That's what it comes down to. Normally, I can ignore comments in the chat, but I was just kind of annoyed. Um, but Metatron's fine, and I apologize to Metatron for being a bit of a cunt. Um, I think I just fold here. You need a cup of coffee or something. I mean, we have the queen, but I don't think that's, I don't think it's good enough. Uh -uh, no. We're playing against Harvey and he's got big pots. I'm gonna skip this hand. Right, I'm gonna eat my smarties, that'll make me feel better. Yeah, rumours of E3 cancellation were going around for a bit and it got soft uh, soft confirmed earlier and hard confirmed by E3 themselves yesterday. Damn, man. Ah, oh, that sucks. Some are still meeting up in Amsterdam, just not going to TwitchCon. Okay. My parents will probably say that even, oh, that event, Dutch Comic Con, will be there next year. Mm. You can always go next year, yeah. Oh, feels bad, man. That's a pretty good hand. All in with 10 cents. He folds. Hands looking alright here. It's about 25. He re raised. That's pretty ugly. All right, I need ten Jackson hearts, please. Or you know, none, none would work too. Actually, I got the I got the high pair of jacks. Um, let's bet Perry. Does he have a pair of queens, a pair of kings, a pair of aces? We lose to all those. If he doesn't, we're fine. Did he re-raise? All right, he could have a jack and a four. Also, oh dear, that's not good. Well, that's not good at all. I'm gonna check. Right, I think we have to go all in, but there is a very strong possibility we lose. I could call. Okay, nine ten. We almost got the flush, but not quite. We've got 9-10 Jack Queen. So now he could have straight potential, actually. Oh, we have to go all in with 80 cents. Probably going to lose this hand, guys. We have a pair of Jacks. If he's got a Jack or a Queen, we lose. Quite possibly. What's he got? Ace high. Get fucked. You're so bad. What an absolute rat, man. Mm-hmm. Do you always go to, uh, do you always go to these events, Aquil? Do you always go to Comic Con or was that your first time? I don't mind the online directs instead of the uh, live events, but I've never been able to get into an E3. I just like watching all the trailers. Like, when the E3 comes on, guys, I don't watch it from start to finish. I just watch the events that I'm excited about. And it's basically just like, when you watch the Sony preference or press conference or you watch a Nintendo or whatever it is that you guys are into it's like an hour and a half sometimes two hour just of fat trailers and I love that dude when they announce new stuff you get to watch it live 
I remember when I watched, I was watching E3 with my boys. There was like five of us in the Discord. We were watching E3 live. It was like 1, 2 a.m. or some shit. And, uh, and they showed the Final Fantasy VII trailer. But they didn't say, here's the Final Fantasy VII remake trailer. They said, here's something I think you guys are really going to fucking like. And the guy just smiled. And then the trailer rolled. And I was instantly, was like, wait a minute. And I'm watching the trailer. And I'm watching the trailer. And then the moment where I saw the kids playing on the playground, I was like, oh my god, dude. And then the camera zooms in through the crowd. I'm getting fucking goosebumps thinking about this. This is how much of a fucking nerd I am, right? The camera zoomed down through the crowd of that, like, bit where they're walking with Barrett and Cloud and they're walking through the stores, like, the, the crowd of people. And you see Barrett's gun arm, and I was like, oh my god. And then I saw Cloud's buster sword. I freaked out so much. That was such an insane moment there. And that was because I was just watching ET live with the guys. It was so fucking incredible. And I was like, oh my god, they're remaking Final Fantasy VII. This is fucking insane. And I popped off, dude. It was so good. Like, that's why I like watching E3. Because they announce shit that you don't expect, and then it just blows your mind, because you're like, holy shit, the next three years of gaming are going to be saved. That's why I like it. Um, it's pretty good. I think watching it with people is more hype, because then you can all share in on... People have speculation when trailers come, and people will say before the conference starts, like, I really hope they announce Skate 4, or I really hope they announce Half-Life 3, or I really hope that they fucking announce a Need for Speed fucking Underground 2 remake. There's so much random ass speculation, and there's like rumours and stuff, right? And that's what's exciting for me. Just my thoughts on E3. Um, I'm gonna check. The big guy's out, so we're playing against little shit here. We can bully this guy a little bit. Queen six seven. Ten cents bad, dude. Okay. Give me all I can afford. Uh... We have nothing, but we could turn a king. Ace is pretty bad for us. He bets. We call. If I wanted to build him properly earlier, I should have raised there. Six seven eight. Twenty cents. We could potentially push them all in, but we have nothing. I have King High. I think he actually does have something. I'm gonna call him, just to see. He's probably got two pair or something dirty. He has Ace High. But he wins the nine. He gets the kicker. Dirty bastard. Jade Cocoon remaster this time for sure, right? I mean, maybe. We won't have to worry about this year. Because Sony and Nintendo pulled out of E3 anyway, right? So it would have just been Xbox and... Like Ubisoft and EA and shit. Like when they announce a new Battlefield at EA, I got really excited. When they show you a new Skyrim trailer, I got really excited at Bethesda. There's stuff to look forward to E3. Sometimes you watch a full conference and the entire conference is utter pish. That happens sometimes. You watch the whole thing and it's just boring as fuck. Nothing happens. Um. That, that's going to be a thing from time to time. Check me. But sometimes it's fun. And it's that excitement that could be good. That's what keeps me interested. 10-6 offsuited. No cards. I'm going to check. But I'm honestly likely to fold to Harvey here. Oh, he checks as well. He bets 10 cents. I'm just going to fold. Need to go for a bit to raise my mood. I'll be back later. Okay, Aqua. Take care. Look after yourself. I'm never really into E3, to be honest, this mark. I just say, guys, I think it's... I'm not trying to justify it. I mean, if you don't like it, you don't like it. But I think it's hella fun. Sometimes it's disappointing, but sometimes it's epic. I think it's definitely... Like, I wouldn't just sit and watch it by myself. Like, you gotta be watching it with people for it to be exciting. In my opinion. Oh, we got 10 7. Yikes. I probably should get rid of the day cards. I need an 8. 6, 7, 8, 9. Check, check. We're going to check. I need an 8, please. Give me an 8, please. 
That's bad. Check. Check. Alright. Eight are bust. Yeesh. I could bet here to fake this. He checks. He checks. I wonder if they'll re-raise me. I'm gonna bet the pot. He re-raises. And he folds. We have nothing, so we have to cave here. But I would like to know what he actually has. I don't think. We're out. Well, that's just fine. Finish my lunch, guys, so I won't be munching anymore. Like watching it with you, you guys last year, though. Mm -hmm. I played this game like an outlaw, just walked around robbing the fuck out of people, says true. Sounds like the good life. Sounds pretty fun. Yeah, I, I kind of played this kind of boring, to be honest, but this is just the way how I like to experience the game. Um, 9 3 suited. Check. These cards aren't going to do us very much, I don't think. Unless we pop the flush. Or double nines or some shit. Holy fuck, dude. I'm not even going to fucking check this. No, get me out. <clears throat> Outlaw life was tougher living, though. Mm. Was a tough living. No carriage, fast travel. Yeah. I uh, I think it would be kind of fun, but I think the reason I don't get into like bandit playthroughs in these kind of games is because I feel like the the kind of hype of that wears off pretty quickly. Like when you're an outlaw, and like Fallout or Skyrim or like this kind of game like Red Dead, I feel like wherever you go, you just enter a town and they instantly start shooting at you. If you're like, you know, you can attract a lot of drama, and uh, that can be fun for a while. But then when you're trying to actually experience some of the quests and talk to people and get shit done. You know, you go somewhere to like pick up a, an objective or something, but then the whole town hates you. It can be a bit fucking obnoxious. Uh, I normally play the good, the good Check. playthrough, but I have done evil playthroughs in the past, like specifically where you play to be a dick or to rob or to steal, and that can be fun too. All right, I've got a seven. I've got a pair of eights. There's a flush on the table for the clubs, which is pretty scary. Um, I've also got a straight draw as well. This is kind of weird though. I'm gonna check. Right, they all call, so, or they all do a weak call, so or a weak bet. So I'm gonna just call that. King's really bad for us. I'm gonna just do the same again. Ten cents. He raises. We gotta be careful because this motherfucker is really good at re-raising. I don't think my pair of eights is looking particularly strong right now. I would need the six to get the straight. Or an 8 to win the hand, potentially a 7 to give me a better chance. I think we call. Okay. A couple of cards that can help me out here. We don't want a club to appear. Oh no, that's really bad. So I now have 7 and 8s, but there's also, it only takes one club to win the flush. So I think I just check. He checks. He bets 15. Oh no. I really wish it was his turn first. Folds. Okay, does he have the clubs, guys? He does. He has the queen height. He has two clubs. He got the sh he got the flush from the first three cards. Damn, that sucks. Mhm. Mm Everyone trying to kill me. Instant hairs. I tried to be good, promise, but I kept robbing people and robbing trains, robbing old ladies before I knit. I was believing everything Dutch was saying. Just be quiet. I keep seeing pretty horses, and I must have them. Says Mark. That's fair. Yeah. I haven't actually stolen like a random horse from like a person on the street. The only horse we've got is the one that we were given at the start. The one you get from the mission and then the Arabian one we caught. But I don't know. Sue's fine, I guess. We have King Queen offsuit, that's great. I'm gonna raise this. Not just a little wager. It's just a game. Try for it. This'll do for me nicely. Did he just re-raise? We could push them all in. We could push them all in. I'm just going to play chill. Uh, I feel like this is a mistake. I'm not really setting the precedent that my hand is very powerful. <laughs> okay, that doesn't really help me at all. Jesus, what are you got, Arthur? What do you have, my guy? Are we going to bust out here going all in? 
Are we gonna bust out all, going all in here? We can play it slow. He raises as well right now. We have to go all in. I think we have to go all in. It's very unlikely they fold, and it's very unlikely that I win. I think he's got an ace of some kind. My queen king is not looking good, but you never know. All right. He is all in and he raises, and he's all in too, so he definitely has something. Pair of fours. What you got? Pair of fours. I need a king or a queen, guys, or we lose. King or a queen, baby. Nope. Nope. Ah, that's it. Ah, well, we tried. That was a bad move, Jack. I think. Let me see how it plays out. Told you so. <laughs> I'm glad you guys sympathize. I'm glad you guys sympathize. I love it. Alright, we gotta take off our beaver hat. We don't deserve it. Guys, we have done so much messing around today, but I have uh, I have been enjoying myself. We have to go to the... Oh, yeah, I was going to stay in the saloon, actually, right? I'm going to go and stay until morning. I am back, yeah. We lost our poker. Poker money's there. That was a bit of a shame, but... That was a fun hand. I would like to sleep in the room, please. No, I don't want it. What did I just do? <laughs> I'm not trying to eat a steak dinner. I'm trying to get a sleep. <laughs> Dome, dude. Hey, that's my horse. Well, that was delicious. Yeah, it was great. Um, I was trying to get a sleep, though. Not order a $5 steak. Dude, lodgings. Red room. <laughs> I've lost uh, $11 coming into this place. It's the beaver hat, guys. Hello, lover. Alright. I'm sorry, did you say something? Right, we have to focus on the fact that outside our horse has the, the perfect cougar pelt on it, guys. The, the panther pelt, we can't lose the panther pelt, so I gotta chill. Yo, was that true, Maverick, with the gifted sub or to my boy Steve? Steve the Legend? Oh, oui, oui, bien sûr, Madame Fournire. Right, I am gonna sleep in this bed. Yo, true, thank you uh, for the gifted sub, dude. <clears throat> Steven says, sir, you, sir, have a gambling issue. No, I do not, I do not. <clears throat> I just really enjoy playing poker in this game, though. It's fantastic. Like... I think poker, you definitely have to be into poker to enjoy watching poker, right? That goes without saying. You could apply that to anything in life, you know? You, you have to be into NASCAR to watch NASCAR or whatever. Um, let's sleep till noon. <clears throat> I just really like playing poker in this game. I like Texas Hold'em in general. I like watching online poker and I like watching streamers who play poker as well. It can be really epic. True, thank you for gifting a sub. Uh, you've gifted 23 subs in our channel, which is an absurd amount of support. Steven, welcome back to your fourth month with us here in the Wolfpack. You get your sub badge back, dude. I don't know if that's anything you're completely thrilled about, Steven, but I'm glad you're here. And true, I'm really grateful for the support, man. Thank you. There was a mission at Dragon Ollie. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Hello, my lovely friends. How are you all today? What's up, Ollie? <laughs> welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the gifted subs, says Steven. It's true. Hey, true. How are you? Asks Ollie. Like one time, Mr. Wolfie, there was a mission where me and John Redcorn stopped some poachers killing buffalo, so became a bounty hunter for poachers. Nice. I understand, true. I understand. Now, guys, if I had an addiction to poker, I'd sit down at this table right now and buy in for five bucks, but I'm a bigger man. I know when to walk away. We're going to go and get our... Hey, my horse is here now. We are going to go to the trapper, guys, and we're going to get this thing turned into a saddle. You, you all ready for this? Let me remove these red markers from the map. I don't want these to be here anymore. Goodbye. All right. The trapper is awake now because it is during the day. <clears throat> as long as I don't get into any bother on the way there, we should be grand. As long as I don't crash into anyone or kill anyone or shoot anyone, <clears throat> all should be well. We've got all the supplies we want. we got new threads. we got new guns. We didn't actually get any new guns, but we upgraded our guns and made them look fancy. We lost some poker hands, but that's alright. We had fun. We did some lessons. We did some learning as a, as a chat. I grew a little bit as a person. 
It's been a good day. Oh, hi, Jack. Didn't see you there. How was the dentist? It was fine, Ollie. Yeah, I was actually really pleased. I was scared that the dentist was going to make me come back for an appointment and get something done to my teeth, but in the end, he was super chill, which I was very, very pleased about. I don't even know what just happened. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, I guess it's slippy in the rain. You gotta be careful, guys. Make sure you watch your foot when getting off a horse and dismount and you're gonna break a leg. Or your face. I am here to... Okay, Wait, I don't want to sell the perfect cougar pill, I don't think. I want to buy... Quite like wearing your best day's work. I'm here for the saddle, my dude. Oh, no. I have a perfect... Perfect panther pelt. Do I need to sell it to you first? Oh yeah, I do. I have to sell it to him. I hope. All right, let's have a look. Hey, dude. Here's your perfect, perfect panther pelt, please. So now it should tell me. I should be able to buy from this guy. Hide makes the please. Panther trail saddle. Done. You want to put it on now, I can send it on to the stable. Nice. Uh... Alright, so I have my panther saddle. Did he just put it straight on my horse? How do how do I know guys if the new panther is it equipped or he said he was gonna maybe send it to the stable? Is it on? I guess it's at the stable. I don't know. Actually lulled there. <laughs> Did Jack get did Jack get new teeth? No, guys. <clears throat> it was just a checkup and a clean. Excuse me for coughing at the mic. Twenty four seven, by the way. Um. Yep. Containment policy has just turned into mitigation policy. So damage control. Says Jesse. Vince says I started the city and then finished it super fast. Though there was more left. What do you mean, Vince? That was a wild comment. Oh, uh, Ollie said, "How was the city?" I get it. So wait, Vince, are you moved on to your next Final Fantasy game? You must have powered through this idea. Was it like extra content stuff that you had, or was it like, I guess you didn't just abandon the main story, did you? Hey, Mark and Jesse, how's things? Baby Bell, this dude knows good food. I never forget when Ollie cooked for my wedding, says True Maverick. Meh, all things considered. Thanks, True. I was trying to find some Gorgonzola cheese, but I found Baby Bells instead. Nice, Sue. Ba -ba 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 Baby Bell. I remember that little jingle that was attached to the product. Best focus on writing again, I suppose, says Jesse. Hell yeah. He said, I suppose, Jesse, do you know, um, <clears throat> are you feeling a little bit down because of all the drama that was happening with the uh, the publisher, Jesse? Hopefully that, it, I don't want, um, <clears throat> don't want you to feel kind of like, you know, oh, I guess I go back to writing. Like, the Jesse I know is insane. You... I know you got it in you, dude. You just need a little a little spurt of inspiration. Keep you going. A little pick-me-up, you know? Mm-hmm. I just did the main story um, for my morning stream. Uh, says Vince. I'll be on Tekken 2 tomorrow morning. Wait, what? Wait. Are you... Why? Wait, I'm confused. Is there like a joke here that I don't understand? I did the main story this morning, I'll be on target. What happened to the Final Fantasy games, Vince? Are you trolling? You must be trolling, right? Sorry, I missed the ints. I had to go to work, says Ollie. I'm okay, Mark. I've just been a bit busy. Sup, Ollie? All good yourself? There you go. Nice. Mr. Wolfie, can you sing the song for GG Wentworth? What? How does that go true? Is, that, is GG Wentworth a product? Did that have a jingle as well? Track and services. Where's my new saddle, dude? Equipment. Saddles. Real fine saddles here. Pre-purchase saddles. Panther saddle. Care drain rate up. Core drain rate up. Drain rate negative fifty percent. Regen rate up twenty four percent. Sick, dude. You guys were fucking right. Panther saddle equipped. We did it, chat. We fucking did it. Alright. Sue, you've been upgraded. In fact, Sue, you deserve the the horse care package. Mm -hmm. Only the best for Sue. Right. 
Excelente! We got our new saddle, boys. I wonder if I could have just picked the saddle up from the, the guy or if I had to come here or not, but we did it nonetheless. Let's go back, guys, and do some quests, shall we? Because I've been fucking around so much today. I've got to go visit John Marston, and we are going to be doing something. Let me check right now. Dutch told you to be <coughs> with John and Javier at the Grace Place. Something to do with the Bra Braithwaite's prize horses. Maybe this will answer our own horse problems and give us a potentially new horse, maybe? <clears throat> Apparently, the prize horses are probably going to be expensive. Maybe they're fast and useful. I don't know. But let's go. We do actually need a new horse, so... This might actually be the best, the best, uh, the best opportunity for us. You were always here with me, right here. Points at brain. Uh, Mr. Nah, I never uh, write if I don't feel like it, says Jesse. It's more that I don't, really don't want to go through this. Uh, every time I want to ask them a simple question, says Jesse. I feel your pain, my dude, I do. It's fucking, we talked about it at large yesterday. And if you ever need to talk about it, like, some more, Jess, because it's an important part of your life, right? It's a huge part of your life. You can talk to us about it anytime you like. Okay. Final Fantasy 1 to 15 happening in the evening, says Vince. I see. So you're hitting up Tekken in the morning. That sounds like a good time. Good old Tekken. We've yet to do any Tekken games on stream, but maybe one day, guys. We haven't done any fighting games, actually. <clears throat> Got a bit of a chill to here, to be honest. It's always good to have you all with us. Or have you all here. Or to be here with you all. Fourth time lucky. Apologies, Ollie. <clears throat> I had uh, fees to pay at the dentist as well. Because I cancelled... Because uh, I cancelled one of my appointments before. And I thought it was going to be massive, guys. But it was actually not too bad in the end. Which was good. My trip to the dentist cost me £20. Which uh, was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Blessings to you, Jack. Thanks. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ollie, you missed him, murder a horse, and then karma killed Jack in the form of a cougar ripping out his neck. Yeah, that happened, yeah. TLDR says, Jesse, um, it's uh, a lot easier to write a part two if you're sure the publisher that has your part one wants the rest of the series too, but they refuse to confirm that for some reason. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, Jesse. It's fucking, seems like a nightmare, my guy. Pooey cat, says Andy. We got the saddle, Andy. We got the 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 puma. Or the pan sorry, it was the panther pelt? That was the panther pelt, not the puma. Try out the city of Jack. PS uh, PPSSP P emulator, very reliable. Nice. Sounds like a good time, Vince. It seemed good when you guys were having fun on it the other day. How many teeth you get filled? None this time. None this time, guys. But my new dentist who I actually met for the first time yesterday was very helpful. He was very kind. He gave me a lot of good advice. Which I didn't expect. Sometimes you go into the dentist, depending on how the dentist is or what they've got going on or what they're like as a person, right? You can go in and get the dentist that's like, you can tell they really like their job. You know, they're very passionate. Um, sometimes you get the person who's like, yep, yeah, sit in the chair. Yeah, teeth are fine. See ya. You know? Just depends what kind of day they're having, how busy they are and how nice the actual dentist is. This guy was great. He gave me so much advice. He was like, all right, so how do you... He asked me all about my brushing routines he asked me if I flossed. He was asking about mouthwash. He said, don't bother using mouthwash. I was like, okay. He's like, yeah, it's actually better if you don't use mouthwash after you brush your teeth. Just get rid of it. It doesn't really do anything. I was like, all right, dentist. That's uh, news to me. Uh, I probably will keep using mouthwash because I like having fresh breath, but <laughs> uh, that was quite in interesting. And then he was telling me about how, um, he was asking me about, um, he, he went into details about my teeth. I have this kind of, like, kind of, kind of white discoloring on my front tooth, which is, you know, you guys can't notice it that much. But um, it's there. And he was giving me advice about that. He was like, okay, this is what it's called. This is where it's caused. Um, he was like, here's what you can do to deal with it. And he was talking talking me through teeth whitening stuff and shit. And I was like, ah, oh, this guy's a cool guy. I like this guy. Yo, Tori, what's up? Passionate about, uh, passionate about other people's mouths. <laughs> you know what I mean though, guys, right? It can be anything. It doesn't have to be the dentist. Sometimes you find like, uh, I don't know, a fucking gardener or like a doctor or like someone who is like really passionate about their job those people are always the most helpful jesse dude says tia i'm sorry you're getting the runaround with your publisher yeah me too tia me too but he'll, he'll pull through it jesse's a smart and independent intelligent guy all right what was the iq what was the iq jesse it was like one one six nine or something <laughs> jesse's a smart guy he'll get there we'll back him all the way as much as we can Mouse wa mouthwash is for those who want their mouth to burn into a minty inferno. 
That's only if you use like the the crazy stuff, Ryan. You can get mouthwash that's not so bad. You can get mouthwash that's all right. Ah, uh, the one in ten who don't recommend Listerine. <laughs> Yeah, Listerine's pretty hardcore. Listerine's like, that's the type that'll blow your mouth open. Jesse says, it's a bit of a pain. I'll send them another email after I'm back from Thai boxing as I tend to be in a positive mood after working out. Yes, I'll just apologise for being so pushy and see if that's what they want to hear. Yeah, it's up to you, Jesse. You have to stand your ground, though. Don't completely succumb to them. You gotta find a way to... 420 IQ, Kappa. You gotta find a way to hold your, you know, you don't want to come across as a joke to them because then they won't take you seriously, but sometimes it's nice to be polite, you know. What is worrying is when you find an enthusiastic uh, proctologist. I know what proctologist means, I'm not putting it in a Google right now. I actually know what it means, I'm just checking that Google knows so that I can verify if Google's smart. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm, glad I didn't check that with you guys. Excellent, yeah. That would be rather weird if the person that did that job was really into their job. Into their job. Right, we're going to start the John Marston quest right now. Hello there. I've just Google searched someone who inspects ass holes for a living. Uh, I'm supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. That would be the one. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have Thank you very day. much. Have a wonderful day. Oh shit. Oh god. I need to uh, change my hat, dude. But I can't do it now that I'm in the mission. I guess we're just going in as, as the Beaver Bandit Lord. Hey guys, you're way ahead of me. Good men like you. You don't know me. John Marston. That voice is so distinctive. Come here, you. And everywhere. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? What's no? up? I met you, they call me the Beaver sure. Bandit. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he. Look at that fucking hot dude. Problems with a family. A family of degenerates. <laughs> oh hell no. A family. You know, dude. Red sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem Look at this guy's eyebrows. To get too I don't think he really takes care of those. We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on a boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. In the Braithwaite's. Shows to my boy this. John Marston. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. Look at them. Maybe John Marston was my dad. Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them they'll get you five thousand. Five thousand. Republic Plus credits. Easy. Where do we sell them these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there. We'll run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. <laughs> the beaver stare. Alright. The, the, thoroughbred. the thoroughbreds, eh? Five thousand dollar horse. Beaver boy, the legend. Listerine is so good, I always have tonsil issues and it's what I need. Other stuff is piss, says Mark. Mm-hmm. I feel you. Can't remember if it's my hemoglobin or my IQ. One is 146, the other is 156. I mean, either way, Tim, that's pretty respectable. Pretty respectable. Crazy old um, I don't know about the hemoglobin, you though. You're doing just grand. The, you the no, beaver muncher, the legend. The beaver jack hammer. No. We can't call ourselves Beaver Muncher the Legend and don't get back into the Jack Hammer memes. There's a lot of people who are new here and they don't know the Jack Hammer memes. We're going to keep it that way, chat. Don't ask true what he means by Jack Hammer. We're not getting into that because he makes it up and things get spicy, okay? Scotland, Beaver Boy. My IQ is 420, this is true. You and Jesse, apparently. He takes damn good care of those eyebrows. How do you think he got them so vo uh, volum <laughs> voluminous? That's a hard word. Voluminous. Voluminous. 
voluminous and lush. I could be wrong. He maybe maybe he conditions his eyebrows. Tori, you may be right. Nice joke, true. Very original. I haven't had my IQ tested in some time. Every time I do an IQ test, guys, I get to the end of the IQ test and then they ask me to pay for the results, which makes me feel that I actually have a low IQ for trying to do a test like that in the first place. <clears throat> I've also done IQ tests recently that are online ones that are done in like 30, 40 questions, but the ones that do give you the results, they fluctuate so greatly in terms of like what they actually tell me. I don't know how believable they are. Eyebrows on fleek. My IQ is plus 10 of whatever you say yours is. That's a high IQ uh, comment, if I'm being honest. Hey there. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, sir. We're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Hey, that worked out. Nice, nice job, John. Okay. The beaver bandit robbers are ready. We'd have gone for the 69 IQ, but that's not really something to brag about. It's definitely a sexy IQ, though. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Mine is 31770, which, uh, if you look upside down, says Ollie. Jesus Christ, that is fucking 500 IQ right there, Ollie. What the hell? Hey, snowboards is Andy. How's the adventures going? What's up, snubs? We're doing all right. We're about to rob some expensive horses from an expensive family. Fucking John. <laughs> IQ so high, it's a goddamn equation x plus 10. Hell yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Ollie is mega mind confirmed. Dusty Rhodes, what's up? It's generally agreed that Otis Lennon method of testing is known as the most accurate SAI composite IQ exam. Well, there you go. There you go, guys. That's the way to go. Mr. Wolfie, marijuana plant season coming up. One of the plants will be named Mrs. Wolfie because we're going to hashtag feed Mrs. Wolfie. What, ma what with marijuana? I don't know if that's uh, a good idea. Alright. I feel like this is going to snowball out of control. Should I have my guns ready? I don't know. Hello there! Approach the stable hand. Good sir, I'm here to investigate some horses. They call me the beaver... the beaver robber. Hello there. Not the beaver band robber, just boys? the beaver robber. I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. Really? He caved to that? Here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. There you go, boy. Stealth kill? Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. Uh -huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need Oh my god, it's bandana time. Nobody recognizes us. Beaver bandit boy. I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Okay. Approach the horse. Hey, Come don't on. kick me in the face. Easy. Easy now. Easy. It's okay. You're alright, horsey. Marshall. You're alright. Okay. I'm gonna pat you. Marshall. Real gonna soft. Up to horse. Okay. Javier, uh, you're gonna lead the Arabian, dude. I'm gonna lead. You're okay, boy. Right, I had my lead there, but I like it cancelled. I'm having some major issues here guys, sorry, I can't push triangle, it won't let me do it. Okay, I'm gonna lead you, horse, if that's okay. It's okay, boy. 
Oh, I've lost the op oh, Can I just climb on it? I actually can't get the horse to come out of the fucking stable. Look, I'm not making this shit up. This game is broken! It wouldn't let me push triangle. Hey, Ivan, what's up? Welcome. Holy fuck! Wrestle the horse into submission? Dude, I had the horse by the lead and it cancelled and then after that I couldn't get it to fucking lead away again. I want to equip the bandana. Come on buddy, please. Right, look. Nice and easy. Calm. I'm gonna calm you down. There you go. I'm gonna give you a little pat. And I'm gonna push triangle to lead you out this time. Thank fuck, dude. Alright. Come on, buddy. Can't see where we're fucking going at the moment. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. Do I have to fucking walk it down to the bottom of the hill? Why can't I just climb on the stupid bastard? Come on, horse! Alright, we can walk faster here. There we go. Let's go, quick! Get it! Oh, he's gonna get wrecked. Alright. Later. Okay. Yeah. My beaver hat's falling off, but that's alright. Okay. Dude, this gun, whatever it is, fucking slaps, dude. Look there. The fence is down. Come on. Anybody? See if we get rid of them in the trees. Yeah, this gun slaps, dude. That wasn't so bad. Winchester? I don't know what it is. It's like a... Maybe my Springfield or something. It's the Lancaster Repair. Maybe it's since we upgraded it. Yo, Jesse, what's up? Oh, shit. Oh! That was sick. Jesse coming in with the gifted sub. What's going on? Oh, fuck. It's a boulder in front of me. Sorry, guys. We're in the middle of a crazy mission ass. Well, I know what it is, so what's your IQ, says Dusty? I don't even know. As I said, sometimes I've, I've done an IQ test recently and scored absurdly low, and then I've also scored absurdly high, so I, I don't know, guys. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to jump onto this horse. I've done this before once. Can I just jump onto you? I missed the opportunity really quickly. Do I need to lasso this or make the game? Oh shit. Morse back, you can release the rope and it will remain attached. Okay. You can release L2 and the rope will remain attached. Right. Come on. Here we go. Sorry guys, I was concentrated. <gasps> okay. This is a bit hectic, sorry. Just shoot it, Kappa. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Yo, a lot of gifted subs today, guys. A lot of resubs, a lot of gifted subs. Thank you so much. I couldn't help but know someone wasn't subbed low. Jesse, welcome to the stream. Um, Dusty Rhodes, welcome to your first month with us here on the Wolfpack. And thank you again for, well, thank you everybody for being here. And thank you again, Jesse, for the generosity, my dude. Muchly, muchly appreciated, man. Alright, put that away. Approach the rustler. 
Yo, we had True gifting a sub earlier to Steven and Jesse gifting a sub to Dusty Rhodes. Dusty's been here a couple of days in a row, hanging out with the, the Red Dead Redemption stream, so good good person to gift a sub to. Um, Jesse, thank you. I missed a lot of the chat there recently. I've baseball caps, been wearing them since the 90s. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh... Hmm. Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? The beaver hat has no effect. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like. I was Cubans. tested too, Jesse, uh, as part of my Asperger's diagnosis. Ooh, I'm. He's I was 24. Now I'm 37. Clive. Clive don't talk. We're 24 when you were tested, first. too, I guess, Came when you went, we did the, the IQ up. test. I'm pretty sure we did an IQ uh, test in primary school before we sure. went to high school. Yeah. But we never got I given the results, course. and we didn't even know what they were hey, for at the time. Yours, but I like you, and I'll give you. That's linear algebra, not a measure of IQ. No, but like you're dusty. You said to Vincent, that's the linear algebra, not a measure of IQ. But like how fast you could calculate that would be based off your IQ, correct? Like people with higher, um, like kind of mental calculation abilities will be able to calculate the answer to Vince's question. It was kind of troll. I kind of had a leaf through Vince's question. You know, a train traveling from Berlin is uh, at seventy five miles an hour. It was all fine until I got to the bit where it said, "How much time would it take to travel halfway to Moscow during a rainy day with twelve kilometer of winds blowing southeast?" <laughs> when I saw that bit at the end, at the end, I thought it was actually a genuine question that I was starting to have a look at. But then I realized the bottom part of the sentence was talking about the wind blowing east. Um, but yeah, you never know what fetish people have at home. Everyone could have beaver hats. True, yeah, true. Oh no, not the beaver hat. I will lead them straight to you, LML. Sorry guys, we're the bandit beaver. We don't worry about any of that shit. I like the white horse the most by far, says Ivan. How you doing, Ivan? Anyway, welcome to the stream. Correct, my IQ is five. <laughs> don't mention it, my pleasure. 100 is the mean average, 15 points, 85 uh, to 15 are the standard deviation from 50%. 80%, less than 80% begin looking for uh, development disability. 120 is considered genius. 150 is the highest that doesn't require further testing. Silent Fusion says, did I join a mass class? What's up, Silent? No, we were just having a bit of a discussion, mate. We were having a bit of a discussion about uh, people's IQs, I guess. I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. Can we take it and keep the horse? Damn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Can I not keep the white Arabia? Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Mm, feels bad. My government just shut down all colleges and universities, says Ivan. Holy shit, what the hell? I'm good except from staying at home till the end of the month. Jesus. Did you complete the hunting challenges? Asked Andy. No, we did not. We gave up on the one where you have to gun down gang share 350. We get $128 for that quest. Uh, I stopped... I stopped trying to do the hunting challenges on the one where you need to shoot birds from atop of a moving train. Wish they'd shut down workplaces, give everyone a break, says Ollie. They should. Only doctors and nurses working. Which government, Ivan? Holland. Also, no more gatherings above 100 people anywhere. Holy shit, dude. It's so crazy, guys. It's so crazy. Like I said earlier, there was talk that my sister's exams might be cancelled or postponed or potentially just abandoned for prelim grades, which is so crazy to me, but... I mean, it's part of the discussions. That must be, uh, that must be the Netherlands just going on full lockdown mode, I guess. Can I get my hat from Sue, please? Where is my uh, new hat that I bought? I bought a new hat, guys, and it's not this one. I don't know why. Maybe it's actually safe to my outfit. Actually, if I just go boom, boom. Does that change my hat? There we go. 
All right, will we do so? Will we do a Trelawney quest? Trelawney, what's up, my dude? Yeah, and TwitchCon, yeah. Had tickets for me and my GF for DCC, says Ivan. Yeah, Aqua was here earlier. She actually is cancelled as well now, Ivan. Didn't have the money for TwitchCon, but would have loved to go. They better not mess with Sister Wolfie's educational opportunities. No, I'll be fine. Sister Wolfie got okay prelim grade, so even if they do fall back to prelim, she'll be fine. Just happy I keep the icon, says Ivan. What's the problem with stagecoach? That sucks, Ivan. I'm sorry you're not going to get to go anymore. And I'm sorry that you now have to live at home. I mean, is it worth the robbing? I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate... I'd love to afford a ticket to PAX, says Tia. Oh, hell yeah. Same... Mount your horse. Yeah. Here, come here, come here, come. Where do we find this friend of yours? All right, let's go. We do get money back from TwitchCon, but probably not DCC. That's so shit, man. Standard grade and hires are BS anyway, says King Gong. True. Do you have a particular reason why standard grade and hires are BS, Jay? Do you mean as in in terms of like general qualifications for applying the stuff? They're BS? Or do you mean like in comparison to British grades as a whole? Depends on what uh, the UK government decides. Ah, Ollie, says Jesse. But one EU European country often follows another. Some BS, says Jesse. Mm. Now fuck that, Ivan. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. True, are you okay? <laughs> True, I thought you were leaving. Did you bang us back on once you got to work, my guy? I'm waiting for a statement for the DCC themselves on whether they cancel or postpone. Hires were a waste of time, LMAO. What do you mean, Ryan? In terms of applying for jobs, they're a waste of time, but your hires were a jump to further education, correct? Like, your hires allow you to get into college, which allow you to go to university, which allow you to do things, right? They're just a stepping stone. As a standalone, they're not important, but you need them to progress, correct? I mean, you could you could drop out of high school with no hires and go to college, but then you still have to take the long way to get into university. You won't get into university without hires. Unless you're applying for fucking something that doesn't require a lot of brain power. Alright. I have completely talked over all of this quest, so I apologise. Silent Fusion says, hey, I'll follow. Thanks, Silent. I appreciate that, my guy. GG's and welcome to the Wolf Pack. Good, sir. It's nice to have you here. I'm a, I'm a just follow this gentleman. I'm so sorry I've not been paying attention to the quest, guys. You guys are just really active right now and you've got good discussions. The Us Veteran Pack members got it bad because our paws are brown, says Ollie. I mean, the paws are meant to be red-orange. <laughs> but okay. Spoke to a friend who went to the store and everyone's panic buying now. The announcement was made an hour ago and they've restocked twice already. That's insane, Jesse. Absolutely insane. There are people panic buying here in Scotland and it just is it's a fucking disgrace, if I'm being honest. People are just idiots. I'm high AF at work and I gotta move. Can't be feared out of my life. <laughs> True, how do you get away with being high at work? How does that even happen? The fuck, dude? <laughs> Good time to be a hermit, though. No one respects hires enough, uh, not even unis, but they can't turn away people because there's no other option. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, your hires are still achieving what they're supposed to achieve, right, Ryan? Like, doesn't matter what you think about them, you need hires to get into uni, and they will get you into uni. So, mostly about how competent your teachers are. That's also something I agree with, yeah. I think your skill will determine more your, uh, your levels of grades as opposed to your own brain, but that's, that's not completely true as well, because there's people in all areas of Scotland to manage to uh, achieve high grades even if they don't go to a successful school. Like there were people in my year at school who got straight A's even though a lot of other kids didn't. So you can't blame it all down to the education. What announcement was made an hour ago last Silent Fusion? The Netherlands um, put out like a soft lockdown and on their country basically where all colleges and universities are closed and you're not allowed to group in more groups higher than 100 
Eddie, thanks for the follow as well. Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you for that. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men. Mm. That's it. Discouraged men. I like King that. Dong along, J. Kramps is true. J. Kramps, you missed the 10-minute long Titanic flute I played for you. <laughs> there was a lot of Titanic and Jurassic Parks played when I was in the kitchen earlier. Yes, it's true. True was popping off. Soft lockdown, countrywide in the Netherlands, such silent fusion. Oh. It's not looking good uh, for my brew dog AGM next month. Oh, shit. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Brewdog AGM. What does AGM stand for? Just out of curiosity. J Crown. Okay, let's go this way. Sorry, ask a dumbass question. Ha! The only places I go is my kids' school, the swimming pool, and Aldi. Vincent, you also go to the strip club every Saturday night. I see you there every time when I'm dancing. Don't leave that out of the conversation, Vince. Trying to play coy. I also love the fact that they told everyone that unless they're uh, uh, dying, don't go to the doctor. If you're sick, you're sick. Mm. Avian gargling mongrels. But unless you get two hours left to live, go lay in bed. It's a bit weird, guys. There's obviously going to be a lot of people who have completely different scenarios. I guess the the government's just trying its best to police a situation that they don't really deal with very often. There, are, some of their advice is going to be solid. Some of it's going to be dumbass as fuck. You just gotta make do. Jack works at a strip club. How did I not know about this? Is Ollie? I could stop by after work tonight. Only if you're going to be throwing mad dollar bills left and right, Ollie. I can show you my famous. Uh, Bulgarian twerk that I learned on holiday that one time. The the Bulgarian cheek shuffle I call it. It's my secret move. It always makes it. It makes big money every Saturday. You guys have no idea. Yeah, but flu sick does not equal Corona sick, says Jesse. Annual greeting. Oh, annual general meeting. I see. Okay. This should do. One doctor with Corona can't treat anyone anymore, so that's where it comes from. What's this strip club? Strip club is part of the Pack Hammer lore. <laughs> they deal with an outbreak like every couple of years. I know, but it's not as. I know they've had like swine flu and all this other shit in the in the past, right? What was the last epidemic? I don't know. But I think this one is genuinely a bit more concerning than normal, right? Like this will literally kill old people if they are not hospitalized. Which I don't know if swine flu and stuff would have. Maybe it's just because I'm older now and I appreciate these kind of epidemics slash pandemics more and I take them a little bit more seriously because they're in the news. But this will kill a lot of people if they're not looked after and there's people that could survive if they receive medical attention. Now, we're all fine for the most part, right? Most youngsters. We're probably going to be fine. Um, are they blown out? Is the media blown out of proportion? Yes. But it is life-threatening to some people. It will be fatal to some people and that can't be... Yeah, they got to take that seriously, right? I don't know if, if the other last couple of, like, problems that occurred, I don't know if they were as serious as this, What were they? I, I don't know if there's a scale that, l like, shows how threatening these kind of outbreaks are. But I don't remember one being like this for quite some time. It must be fucking hard, guys, because the thing is, if you shut down a, if you shut down a country and you go under quarantine... That is going to completely fuck so much of that country's economy so fast, right? So it must be hard to know what to do. Like if you if you if you've only just become like I don't know some sort of government official whose part whose job it is to police these things and to help look after the country, you've maybe never had any experience with this before. I'm not trying to make excuses for them, but like I wouldn't know what the fuck to do. I'm not exactly a health minister or part of the fucking World Health Organization or anything like that, but like, it's not exactly an easy fucking situation to deal with. There's gonna be a bit of chaos. I don't know. To stand, to stand by and just like be like calling the government atrocious is a, I just think it's just adding to the problem, in my opinion, you know? You can talk mad shit if you want, but like, what's the point? Like, <laughs> I'm not saying you can't call them out if they're underperforming, but it's a fucked up situation. It's not gonna be easy to get like, under wraps. We've lost two elder ladies in Australia due to Corona, says Tia. That's sad. I'm sorry to hear that, Tia. I heard about the guy, um, this is a rumour, I don't know if it's confirmed, right? We're going to Tasmania. 
in about 15 days, guys. Um, we'll be in Tasmania after 15 days, but um, assuming that her holiday still goes ahead on, on like on schedule, right? We'll be in Australia going to Tasmania. Apparently, there was a gentleman in Tasmania who was given a confirmed diagnosis of corona. Like, the doctor, he was tested. They gave him his results back and they said, listen, you have the coronavirus. And the guy went in his work the next day. <laughs> what a dumbass. Like, I'm laughing, but it's serious. Like, it's so fucking just stupid. I think the internet has just done a lot of fear bunger and stronger than it was previously. I mean, maybe. And maybe. What am I doing here at Lockbreaker? Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Are we just falling quietly? Is that what's the deal here? I remember swine flu was a huge scare, but for some reason the media is blowing this way out of proportion. I mean, we had a we, we I don't want to rehash topics, guys, because Corona is very popular. Some of you guys weren't here earlier. We did a lot of talking about this beforehand. The media absolutely is blown out of proportion. It absolutely is. And there's reasons why the media does that. Because they're fucking trying to stay relevant. And they're trying to sell money. They're trying to gain clicks. Stay back from the coach. The, me the media does it because they're trying to make money. And it's stupid. And it sucks. And I wish we didn't live in a world where that was the case. But that's why they're doing it. it it's why they're arseholes about it is because they're trying to make money. Pretty much. The media are definitely blown out of proportion. It's up to you whether you buy into that or not. Um, I think the internet is just a lot of fear mongering and is stronger than it was previously. Australia's government will be sending all pension holders a cash boost to keep try and keep the economy afloat. Yeah, think about it, guys. Right, you've got all your people. Right, you've got all of your. The reason why I say the economy will quickly crumble, um, if you if your country goes on lockdown, think about how many people sell products in a certain country. It doesn't matter what country it is. It could be fucking Madagascar, right? If you sell products in Madagascar, there's a strong possibility that some of your product, whether it be the entire product or it be part of your product, maybe you grow food, like food and vegetable, there's a strong possibility that some of your product comes from different countries. It might come from like one country. It might come from lots of different countries. When, when the items that are coming in and out the country are suddenly locked down and you can't realize that, think of how many businesses suddenly have issues, right? Now, you've got the businesses themselves, the companies, then you've got everybody who works in the company, right? If that company has its cash halted, like fixed, suddenly people can't pay their workers. And suddenly when your dad like goes into his work, he's told, don't come in this week, we can't pay you. That's how quickly the economy crumbles because then when the people start losing money, all the shopkeepers who do have products, they can't sell anything because nobody's got any money to buy shit. There's so many, like, there's so much the government can do to bail uh, companies out. But if you think about, like, South Korea is a good example. I heard last week that South Korea gave three billion, three billion to its uh, local businesses to try and keep them going. You know, they're giving them help. They're saying, hey, you're not making any money right now, but here's some money to keep you going. Don't fucking cancel your business. Don't close it down. Be that, that's how quickly the economy can go to shit because there's so much global trading that affects like a lot of these workers, right? And I don't know if that was three billion in terms of like, maybe that was like three billion pounds translated into the Korean currency. Maybe it was the Korean currency. And so that might have been another t like fear mongering tile. But I saw something like Korea was paying like literal billions to keep their small businesses afloat. That was the aid they were given. So that's how, that's how scary these kind of things are, right? I just hope people spend it locally. Um, fear is control. Government can tell you to do anything they want is true. I mean, there's a whole new topic, but yeah, I guess. Be a terrifying sex god and life will be easier for you, says Ollie. Fear controls sex sells. You know what to do. All right, now I understand. The dried the pasta industry. The dried pasta industry is loving it, says Ryan. There will be people, guys, don't get me wrong. Whenever these kind of things happen, there are always people who benefit as well. There are always people who benefit too. The reason South Korea got hit so bad was someone who was diagnosed went to their church and infected the congregation. Is that true? J Cram, that sounds like a J Cram myth. Did you make that up on the spot? It's all because the hand sanitizer companies are part of the Illuminati. Keep at it, folks. Thank you, true. I love uh, I have much love for you, says Ollie. What was that company that closed down because of the virus? I don't know. I don't know. There's. Um, I would assume there's a lot of businesses that are getting wrecked right now. 
Guys, when I, before I started making YouTube videos, I put a lot of time and investment into researching how to import products from China and sell them on Amazon, right? You can become an affiliate with Amazon and become an FBA seller. Some of you guys might know what that is, some of you might not. But basically, if you go into Amazon, right, a lot of the products that are sold on Amazon are local personal sellers, right? Some of them are big companies, but some of them are just one, like one person. And what the person does is they import from China, they sell on Amazon. I looked into this. And I put a lot of effort into like researching it for a long time. Had I pursued that as my career, I would be fucked right now. Fucked. Because some of my products that I would be importing monthly to make potentially thousands of pounds, had I pursued that, suddenly your, your shipments could start getting halted. Your factory production could not be ongoing, even if the trade's not going. Like the factory might just say, tell you, our factory, because of legal obligations, is closed. We're not allowed to have all our workers in the factory, so we can't produce your product. I am so glad I never pursued that, but that's an example of like the kind of shit that can pop off with this kind of nonsense. Hell, the UK government has been poor as of lame with bailouts and Thomas Cook and Flybe. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not exactly a... I don't know. I'm not a financial manager with these kind of things. I don't know what goes into these kind of contracts. I don't know how the government... I don't know how it works with, with bailing out companies. Maybe... Uh, I don't know. I, uh, on one hand, it's okay to assume that the government's supposed to help in these times, but the government has limited resources as well, right? Like, I, I don't know how any of these things work. Coronavirus didn't kill Woolworths. The Conservatives did... Dude, that's why Mr. Wolfie strips and stars as the jackhammer, says so true. <laughs> All the fires here, it's tricky to recover in a short time, says Taya, yeah. The flight company, Flybee or something. Yeah, yeah, Flybee. I miss Woolworths and Blockbusters. I mean, the thing is, guys, like, if, if Blockbusters was a successful company, it would still be in business. It's not really the, like, it's not, it's not really anybody's fault that that doesn't, I mean, the internet happened. The internet and cinema and all these modern movies happened. It's not anybody's fault that Blockbusters isn't a thing anymore. That's just a that's just a part of the times. Blockbusters would have made a killing at one point and a lot of people would have been rich by that company startup. Um obviously in the end it didn't work out, but I mean that's just that's just the way life goes. There's companies start up and make money and then close all the time. You can't get miserable about it. Obviously if your family's affected by that, then obviously you are gonna be miserable, but Whatever. Tom Hanks and his wife are in the Gold Coast, Australia, with uh, suspected coronavirus, says Taya. Yeah, we had a discussion about Tom Hanks and his wife earlier. I heard that. Um, people said earlier it was confirmed, but I don't know if that's actually true. The Jack Hammer first movie appearance was in Late Night Beaver Hats. Did you see that one, True? That one was a local shot production. We had a low budget. People literally don't need to do anything special to combat this virus. If you're sick, don't meet people and wash your hands. The panic is dumb. Yeah, it's true. It's true, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Only place I can rent a movie now is Xtube. Good luck with that, Ollie. Spoilers, Mrs. Wolfie was the hat. Oh, no. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing here? Am I supposed to be robbing this man? What am I doing here? Break. Oh, I'm Robin. Leave undetected. I've heard enough. <laughs> the fact that it spins so quick is just shows us how many people don't wash their damn hands. Mm -hmm. It's pretty crazy. I need her voice as a sound bit. Nottingham Forest owner has Corona and some Juventus player. That's pretty rough. And Olympia, uh, Olympiacos owner as well. It's pretty crazy, guys. It's pretty crazy. Go to Trelawney. That was a fairly simple, uh, fairly simple thing. Unless they turn around and realise that they've been robbed and they're coming back for us. What's gonna happen here? I feel like they're gonna come running back. 
I haven't fed anyone to an alligator yet. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> He's quite the character, isn't he? What do we get here? Gang share, 375, and we get 200 bucks. Alright, not bad, not bad. Alright, can I get on my horse? Right, that was an easy quest. Sorry I talked all the way through it, guys, but I mean, we're basically just robbing a caravan. There's nothing exciting going on here. Right, I think the only mission we have to do right now um, is the Hosea one. I think there might be a Dutch quest as well, but I'm not sure. Let's just go to Hosea. Get this shit done. Yep. I'm actually loving this. I think washing your hands can only go so far. The main problem is sick people still going out. Yeah. I mean, there's a, you gotta have a bit of fucking common sense. There's... So, there's two scenarios in my mind that I imagine, guys, right? If you get diagnosed with coronavirus, right? Obviously, if you're a comfortable person, let's say you're just you and your wife or you're a wife and your husband comes back, right? You guys, one of you gets coronavirus and then both of you get coronavirus. Or maybe you're just... Maybe you're just a single dude, right? True, thank you for the gift of Silent Fusion. Silent Fusion, you've only just followed, but you're now a member of our pack officially. Welcome. If anybody says anything weird in the chat about sacrificing children, it's not true. Don't believe it. Yo, Silent, welcome. True, thank you for another gifted sub. That's uh, four gifted subs today, guys. These are unreal. Hey, True Maverick, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you, True. You're crazy. Right, 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 right. And online people, you tie people up and throw them in a lake. Uh, you f oh, you tie them up with the lasso and then throw them in the lake to drown. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. Jesus, what the fuck was that? What the hell? I'm a marked man? Are you kidding me? Hold on, guys. We gotta put a we gotta put a hold in this discussion real quick. Shit. Oh no. I've got one shot! No, I missed it! Oh, we're fine. Sorry, that was really loud. I didn't mean to panic. My horse got freaked out. I only had my pistols. I got freaked out more than my horse, though. Look at these fucking apes, dude. The fucking exploding caravan? Really? Right. As I was saying before I was, you know, attacked by the fucking arse bandit brigade here. Right. If you're just a single person and you get diagnosed with um, coronavirus, what do you do? You seek the doctor's diagnosis, right? He tells you, yep, you've got corona, here's my advice. You take the doctor's advice. If he gives you medicine, you take the medicine. If he needs to hospitalize you, you go to hospital. If he tells you, just go home, just fucking like, sit it out. If you need more help or the symptoms get worse, phone us, you know? That's what you do. Now. A normal, sensible person would keep the disease to themselves, go home, fucking beat out the disease, the fucking lymphocytes kill the fucking, the disease or whatever, right? You get better, you recover, right? Hopefully the disease is like purged from your body. I don't know, know if that's exactly how it works, but I guess you could still be a carrier or something. But you basically just stay at home. Now if you're a dad and you have a family of four and your work has explicitly told you, you know, you're not going to get any sick pay if you go off and you've got a mortgage payment or you've got some sort of like child, like let's say you have no money, no savings, nothing, and you don't receive any help and your, your children still need to be fed. I can see why a dude might get diagnosed with corona and then go into his work because he's desperate, right? He's think he's putting his family first, which is still not fair, but it's a, like an ethically awkward scenario to be in, right? If you're the second person, I can sympathize a little bit more. I don't think it's right, and I'm not justifying it, I'm just saying I could understand why people do it. Because they're desperate, right? If you're the first person that, like, if, you're, if you've got savings and you, you get diagnosed with corona and you go into your work anyway because you just don't care, then fuck you, you know? There's gonna be different scenarios, I guess. But yeah, are the arse bandits a rival gang of the beaver bandits? They might be, yeah. Don't let them shove a cattleman gut up your nostril. Happened to me many times. Blasted my brains out. I think we survived. Tori san, yes they are. True, thank you for gifting over to Silent again, dude. Hey there, partner. Hey fellas. I have a 
For most people, if you could get, you're basically unemployed for two weeks. I mean, for myself, I basically did the exact same thing as most days, except I could be in my room as uh, my parents. Just in case anyone wants to join in, thanks, Ollie. I'm going to brush down my horse because it keeps flashing that red marker and it's annoying me. Put the gun away. I'm going to take a little bit of meat here. And I'm going to feed my horse a carrot. And I'm going to brush my horse also. Uh, can I do that? Was a mid animation for something there? Right. I'm back, says Aquia. Welcome, Aquia. You feeling better now, Aquia? Hope everything's going okay. Always a pleasure, true. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Solly. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of self-employed people that come into my work, and that's where I got sick from, says Jay. Jay, do you have corona? Is that what you're telling me? Is this you confirming it right now? Oh fuck, his breath water bitch. I'ma destroy her. Watch out for the Murphy brood. Nasty fuckers. Alright, let's uh let's go guys. This lady is something else. She's quite scary. It looks like that's her up on the uh, on the actual porch. Is Hosea already here? Hosea. Oh. Oh, it looks like they were expecting us. Can I um I'm gonna swap some of my rifles here. We're gonna keep we're going to keep the pump action shotgun and we're going to make sure we've got the carbine repair as well. Yep. Okay. Might even take a tomahawk just for the fucking, just in case, you know. Nothing like having a good old tomahawk stuffed in your, uh, anyways. Hello there. Are we just going on in? This is kind of scary. Ah, please come in, sir. Thank you. What a lovely home. The Fine the Joys of Tobacco is the name of this quest, guys. We doing some smoking? We gonna be doing some? To oh! See you, so, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur no Morgan, cribbage. this is Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. Well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but... One oh, no, Sean. What's Sean doing here? Of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, mister. I have all the symptoms, but I'm fine. Bombs, oh, no, metal. dude. <laughs> Pressing <laughs> F in solidarity. <laughs> Rip Jacaram. Don't say that, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Mm-hmm. Thanks, guys. Thanks. We're not putting F in the chat, guys. We wouldn't do that, because that's assuming that he's already uh, ill. We'll, you in on the way. No, well that he's already, you know, on, on route to the Grim Reaper, but he's fine. We won't put any Fs in the chat, so it's fine. <laughs> Jesse, that was a... Uh... Jesse, I'm just gonna let the auto mod hang on to that question, my dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna let the auto mod hang on to that that fucking comment, dude. <laughs> All right. Anyways, now that we're mourning the loss of Jcram, let's go to Caliga Hill, shall we? Jcram, I hope you get better. I hope you don't have coronavirus. Even if you do, I believe you'll be okay. Now you got me curious, Jack. I'm saying nothing. Oh, come on. It was funny. I found it funny. I found it funny. But we're just going to let the old mod hang on to that one. Get better soon at King Dong, aka J. Crams' is Aquia. No, that's fine. It's fine what it is. I was writing a eulogy for J. Cram. Mm-hmm. Put it through for the pack. Don't think about it. Oh, how I love democracy. J. Cram can't hit me if it's too much. Oh, he can hit me if it's too much. I mean, he's also ill right now, so he's not a he's not a hundred percent. I don't think that's a fair trade. Vote, vote, vote. Do you guys want to vote? Okay, guys, let's do it like this. Everybody who wants me to allow the auto mod to push through Jesse's comment about J Cram, push one. And anybody who thinks that we should leave sleeping dogs lie, we press two. 
Dragons go in and out of there all the time with supplies. Especially now they're taking on all the extra muscles. Making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. Jcram is an amazing member of our community, and although he asked me to play Ace Combat. <sighs> Jcram, just so you know, I tried to withhold it, but the community spoke, dude. I don't know what to say. You guys are going to have to sort this out together at some point in a small discussion hall. Preferably where you're away from society, because if you are infected with corona, you shouldn't share that. I don't know where that came from, to be honest. Just remember that Jesse is from Europe, Jcram, and so his humour is a little bit more blunt than others, you know? You just gotta go with the flow sometimes, my dude. F. <laughs> <laughs> F. <laughs> F to pay respects to Jcram. F for the eulogy that Jesse wrote. Feels bad, man. Jcram, I think you're stellar, dude. I hope you get better soon. Dude, my hat's poking through the roof of the tent. This isn't this isn't secure at all. I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. All the way from Donegal. <laughs> he said you'd understand. Some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there. Oh, uh, shit. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. It was worth. It was worth abusing the council's vote. <laughs> <laughs> Sean sounds constipated when trying to act normal. He does, yeah. Crazy dudes, you're all crazy. Love y'all. On that note, good night. Thea, thanks for being amazing. Thanks for hanging. Have a good snooze. Please stay away from Tom Hanks and his wife. I'm kidding. That was inappropriate. I'm kidding. Don't take that seriously. We love you, Thea. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out with us again. Laters, laters. Just over here. Yeah, straight down the path. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. Just feeling bad, bad now that we like not only is Jcram ill, but we had to kick him while he was down, dude. So, you folks been having a hard time of it. <sighs> yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry to hear oh, that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Uh, right there. Hamish seemed like a nice guy. I don't want to hurt Hamish. Hamish probably has a wife and family. Oh, he's got an excellent beard. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <laughs> <coughs> Take out the guard what silently. You boys have got here. Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places. <coughs> Sorry, Hamish. Okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. What about Hamish? Are we gonna hide him? Well, rip Hamish. He probably had Corona anyway. Alternatively, get as close to Tom Hanks and his wife as possible. Oh, uh, no, you probably get arrested before you get ill if you do that. He's probably got some sort of security guard friend. Remember when me and Jcram put you uh, down for your shitty flying soft karma? Wait. <laughs> My shitty flying? You guys think my flying was shitty? I thought I was a great pilot. 
everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Oh shit! Look, this is the best, the best story mode this, I've played. Honestly, be won't no be surprised if I don't play a better one. Quickly. It has been pretty stellar. I'll tell you right now, Silent, here's my thoughts on it, right? So, something I've said before, and I've said in the past... Uh, what am I doing here? Follow Sean. So, in the past... When you build... When, game, when certain games I've played have huge open worlds, they can be beautiful and really entertaining and amazing to be in, but sometimes the stories and the missions can be lackluster you know if a company puts all of its budgets into the art style and the graphical kind of budget then sometimes the actual gameplay and the story can be shit this game has been an exception for me uh this game looks incredible and every single mission i have done literally every single mission has been fun nothing has annoyed me there's been a couple of um mechanical issues with the game you know sometimes i get annoyed about like a glitch or i get annoyed about not being able to get the right gun or uh, I get stuck in a tree or some stupid shit like that. My horse gets caught in a rock and then I fall off or something bizarre, right? Like the spawn rate of animals pisses me off sometimes. But little tiny things. Every single mission I have done has been really, really entertaining. Hamish died as he lived. Absolutely gorgeous. In fact, you can get inside Tom Hanks. Wait, what? You can be my goose anytime, Wolfie, says J-Bob. Thanks, Jay. How are you doing? Bob, are you J-Bob, you must just be um, waking up, right? Imagine Woody from Toy Story giving coronavirus to Buzz Lightyear. On that note. Oh shit. Oh. Hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the field. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Hero. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Oh shit. I got a secondary objective. Alright. Get it done, Sean. Uh oh. Oof. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Alright. Try to stay out of trouble. Alright. Hiding amongst the tobacco plants will keep the guards uh, not be able to see easily. So I have to. I guess I have to get all of this. Okay. There's a guard over there. Alright. Crouch down, please. We gotta get around behind this guy. Stealth is stealthy. Oh shit. Okay, we're gonna scamper across here. Alright, let's do it. Christ on board is always said. Alright, we're almost 30% done, guys. Not bad at all. Alright, some here. This is a never ending moonshine ball, apparently. 60%. Alright, we're gonna cut across behind this guy here. Hopefully nobody's gonna see me. Ah! Alright. Tobacco points. Let's keep away from the guards if possible. Alright. There's one. Thank you. Next. Thank you. Next. Alright. Across the gap here. Ooh. Douse this area. This is going to take us pretty close, but I don't know if we've covered all the fields at this stage. Meet Sean at the barn. That's 34%. Do we need to do any more? Apparently not. Um, I've got one guard over there. I'm going to sprint this across. This might be a mistake. <sighs> okay. Oh, do I need to go back and get more fuel, maybe? There's a white dot on the map, and I don't know... Oh, there's Sean. That guy's got his back to me. Is Sean gonna do the carving here? Rip that guy. Alright. 
ropes in as well. Alright. Loot the guy. I just have to wait on Sean here, right? Barn in the barn. Hey, I want to quickly... Alright, shit, son. Well... Let's burn those bloody fears to the ground. Yeet! I guess I'm just throwing it in there, right? Chuck another archer. Okay, take out the Grey Guards. Uh, Alright, here we go. Right now, we got company. Look out. This is bloody madness. I'm gonna get to this fucking... Get to the shed here. Shit. There we go. Is that a guard, really? Yeah. Fucking hell, this repair really does suck. Gotta stay close to Sean. Okay. Oh, I took his hat off. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got payroll on it as well. Alright. Shit. There we go. Shogging this boy. I can't see that guy, so I'm just going to molotov it. There we go. I think that should work. I can't see these guys, so I'm gonna have to dead eye. I don't know if that worked. Could loot these guys. Okay. I'm following Sean here. I'm gonna tomahawk somebody. But what about the actual payroll? Is that in the back? Cut free. Working on it. Flee. Wait. I'm work. Come on, guys. Come on! What the fuck? Oh god, I think I've already done it. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna tomahawk somebody on horseback on the way out. Come on, then. Somebody's getting tomahawked. I just don't know where any of these guys are. Oh, that guy? I really want to, like... Ha! <laughs> Sean killed him anyway. This is a kill, though, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I shouldn't be, uh, fucking around with that. Here we go. That was a sick mission, guys. Really fun mission. There are so many choices at Aqua. How do I know if it's the right one to stop the rumbling in my tummy? Wait, is J Bob deciding what he wants to eat? What did I miss here? Curry sounds good. Mm, I kind of want curry. Clip and post in the Discord for democracy. J Bob, yeah, I'm in town deciding what to get for lunch. Gonna be bad and. Uh, get takeout. Oh man, that sounds excellent. Buck says that's a beautiful horse. Yeah, it is a nice horse, you're right. Escape with Sean. Holy moly, that was fun.
Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Uh, yes. Sure. Let's do it, guys. Let's head back. Mm-hmm. Sweet heat. I love that mix. Does a honey curry exist, Ollie? Mm-hmm, that's right. Reach the obligatory food talk uh, in the chat. Yeah, that's true. I know you can put yogurt in curries to tame the spiciness. If you use yogurt with honey, that'll be your honey curry, says Ollie. There you go. Well, this curry contain rice, meat, and sauce? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, curry's like a... It's rice with some sort of, like... Some topping with sauce on the top, basically, yeah. Probably got a pizza if I didn't have work to work out later. Can't have a heavy meal or I'll be in the way. Or it'll be in the way. Yeah, no, there's nothing worse. What do we get here? Gangshare 420. We get th 233. That wasn't so bad. Do I get to keep this horse? Or... Is this my horse now? If I hitch this, does it become mine? I guess I could analyse it. Yeah, I guess it is. How do I... Let me have a look at the horse station here. Horse management is currently unavailable as your horse is in the camp. You have no horses stabled. Yeah, but I want to have a look at... I want to have a look at this horse and decide what its stats are. And I can't see it if I'm not in the stable. Uh, would I need to go all the way to town to consider... Can I not hitch this horse as well? Hmm, it's ours now. Yeah, sadly. How do I do that from the horse? Do I have to take the saddle off Sue? Remove saddle. But what if this horse has got lower stats than Sue? Sad luck. I haven't even given this horse a name. Ooh, we need to put our saddle on it to make ours, I guess. Horse bonding activity, you're right, guys, yeah. Pat. He's a nice big horse. It's okay, he is girl. huge! He is such a big horse! What? Let's brush him. Can we brush the horse? Whoa, dude. Is this a guy? Does he have a massive dump? I mean, uh, I don't know if we how we check, guys. I guess we'd have to go to the uh, the horse stables in time with them to check. Shire. Right. Let's have a, qu a quick peek at some of the stuff that's available right now. We can do a... Is that John Martian? Mika. Or Mika, whatever his name is. Is available. We probably have to go do that before we go anywhere else, if I'm being honest. I don't think there's any other quests available right now. We could go to the, the stables and kind of inspect the horse and see if it's better or worse. Do you guys fancy that? If I take it into town, do it, make the curry, says Ollie. Now I want to make sir chicken curry. The only thing is the white horse with the fucking panther saddle looks really, really bad in my opinion. My horse is tiny, but he isn't scared of anything and never bucks me off. Nice. Should I have... I don't know if I should have put this horse in the stable. That one there. Is this the one that Sean brought back with the quest? This is maybe worth some money. <sighs> Hello horse, please don't get freaky. He's trying to kick me again. Fuck off. Okay, I died. Fuck, I didn't think that would actually kill me, but whatever. Alright, guess you can't be kicked twice. Yo, what's up, Joe? Let's do it. How you doing, by the way? I'm doing excellent, Joe. How's, how's things with you? I was excellent till my horse kicked me and killed me. Or the horse kicked me and killed me. I was trying to put it in the stable so I could potentially sell it, but apparently that was just a no-go. This might actually progress us to the morning, though, in a weird way. How does this work? Does that load? That doesn't load my game, does it? I think it just puts me to respawn, I guess. That went that went well. The lasso? Well, we could have done the lasso, maybe, yeah. Right, I'm going to go check this horse in town. Uh, maybe this is the new horse. 
Maybe we need to rename this one. Right. It's going to be morning soon. I am going to head for the nearest stables, which I believe are... Is there really not stables and roads? Fuck me, dude. That's depressing. Right. Oh, really? Is Do we have to go all the way here to the stables? Is there not stables? Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The horse fence. Does he count? Maybe the horse fence actually... No, I don't think the horse fence is going to be able to help me, will he? He's just for selling shit, right? There's one up here. That looks closer than Saint Denis. I'm going to go with that one really quickly. I guess I got greedy. The horse heard that I was going to sell it. This horse is so fucking huge, dude. Look at his tail. Look at his goddamn tail. It's the length of my body. What the hell? This is the biggest horse we've ever had. He's maybe even too big. He's a big one. Destroyed. I've been kicked by a horse before. Not fun, says just Richard. Dislocated my shoulder with... Um... Richard said, I've been kicked by a horse before, not fun, dislocated my shoulder with ease. Uh, that sounds absolutely insane, Richard. That sounds insane, dude. Were you behind the horse, or was it in front of you? Like, did you get kicked with its front legs or its back legs? Because I can imagine one's probably worse than the other. Neither sounds enjoyable, my, my dude. I'm sorry that happened. How long ago was that, Rich? Sushi so says, oh my god, I've just realised Jack is an amazing person. Can't realise I didn't see it that sooner. And also, I just unlocked the hardest dungeon in the game. Nice. Nice. All true. All true, Sushi. I like it. I don't think it takes you that... It doesn't take that long to get your horse. Oh my god, dude. Oh, hi. Where are you going? Oh, you kind, mister. Where are you going, though? Where are you trying to go? Is there a stable there? Not exactly where we're going, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this isn't going to work out. Yeah, no. Honestly. Oh, I don't know. Just follow me. Over here. Come over here. That's it. I'm a walk from here. You a strange mean man. Stupid bitch. Right. Anyways, to the stables. Uh, there's some maniac back there, mister. I would be careful. Somebody throwing tomahawks about. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I just really get upset when they're going in a different direction from me. The game could really... I'm pretty sure if they, if they wanted to, they could program it in so that they see where you're going. And if you're going in the same direction as the like as the marker, they should put your, your delivery kind of somewhat en route. Ah, uh, dude, like, I don't know, man. There's only so much you can do, chat. All right. Oops, my tomahawk slipped. It slipped through the air and embedded itself cleanly between her eyes. Yeah. Such a, such a clumsy, <laughs> such a clumsy fucker I am, I tell you. Right. Let's check out this horse and see if it's actually worth our time, guys. I don't know how good the uh, stats on this bad boy are going to be in comparison to Sue, but we'll just see. Hind legs is Richard. I was walking away from him and he clipped me. Oh, Jesus, dude. That sounds awful, Richard. I'm glad you're still alive and with us and healthy now. You're a beast, dude. That's insane. Yo, Riley, what's up? Uh, Shire, I think he is... Well, he's only level one. Should we keep him, guys? All in favour of keeping the new horse and naming him. Put one. Uh, if everybody who wants to go back to Sue, put two. Go back, get your tomahawk. Oh, that was a good idea, yeah. God hath yeeted his tomahawk. Three, says J-Bob. Two for Sue. Ollie, Ollie votes two. Move this roads once Sue. Buck wants the new horse. 
You guys are all in favour of Sue. j -Bob wants me to give birth to an alien or something. I don't know what the third option was. Right, Shire Horse. We're gonna sell... He only sells for $4.80, man. Feels fucking bad, dude. Feels bad. Alright, this guy is a big heavy horse. I think we just, um... We just chill in. One massive lad, yeah. Right, I guess we're going back for Sue. It was worth an investigation. This guy's cool, though. I feel like we should call this horse fucking Gandalf or something. Right, let's go back to the, uh, to here. We'll get Sue back. You can do Jack, you're amazing. Do you think we can actually pick up the, uh, the tomahawk on the way back? Do you think she's still on the road? There's no way the corpse of that woman is still back here, right? <laughs> will we check? There's no way she's still in the path. I think she will have despawned. You can get Sue at the stable? Wait, really? So many people died for that four dollar eighty. <laughs> I tried to I had to look for Sue, but Sue wasn't available. It was oh my god, is that? Oh no, it's a dirty patch. I don't know where the woman went. She must have decomposed pretty quickly. Probably eaten by a bear. <laughs> She's probably eaten by a fucking herd of coyotes or some shit. The sale price should have tipped off. It uh, should have tipped you off what to do, says Dusty. Yeah, fair. If a horse isn't worth very much, then he's probably uh, not that good of a horse. Is this where we um, we happen to slip the tomahawk into that poor woman? Is it back here? Be your own transport. Get it, go get exercise. Your avatar is getting a, a slight belly. Dude, my avatar is surprisingly sturdy, dude. Stable can retrieve Sue. Oh, shit. I didn't see that was an option. We're going back to the camp to do the quest anyway for uh, for Mika. Or Mika or whatever his name is, the psycho guy. He probably got up and kept walking. Oh, she probably got up and kept walking. Yeah, she was probably fine. I don't even think she had an injury to begin with. You know how she was like, Mista, Mista, my ankle, ah. Oh. Yeah, I, I actually think she was fine. She was just a lazy bitch and she was looking for a... Uh... She probably executed her own horse so that she could ride a faster horse to where she was going. So she could be a huge inconvenience, I know it. You accidentally ate a steak and that was worth more than the horse and via the trans uh, the transitive property, those people's lives. I am innocent, chat. I don't know what to say. The only thing I'm guilty of is not going back to pick up my tomahawk. But then I thought it was more cooler to just put the tomahawk in the victim and walk away. Do you guys not agree? I want to be the very best like no one ever was. You came in already on a horse. Should have uh, gone on foot and you could have gotten Sue. Oh, I see, I see. So, ah, I got it. If you go in on foot, right, gotcha. That was a mechanic I didn't fully understand, Dusty. But I got you now. Yeah. Hey, Gothic, welcome. Yeah, welcome, Gothic. What's up? Warm welcome to you. Thanks for using the walk-on. You're a legend. How's life treating you today, Gothic? You doing all right? Right, Sue, we're back. Are you, are you happy to see us, Sue? Right, I need to, um... I should probably hitch this horse anyway. Maybe we can get up to level 2. Just in case anything were to happen to, you know. Not saying, don't say her name, she won't know us. There we go, horsey. You're fine. Right. We are going to remove the saddle. Thanking you. So, let's see these pearly whites. I slept like a baby last night. It was lovely. Guys, I didn't, I didn't get my teeth improved at the dentist. I was just getting a checkup. You guys are making out like I had some sort of denture surgery to like get some insane teeth. Look, my teeth are still exactly the same, look. Still boring. Still boring teeth. Nothing exciting going on there. Right. This is now your main horse. It was represented on the radar. Sue doesn't kick me most of the time. Sometimes she kicks me off when a panther attacks. Right. Let's go do the quest with our boy back here. Hosea. What's up, bud? It's good to be warm. Sure. Do you know what? I feel like, guys, you know, because we um we happen to let our tomahawk fly th through our hands into that victim, I feel like we should, you know, as a way of rebalancing karma, we should probably do a chore, and that'll make up for anything that happened on the road, right? What stays on the road, you guys know. What happens on the road stays on the road. What the fuck's going on right now? Why is he holding the hay bale like that? 
Dutch's latest plan. You well, me, I never and, did much thinking. I mean, ignore that, Hosea. What are you thinking of my fucking hay arm? It's my new weapon. I bought it at the store. This could take out a fucking bear, dude. Look. Hosea. Look at this. Backswing, front swing. It's a shield for when they start raining fire on you. You could eat it. You could give it to your horse. You could set it on fire, turn it into a Molotov. This is the new weapon of the future. Holy God, dude. Why would I need any other guns in the game when I've got hay bale arm? I've seen this in Digimon once. This was a Digivolution. Holy dude. You, not only can you protect, attack, but you can also feed your horse. Insane. Jack doesn't know how to hold a hay bale apart. Dude, this is the new meta. You guys kidding me? Why? Guys, let's face it. Looking at this scenario right now, this demonstration, why would you ever need to hold a hay bale in any other way? Look at the upper fucking body strength required to carry a hay bale like this. Do you know how heavy that is? Pretty damn fucking heavy, guys. Alright, let's just put it down here. Just let me fucking eat this over here like the tomahawk. Boom. Karma. Dead eye level 8. Let's go. Right. You guys ready to do another quest? We're going to go and talk to Captain Crazy Ass. These quests with Captain Crazy Ass here, they always end up with us blowing someone up, so... We should probably just get that shit done. I could also donate to the camp, actually, before I speak to him. I will talk to you in a second, young sir. Give me a minute. I probably want to actually eat something to repair my dead eye. Let me do that real quick as well. Uh, we want a drink, actually. I think drinks are what we want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have we got anything exciting? Health cure. Snake oil. Boom. Right down the fucking hatch. There we go. Right. Do you know what we should do later, guys? We should go fishing, I think. But I wanted to get some main quests done. Let's check the, um, should we check if there's been any ridiculous, uh, bat wings added to the, to the ledger recently? What we got here? A ring? Sure. Didn't eat all this crap. Platinum band. We're, lo we're looking for gold earrings, guys, because some of these are actually useful in, like, brewing recipes for, like, crafting shit. Silver pocket watch, gold pocket watch. Get rid of this. We'll keep one of each just in case. Gold wedding ring. That'll do. There we go, Richard. Do you see that? I just put money in the in the thing. Let's inspect the ledger. We'll check the camp finances. Let's have a look, see what we can do. Did I make myself bigger than normal earlier? I don't know. We're now bigger. Okay, so apparently Trelawney. Look at this lad. Trelawney, good citizen of the camp. Silver chain bracelet, $5. Excellent. Charles, good bison pelt. A little bit weird, Charles, but okay, $3. We like Charles. He's a good guy. We carry him alone on our love. Pearson, poor iguana skin, 46 cent. Pearson, I know you're busy making shit at the camp, but like, what the fuck? Oh, and look who's next. Look who it is. Tilly. Tilly the Domino's master. Wins every Domino's round I play with her. What is it she's put in the ledger? A bat wing. A bat wing. 15 cents. Taken after Susan, the last motherfucker to put a bat wing in my goddamn contribution tin. Are you fucking having a laugh? A bat wing, Tilly? Are we a joke to you, Tilly? Here's us. Platinum earring. Silver earring. Platinum bangle. Silver clamp buckle. Hello? Tilly? Oh, disgusting. Only one hand. You use the arm too much. Only one strong arm. My right arm is a lot stronger than my left arm. We're going to contribute some money here, guys. We got a lot of uh, penny roos here. We're going to give money because that's the right thing to do. Nope, that's the wrong thing. I want to give money. All right. Jack, two of my friends got in trouble at school. Tyson got um, hurt his brother. Tevin said no one... No one of the poke-up kids to the other kid hit him hard, so there was a dad came and he got mad at the poke-ups for the kid bullying Chad's kids. And his kids got in trouble, but the poke-up kids didn't get any trouble at all because of their last name. Riley, that sounds wild, dude. I hope that your friends are okay, my guy. You seem sad, though. Riley, have you, uh, you've left school, right? At this point, you're just getting ready to move house. So hopefully you didn't get any involved in any of the drama, my guy. Sometimes people do silly things. You just gotta uh, let them get on with it, man. I hope your friends are okay, though. Like Shut up, Dutch. Nobody likes you. 
Well, a lot of people like you, that's the point, but never mind. Uh, we're going to have a look at the ledger, and we're going to buy something here. We're going to do an upgrade. Fucking Batwing, dude. Oh, don't even show me it. I'm disgusted. Get away from me. Right, uh, what can we upgrade here? This is all fully done. Horse is done. The camp boat, 360. Is that the last upgrade? That's the last upgrade. You have purchased a boat for the camp. Hell fucking yeah, dude. Now we can go fishing whenever we like. I don't know why we wouldn't just, you know, as we're, seeing as we're thieves, why wouldn't we just steal a boat? I don't know why we would buy a boat for $360. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but whatever. Um, we are going to restock the ammunitions, I guess. We're also going to restock the medicine, even though I've not taken any medicine. Oh, mate, I guess I can if I've not taken any. We'll restock this, sure. Okay. Get the fucking bat wing away from me. Afternoon, how's it going? Hey, Serenity, what's up? Welcome. Right. All done and dusted. Where's the nice boat? Oh, look at that. Absolutely fucking magnificent. Right, quest time. Let's do this. We've got people to rob, money to make. Mika, what's up, my dude? Okay. Maka. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called. Hey, the name of the quest. Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of <laughs> Cowpoke. limited intelligence. I'm going to call Mrs. Now, Wolfie Cowpoke later and see what she says. You and the old man and Dutch have been running around. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that. I'm not that brave. Shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch. You tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a cornered tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't. But we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You gotta take. I killed Combs brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What and I Arthur mean, protecting us. Time for tigers, my friend. Well, sheep boys, let's see what happens here. Are we going to end up getting shot to shit? Alright, Sue, so let's go. Time for us to rock and roll. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Why is that horse not bound up? Oh it is. I think it is. I think I gotta put oh shit, sorry Dutch. I think I have to put that horse like I don't know if I can retire it to the stables from there, right? Finally a mission you might not like, says Dusty. Is this one rough guys? It's generally inadvisable to call a woman anything starting with the word cow, says Tori. True. <clears throat> not not an incorrect statement, Tori. Yeah, but funny if you're breathing quick enough. Hey, Aqua, says Serenity. Yeah, I'm not ready for you to die yet, Jack. Please reconsider. I like to I like to know you guys have got my back. I don't like Micah. Cabbage and noodles with ham. Not bad breakfast for 12:30. Nice, nice suit. Everybody's gonna love today. Love today. Love today. Everybody's gonna love today. Love, love Dutch. Love, love Dutch. Sorry. Just try to kick his legs out. 
I'm half asleep still, uh, meant maker. I spelled it wrong. It's okay, I pronounce his name wrong all the time, so we're uh, just grand here. My girlfriend Catherine and her little brother Jacob with their mum, her name is Connie. It's not like my dad moving, Connie said. I wouldn't tell you guys to bring back the trailer and unpack everything. Long story short, no one is taking me and my dad moving back to Colorado. Or Colorado. So wait, Riley, are you moving or are you not moving? Sorry, I misunderstood, my dude. Can you explain? So... Riley, I also thought that you split up with your girlfriend. Is that... I feel like I've missed a couple of chapters in the Riley... The, the Riley life. Oh, my dear and trusted friend. With you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Alright. I wonder if this, uh, this fight's gonna end in tears. I feel like someone's gonna die in this quest. I feel like there's gonna be a death soon. We haven't had any death so far other than like random plebs and NPCs and people we didn't really care about. Men on the ridge. Old Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Do you think do you guys think that Micah's gonna backstab us? This is a Micah quest, right? Do you think he's setting us up for a trap? Can I sort out my weapons just now? Kinda want the shotgun. I don't know why my analog keeps flicking, I apologize for that. We haven't used the double barrel actually in a while. Let's do uh What what shoots faster? The bolt action reloads a little bit faster. The varmint rifle sucks. Um Yeah dude, honestly, we could we could use the bolt action a little bit maybe. No, I did probably the repair we want. Okay. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find uh, a spot just above us. Where well, in that case, we probably want to use one of our rifles with a scope. I think bull action seems good. Rolling blocks probably the way. Yeah, rolling blocks the way. You can keep an eye. All right, good luck, gents. Dude, I, I honestly think that, like, Micah's gonna betray us. I've got a strong, weird suspicion. My scope is only a medium scope. It doesn't actually aim for very far, so we'll see how this plays out. Just found an NPC di with the dialogue. Oh, no, I didn't do well on my exams. Nice. Wait, is that, a, is that a bird of prey? Oh shit, I could have, um... Where did that go? I'm supposed to kill birds of prey with a tomahawk. What do you think, boys? This doesn't seem good. Maybe Mika is the trap. Maybe. Oh, the rifle's out. That must be calm. Hello, Dutch. Been a while. 
Sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. <laughs> they offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you. You in. would do it, Tori, don't lie. You take it. Well, still might. I am. I understand now, really. I understand. Brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Oh no, dude. Oh no. <laughs> Hello, sugar. <laughs> you ain't dead, is <laughs> Not anyway. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? We're getting wrecked. I don't know. Colin's got a sense. Handing him over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. The whole Am I supposed to escape here? With this fella Colin Bright, we can draw them all back. He's escaping, shoot him! Relax. Relax. I got him. Oh shit. Did I kill you? No, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. <laughs> but I will. <laughs> the fuck is going on, dude? <laughs> We're getting destroyed. <laughs> Oh no. 67? Whoops, sorry, I was clearing my keyboard. You can sneak up on around the cliff edges. To, wait, is that to do with killing the birds of prey with the tomahawks? Hmm. It started raining so hard to grab the umbrella. Where's the sense of honour? Never kick a man when he's down. Oh, here comes comb. Dear me. You'd think Dutch would have took more members to this. Arthur Morgan. Hello. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> oh no. How's Woo? Hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Nice. Now, tell me. Uh, fine gun like you. Uh, why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, oh, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cabin. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutt preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had to. <laughs> oh, I know you. So he's capturing us to hand us over to the police, to the Pinkertons. Is that what Combs up to? Then disappear. You only met with him to grab me. Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here, and a whole lot of you, and the law be waiting for him. Arthur. Oh dear. Arthur. I missed you. 
Oh god. Nani? Thanks, Vince. Oh, yikes. He's rounded us up for the police. Hey, we're the bait. Now we're the bait. This is a huge twist in the plot, by the way. <laughs> Nani? Thanks again, Vince. You can swing on your shackles to reach the metal file. This can be used to pick your lock. Oh my god, ain't we looking good in our onesie? Swing left, swing right, swing left, Yikes. swing right. Oh dear. Nice. Oh, that would have hurt. Pretty sure our legs would be numb at this point. Dude, we look like fucking. We look like Robert Downey Jr. Eesh. That's rough, guys. Had a spare few bits left. Thanks, Vince. You guys have been crazy for uh, gifted subs and uh, bits today, guys. Thank you so much. Wait. I don't know if that's a good idea. Wait. <laughs> Imagine it just blows a shotgun hole in him. Can't rise the wind. Oh, this is gonna suck. <sighs> oh god, that would suck. Uh, throwing knives. Okay, can I, uh... Is that all I've got? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be... Alright. What the fuck? Should've moved. That, there's a unique gun on that guy. Does he have a gun? There's a unique gun on that guy, though. Oh, it's so hard to aim. to get that back. God. Okay, I get that, guys. Uh, where's the gun here? There's a gun on the... Where is it? Revolver. Arthur's weapons. Oh, it's my guns. Yeah, dude. Take his clothes. Yeah, maybe. Uh... Oh, he's not dead. Was oh, he? He is dead. He is dead. Sorry, it didn't give me the red X there. I don't know why. Can I just leave the horse and get the fuck out of here? We can't whistle. Return to Clement Point. This is our horse, right? We are on the right one. No, we're not. Dude, I don't know what the fuck is my horse. Search the saddlebags, oh sure. Let's do a bit of looting when we're on the way out, are we? Two dollars. Sick, dude. Is this one my horse? Search saddlebags. Oh, there's Sue there. Okay. Yeah, let's take some money. Wait, whoa. There's a plot. Oh, fuck. That was unfortunate. He didn't have to do that. Okay. 
Alright, we're gonna have a little bit of food here. Can you get the fuck away from me, horse? Alright, let's go. Um, where are we going on the map? Round the outside of the island, I think? We can't go across the bridge. We have to go round and through to get back to the camp. But we don't want to get spotted on the way. So we gotta keep out of the way of all these boys. Can I get down behind these guys? You don't see me, you don't see me, you don't see me. I can't see them. I don't know if that makes a difference. Anti-theft horse. Alright. That was a bit wild. There must be like an extra part of the challenge here. If you get out of there without being detected, you probably get like an extra... Alright. Across the water we go. And before the gator attack. Imagine a bear found us now. Imagine a bear attacked us when we were in this state. <laughs> Sue crashes into a tree like she does from time to time, but then we just destroy ourselves. I did that pretty poorly. My f my ability to throw the throwables is like really bad when I'm aiming. I mean, Arthur was staggering all over the place. I think you can just like L2, R2 with the throwing stuff and it should just throw insta-kill. But I'm so bad at like risking it because it can miss or it can, it can like not fucking kill them or whatever. Pretty insane shit. Yeah, that was a big development in the in the story, Andy. You've done this mission already? Yeah. That was a, an awkward one for sure. We got out of it and we didn't get spotted, but my, my ability to stealth kill is pretty tragic. I need practice. Maybe I just need to practice on random people just throw a knife, throw a knife tomahawk, see how it goes. Dude, the horse kicked me as well. Right in the gut. Hi Andy, how are you? Says Ollie. Arthur. Arthur? Uh oh. I told you it was just set up to us. My boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. But I, I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. Uh, uh. Oh. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I like how the only part of Miss Grimshaw hanging in the frame there was her jugs. Uh, that's pretty tough. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. <laughs> Look at the red Santa onesie. He. So, did Dutch not even know that Arthur was captured? Like. How did they not react? I thought they were going to turn up like in the camp and there was going to be like a mass shootout as we were escaping, but we just had to escape. Pretty crazy. Catarize the wind meow. A few weeks later. This must be us on the chapter 3? Chapter 4? Chapter 4, I think. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. And that epic beard. Dude, how does he grow a beard like that in three weeks? The fuck? <sighs> take me like three years. Alright, blessed are the peacemakers. Let's see what we could have done better in this uh, mission here. Free yourself and perform self-surgery within one minute. That's the only thing I fucked up on this uh, this mission, guys. Cover your weapons, kill the Driscoll gang members that beat and shot you, escape the camp without being spotted. Cool. Alright, I see we rocked the beard for a while. It can kind of represent the fact that we've just fucking came out of the... In fact, it's actually hella long, dude. It actually looks bushy as fuck. What the hell? I think I might take it down a, lot, a notch here. Oh no, is Jack a beardlet? What do you mean, a beardlet? Can't can't grow a beard, is that what you're asking me? 
I can grow a really unclean, unkempt, scruffy beard if that counts, and it takes me a long ass time. Right, we are gonna trim the trim the facial hair down a little bit here. Stick it to here, actually. Quite like that a little bit better. Now we don't look like some sort of weird ass fucking Santa. All right, so from here, our missions are as follows, guys. Uh, we can go back in and do the Bill Williamson quest in town. Is there no more discussions or developments based on what just happened? I mean, we were literally just captured and tortured. I feel like there should be like a group discussion on that. But uh, maybe not. We could just go straight into the build quest or we could go fishing for something. Potentially. Should we go catch a legendary fish, guys, and just slot it in somewhere? We could also potentially hunt a legendary animal. Let's see what we're closest to. How about that? So... Maps. Let's do the fish map first, because there's a lot of fish we have yet to catch. We're next to the bluegill. I think we've got that pike. Wait, what? Why has that one got a pink scroll on it? Why is that pink and... F it's also not ticking off the ones I've got. Why is it not ticking off the ones I've done? Oh, I guess it it ticks it off on the other map, right? Am I just going insane? We could, uh, we're kind of close to that one and that one. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, map. There is a fish up here. And there's also a fish. Is it over here? I want to go back to my map real quick. So, where is this one? Okay. Further up the river, I think. Like here? Oh, wait, it's actually... Is that it marked there? I don't know. And then also... At the top of that little river as well, and that body of water. So before the bend, so probably closer to, yeah, sure enough, like here. And then also, get rid of that. There's also one in here as well. All right, let's go catch some fish, guys. Don't know if I have to do both of them. <laughs> Jack maps don't work that way. Why not hunt? Uh, why not legendary hunting? Sounds fun. Yeah, we could do. I'm going to do some of the fish ones because I feel like there's a lot more fish that are like... The fish are kind of not easier because some of the fish can be a nightmare, but a lot of the fish are small enough for you to just stash in your horse, whereas a lot of the legendary game, you kind of you have to do one at a time. I'm going to just try and hand in a couple of legendary fish here, guys, and then we can consider doing some legendary hunting after, if you guys fancy it. That map doesn't... The main map does. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You guys are spot on. It just took me my slow ass brain a second to catch back up with that for sure. Landmarks and the drones don't change. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry guys. I was just uh, doing a bit of rumbling. Sorry for not making sense. I quite like the Grizzly Adams look to Sereni. It's very manly for sure. Must be quite itchy though. Like having a having a beard that long, unless every time I talk about beards, Roxas is like, well if you shampoo and you condition your beard and you take care of your beard with products, it can actually, you know, not be as uncomfortable. It's actually quite pleasant or whatever. But I don't think these guys exactly have shampoo for their beards, you know? I, I don't know. Fast growing here, yeah. Right, how far have we got to go here? Oh, there's a little cabin on the lake. That's cool. How, uh, how close are we to this shit? Okay, yeah, yeah, not far. I could set a marker, but we'll just fucking we'll just straight across the, the county, shall we? Once you go in the area of the animal, it'll mark you on your map the fish of the beast drawn. The maps are just there to find them in the first place. Yeah, yeah. No, I know, Sereni. I know. I just, uh, my brain lagged a little bit. We've hunted a bunch of fish already. We've done four legendary fish, and I think we've done like six, five, five, maybe five legendary beasts. So, yeah, we, we're pretty much good. 
I was just mumbling a little bit. Don't mind me. Arthur could moonlight as one of those young Santas. He could, yeah. He indeed could lay. Alright. Come on, Sue. You're doing just fine, aren't you? Sue does get very tired compared to the uh, the Arabian horse, unfortunately. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, look. Check this out. This is the lumber yard, right? Oh, no, it's not. It's the fucking poker station. I haven't went back to visit the guy who was building his house next to Valentine. I haven't actually went to check. Where is that? That must be close, right? Oh, no. Valentine was fucking... No, ignore me. There's a... Oh, no. Valentine is kind of on the way. Up here somewhere. There's a ranch that we were helping the guy build his fucking... his cabin. I wonder if that's done now. I'm also looking for a... Do I have any tomahawks left? No. Fuck. If I see any uh, legendary birds, I won't, bury, I won't be able to fucking take them out. But see these little perches with the cliffs? We've seen eagles sit on these before, and that would be like your prime... Prime location to take out one of the the birds of prey. Oh dear. <laughs> did that? Uh... <laughs> did that spook anyone? Ah, uh, she. I had my speakers on. That did. That did not come through my headset, but I, I hope that didn't... <laughs> I'm going to turn that one off. Sreddy, you are a nasty, nasty piece of work. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh, wow. I felt cheated the other day. Yeah, I'm sorry. I won it once again, right? I know 300 bits is like... A decent fair amount of bits, right? And I'm sorry that the audio f alerts were broken last time. It really is annoying. Uh, that that happened, so I apologize. Right. We are somewhat close to where this legendary fish should be. Somewhere around here. So I'm hoping that the game will pop up and tell me. I'm going to go this way down the river first. And hope that it makes an appearance. Still haven't done whatever's up on that ledge. There's a person up there. Huge ass quest marker here, by the way. See this? Look at the size of this. We should do whatever that is soon. I'm hoping I find my fish. Nah man, it's fine. I found it funny. I'm glad. I fucking looked because I have headphones in and I thought it was someone at the window. <laughs> Serenity, you nasty, nasty piece of work. Thank you for the 300 bits. Thank you for the 300 bits yesterday, or not yesterday, but the day before when it didn't work. I apologize, guys. Felt like a moron now as I watched the damn thing pop up. I think the people who get it worse, the knocking, is the people who are working at, like, the people who are at their work just working away, and they don't, they have headphones in, but they don't have the screen open, and then they freak out. I think that's hit a couple of people. I wonder if there's people right now who are like, what the fuck? They're still trying to figure out who was making the knocking noise. Come on, legendary fish, you gotta be here somewhere, my dude. I'm gonna run right up the center of the river until the fish appears. Do I need to actually f get my fishing rod out for this fucker to spawn, or...? Oh, maybe it is actually... Dude, is the one on the map actually got a crown on it? Oh, it does, you just can't see it because it's... Dude, I'm actually brain dead. I actually had spawned it. I was, I've just been here before. So the marker's not going to pop up to tell me that I'm in the area of a legendary fish. I'm such a dumbass. When the stream starts knocking, don't um, start rocking, I don't know. I am sorry. You tried. <laughs> no, you can't use the eagle eye and shoot the legendary fish. I never said I was going to try that. What's Mrs. Wolfie saying? She just texts me. Jack, you idiot. Leaving at half five today be myself okay right guys we gotta we gotta catch our fish right here right here right here this is the perfect spot 
This is gonna give the horse a rest as well. Are you okay? Why are you freaking out? Calm. Take it easy. Are you serious? There we go. Calm the fuck down, you mad bastard. Right. We are going to use a special river lure. The Dakota River is where we're at. Uh, we're going to swap this up. River lure should be fine. Alright guys, wish me luck. Don't know how big this little fish is going to be, but we're going to give it our best shot. I'm going to fucking launch this bitch right over there. Yeet. Alright. Here we go. Thanks, folks. You don't find it that way. You don't need to go to the area and fish with the special lure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I fucked up, guys. We're alright. We're gonna get this bad boy in the line. We're gonna catch it first try. You ready? You asked if you had to use the rod, says Dusty Rods. <laughs> I ha I asked if the rod would spawn the legendary fish marker, but we're fine. Jack's gonna catch a hoof to the head again, isn't he? Yeah, my horse is gonna beat the shammy, probably. Top R2 attract the fish by flicking the line. Oh. Decent. Alright, let me try again. Woo! Right there. Nailed it. I'm gonna do like a little tap here. Use the eagle eye anyway, at least you can see where it cast. Does that help? We're alright guys, don't worry about it. I utilise two grid points to take aim at the fish. Let's do a flick here. All of the techniques of fishing. Just you, me, and the open, the open seas, guys. Isn't this nice? Come on, you little bastard, get on the line. For I fucking dynamite your lake, kill all your family. I mean, what? I think I may have broken my cat's so serenity. Wait, did the cat have its headphones on when you did the knocking? What the fuck, bitch? Jack, do you know what a C is? <laughs> Hell yeah, motherfucker! Let's go! Here we go. Here we go, boys. Nice and easy. You ready for this? Oh, boy, is that a legendary fish on the horizon? I feel it. Where are you going, fella? You ain't going nowhere. There she is. Look at you. Please tell me you're legendary. <laughs> is that? That's not the special one. Pray you're staying with me. The fuck? The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Maybe I need to be casting out more to my left. Motherfucker, dude. Sorry, that was just a practice. That was just a practice. Guys, don't focus on the details, okay? Don't get lost up and caught in the details, okay? Sea River, shite jobby. It's all the same, okay? Don't, don't even be like that, okay? I'm too busy in the zone, okay? Some words are gonna get lost. Don't even try and at me right now, all right? When you're a master fisherman, like Arthur Morgan here, you can make up any rules you want, all right? Any rules. Eagle Eye, find it first, says Dusty. I mean, that would be cheating. 
Why use Eagle Eye when I'm just a natural god? Alright, here we go. Here we go, baby. Look at this. You ready? He's coming, boys. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, you are one fine fish, my friend. Legendary chain pickerel. Get in my belly. All right, Sue, we did it. Sue, can you believe it? The chat was slagging me off for not knowing the difference between a sea and a river. All right, fish donezo marker removed. So to the next one. On to the next one. All right, we've got a lovely road. It's going to take us directly to the heart of Strawberry, which is a beautiful location. I'm going to leave a marker on this because I want to come back and investigate what that is because it's been there for a while and I've been neglecting it the whole time. I'm ill in bed again. I keep putting, uh, pulling up the doovie and she's not moving. She keeps looking at me in disgust. Oh no. Sereni, how did the uh, work go on your flat slash place of residence? How did the how did the work go? Was everything smooth? Everything good? You sir are a fish. Thanks, move. A funky fish. You're a towel. Wait a minute. Upstream, love that Crash Bandicoot level. Ollie, I would say that I agree, but Upstream used to thrash my ass when I was a young kid. Alright, Upstream was not a happy time. The amount of um, teeth grit and rage toker moments when I played Crash Bandicoot 1 and I got to Upstream. First of all, I was excited to get there because I needed to get through the boulder level and probably the Great Wall as well to get to Upstream. But Upstream sucks, dude. Is Upstream after the Great Wall? Imagine getting past the Great Wall level of Crash Bandicoot. Only to be faced with upstream. Do you, do you know many times I lift, I missed the the tiger, the tiger lily, the the lily pads. Do you know how many times I missed those jumps and died? Many many times. Yeah, it's a great level. Yeah, up the creek is tougher. My favorite was Hog Wild. Hog Wild was great. Hog Wild was a great great level, but that used to ruin my lives so fucking fast. I was bad at that level too. Crash Bandicoot 1 was a hard game. Oh my god, I never even saw that horse and carriage. I am so glad I wasn't in the middle of the road there, because that would have been hella awkward. I'd have smashed straight into this. The Strawberry guys, does anybody think... See this place here, this town, it's called Strawberry, right? Does this... Oh, I could steal that wagon. Does anybody think that this area reminds... Does this remind you of River Run guys from Skyrim? to remember that let's talk to the reverend here can I do anything with you rejoice one rejoice all for we are saved or I am saved and you will be too if only you dedicate your life to service like me Join me in paradise, right here, right now. This can be paradise. In fact, it is. Stay strong. Come on. Crash 1 stream when? I don't think you guys want to see me play Crash 1. That is that is a bad time waiting to happen, guys. Mine's toxic waste purely for the music. Crime reported. I don't think we're going to get caught. I want to help you, sir, but I'm running from the law right now. Hey, we made it. When's this crime gonna fuck off? 
Can I just start fishing here? When's my crime gonna go away? Easy, easy. You have found a legendary fish location. Hell yeah, I did. Is this crime wanted shit gonna fuck off? Thank god. Do I actually have a bounty now? Could you perhaps be making that connection because of the river? Maybe. Yeah, we don't have a bounty in strawberry, thank god. Guess I'll have to stream it then, says Ollie. I do a crash stream, but only crash three. All about crash team racing, we've never played that before, Kappa. Um, Alright, sweet, we're here. You guys ready to catch another fish? Is that our legendary fish there? You guys are saying use the, the dead eye. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Right, we're here at the lake. We are going to use our lake lure. Special lake lure. And we are going to catch this little bad boy ASAP. You ready? Okay, okay, okay. Yay! Yeah. Here we go. I want to help you, but I'm running from the law. <laughs> Me and Jack aren't man enough. Okay. Oh my god, he's a big one, guys. Here we go. We got him, though. We're becoming a master of the fisherman ways. When I say a master, you know, sometimes we run into troubles like this. Fish got away. Feels bad, man. I don't even know what I did wrong there. Like, I did it, I wasn't reeling in when the fish was like tugging, so I don't know if that was just like. Do you know what? It's probably just because I said I was a master. Anyways, hope you're. Nope, you're being wusses. I'll try for Saturday, crash one insane stream, says Ollie. Cool, guys. Can do it, but it's the remastered. I'd love to see the OG says pure. I think I actually have crashed one on my PS3 saved. I would too, but my laptop does not handle emulators and recording well. Unless OBS can work nicely, we'll see. Oh, Alright. Maybe it's because I was pulling up on the rod? I don't know. I don't understand why that happens. I'm literally not pulling the fucking line in, bitch. I'm actually not even pulling it in. I don't understand. Is it because I'm moving the left analog stick? Okay. I don't know... Was that it there? I think it was over there. I don't know if that counts. Hmm. Love to, but my laptop, unless OBS can work nicely. Yeah, OBS is a good, good shout. OBS and my laptop don't get on. I don't know why this keeps happening. I'm not doing anything wrong. I don't know why it keeps doing this. I am literally holding in right click. I'm clicking in the R3 button. See this? I'm clicking in the R3 button when it's pulling. And I don't know why the fuck it keeps snapping the goddamn line. Why is that a thing? Because I'm not doing anything that would... I'm not, I'm not pulling on the rod. I'm not wheeling in. I'm not doing anything. 
I don't know why it keeps breaking. That's so fucking annoying. It's like, why would you even have rules if you don't follow them? Like... You moved the analog in the wrong direction. You still have to aim the fish when you're not reeling. What, with the right analog stick or the left? So, do I move towards it? Like this, when you pull away from it to stop it snapping, is that right? I think I did it right that time. This is a big boy. Look at the size of this fucker. Gotcha. Whew. Boy, damn well gotcha. <laughs> oh my lord, dude. This thing's a shark. Legendary smallmouth bass. Smallmouth? Are you kidding me? Alright. Come here, horse. I think I did it right at the end. Yeah, turn rods towards the fish. I think you have to turn it away from the fish, right? You have to pull, like if it's pulling to the left, you have to pull right to like keep it steady, right? I pulled away there and it seemed to work, but I don't know if... This is the shit I need to figure out. Uh, right, I need to go to the post office and hand this in. I thought I had to turn... So the game told me when the, when the fish is pulling away, like you have to pull away from it to stop it from going... The game taught me you have to pull away to stop it from, like, pulling the line out. Jack, you need to fish up Seedramon, then you can go to Beetle Land. Ah yes, the Seedramon memes. My favourite. So can we steal that guy's bounty? IRL you turn towards when it pulls away, it's just fighting. But is that not the point? You're trying to stop the line from like flying out when you pull away. Like you're trying to pull it closer to you even when it's like... I would understand like turning towards it because you're trying to make the line slack so that the line doesn't break. But I think in the game, I think you don't have to pull away. What I'll do is, when I continue to fish guys, I'll try out different things, I'll try pulling away, I'll try pushing towards. I think if you push towards the fish when it's tight on the line, it's, it's gonna let the fish get further away. But I don't, I don't know, honestly. Is this the, uh... Where's the post office, dude? Is the post office closed? Oh, this kind of shit annoys me, dude. Where is it? Is it because it's past the... Oh, he's right here. Hi. Hey there. You Hector? That's me. Alden tells me you're a discouraged man. What is this trash? Ah, you must be a friend of that Josiah Trelawney. <laughs> All right. In that case... I've got something I just want to send my fish in the mail, dude. A look at. Mm -hmm. Oh no, is this going to turn into something crazy? Coach robbery, tip $2, pay bounty, send mail. Thanks. Just let me get rid of the fish first. Send for $5. Right. I assume you didn't just pop in to say hello? Coach, tip $2. Mm. So guys, what is the worst, uh, which is, which was worst fishing? Digimon World, Pokemon, Final Fantasy 15 or Red Dead Redemption 2? There's Breath of Fire 2. Heading up from Blackwater. Now I hear it'll be heavily guarded, so you might want to... Or covert approach. Or lay down some explosives. <laughs> I don't know. 
You're the expert. Thank you, Hector. Appreciate it. You enjoy the rest of your day. We got a uh, spy on this as well. Look. Can I not look through the fucking window? I still can't spy through this window for some reason. Is it this one? For some reason, there's a question mark here for me to spy, but it never works. And I, I don't know if it's glitched or not. But it doesn't seem to work. Alright, bug it. Maybe it's because we're actually doing the, the stagecoach. So what is this, a robbery for a stagecoach? Down here. Stagecoach ambush. Sure, let's go do this. Are we doing this solo? I guess we're doing it solo, guys. We definitely want the... Uh, we want the carbine and I'll take the... Fucking double barrel also. You guys ready to rob a stagecoach? I don't know what my favourite, uh, or what the my least favourite fishing was in a game. I'd say in Red Dead it's insane, like, the fact that they have all these, like, extra mechanics built in, like hunting and fishing and dominoes and poker and blackjack, like, there's so much extra shit you can do in this game, it's so good. Slip it in an envelope and off it goes, yeah. I don't really understand Jesse, to be honest, but... Whatever. The mask too, yeah, I got the mask. I'm gonna put the mask on when we're close. Um, in fact, let's just do it now. Why did my hat just fly off? I put on the wrong mask? What is this fucking freaky shit? Get rid of that. Take it off! Right. This mask is the one I want. Right. I'd also like my hat back. That you fucking stole from me. Thank you! Oh my, that was so fucking difficult. Welcome back, Jesse. Hey, Jesse, what's up? Here we go. I don't know how this is gonna go down. I don't know how many guards there are, but we should be okay here. There's a uh, something or other here as well. Oh, is this the? Uh, wait for the stagecoach to arrive. I guess you want to be up on the hill here. I guess we could lay dynamite. Where's it coming from? That direction, I guess. Do I have to go closer? Alright. You can use L2 while unarmed to talk to the coach driver. I don't think we're gonna do that. I think we're just gonna blow up. Yo, Jesse coming in with the Twitch Prime. Jesse, you've already gifted today. Am I... Guys, I don't know if I'm trying to steal this or if I'm trying to, like, rob it. Because I didn't read any of the stuff. I think if I blow it up, we're doomed. So, I think I gotta, like... I think we just gotta gun these men down. I don't know if this is right or not. We'll see what happens now. Oh! Loot this cash from the back of the stagecoach. Uh, alright. We gotta get out of here soon. How much we get in, baby? Coach robbery, $100? It's not bad. Let's get out of here. The law is gonna be here ASAP. That wasn't that great. I was kinda hoping for more money, to be honest. I... Wanted dead or alive in this area, that's the thing that popped up. Right, I'm gonna go back to here. And check out whatever this is. We're gonna try and get out of here. If the law come from above us here, we're gonna be screwed, but I think we'll be alright. Hundred dollars is fine, I guess. Jesse, again, thank you uh, for the sub earlier and then for coming in with your own sub 
for uh, with Twitch Prime. You're insane. Thank you for using your Twitch Prime on us. Gotta get rid of this message, lol. You're a god, dude. Thank you. If you're smart enough, you can do it without pulling your gun. I see, I see. All right. Uh, let's go. All right, success. Jack, no sense of right or wrong. We don't even have to worry about it, guys. Honestly, I'm not about that worrying life. I'd rather just rob the coach, put these men into a deep sleep. That way they won't have to tell their bosses what went wrong. I'm kind of doing them a favor uh, in a weird sense. Mm -hmm. You're not even supposed to shoot stagecoach robberies or scams. Oh, I see. Well, it's also a Cowboy Western game, guys, and I'm pretty sure you're allowed to blow their heads off if you want to. I thought that was kind of fun, but next time I'll try and sweet talk them, okay? I'll, uh, I'll try and sweet talk them next time, chat, I promise. Don't don't worry about it. The fuck was that noise? This is a long ass train. Can I, uh. Oh, choo choo. We could try and get our bird shots from a moving train. That would have been the best train to do it on. Interesting. Okay, don't want to get distracted. I'm so easily distracted, so we're going to go this way. That's why they use Trelawney to introduce them. I see. Well, next time, guys. We'll know for next time, okay? Don't worry about it. So I was listening to my iPod the other day, and this one song with the Tony Hawk's uh, Pro Skater 2 comes on, and I chuckled. Then at the point in the song, inspired by Jack, I was saying, I take a giant leak. I take a giant leak. I take a giant leak. What? I take a giant leak. What? I love it, Ollie. Excellent. I'm glad. I take a giant leak. <laughs> What's this man doing? I'm getting distracted. Let's go. Alright. Next time, next time, roll to seduce. <laughs> Guys, we have had so many subs today. Thank you to everybody who's contributed. Um, anybody who chooses to help us out. That's insane. Love you guys lots. I know I talk about it all the time, and I don't mean to be a, a broken record, but I appreciate all the subs. So thank you. You're too kind. Love you, Jess. Right. Stranger. Just don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. That bird. Tomahawk material right there. I don't have any tomahawks though. Feels bad, man. Hello, stranger. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. No problem. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. Alright. I ain't got time for No, well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Yes. Maximo Cristobal Valdez. Oh, Maximo Cristobal, yes. Cristobal. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate some of the Viceroy of the Trade Federation. Mountains ...and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Well, well good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall is. Hey, oh, look at this guy. Of, me, Much appreciated, uh, Jesse. Thank you. Well, uh, rumor has it they bury gold somewhere. When they the raid off the chick, you the break the lock. Ah, I see. Two maps to Thanks, Dusty. I got you, man. This is the first I'll try next time. I promise. You just need to slowly load revolver as he talks. Uh huh. Uh huh. Keep going. Hey. Buck yes. says, "I'm from India." You beautiful, beautiful man, now, Buck. But Do you know this? Do you know this man? A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. McDave says, watching you play the story got me into getting those uh, 70 gold medals to become Legend of the West. Since online is getting a hold, uh, getting to a hold again, waiting on the new season pass. Well, MK Dev, I'm appreciating that, dude. And it's yours. We could just rob them, right? Let's just buy it. Do we rob or do we, do we buy, guys? You must well, think I was born yesterday. No, I want it. <clears throat> Between us, this map has proven a challenge even for me. So, 
How about I sell it to you for just five dollars? <laughs> sure. Five dollars. I'll take it. We haggled them down five bucks, but it's by waiting. Excellent. I don't think you will regret it. Thanks. You have a good day, sir. Have a good life. Watch out for any uh, dynamite that may come your way. Dude, how clumsy, dude. Just like the tomahawk from earlier. The dynamite slipped straight out of my little paw there. Right in it. Dude, it even blew me off my feet. Are you okay? You alright, young man? Oh, shit, dude. That's the last time he's ever going to meet the Viceroy. Maximo. Oh, my dude. I'm so sorry. It was such a... I just take that $5.60 back? You picked up pomade. Use it to grease your hair. I think I might. Come on, Maximo. I got you, buddy. You just come with me. I'm gonna look for your treasure, Maximo. But first, you gotta take a little tumble off the cliff, my dude. Alright, it was nice knowing you, bud. <laughs> you alright there? <laughs> you alright then there? Holy shit, dude. I wonder if he had anything else on his saddlebags. This horse can't kick me. Can I look? Okay. I'm so clumsy, honestly, guys. Sometimes the, these things just they just slide right on out my hands, dude. I, I, I don't even know what happens. I don't know what comes over me. Right. So, we've got a new treasure map, and we do yet still have to find treasure. Oh, shit. No, I don't want that. Um, ba 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 So, I wonder if we can go into our inventory. We've, had some pre we've all had some premature ejaculation issues. Okay, it turned out a little bit weird, Jesse, but okay. Um, right, okay. Moving on. Maps. Treasure maps. No. Treasure maps? Treasure maps. The Jack Hall gang map. Let's have a look, guys. Alright, it's kind of dark. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Um, so, there's a camp down by the river. And, what, there's like these kind of... I wonder if I can see that from the cliff I'm at. There's these two sticky out dicks that stick up. And we have to go up on the hill. There's a camp down by the river. Well, we kind of saw... Are, can we see those two dick-shaped pillars from here? We were up on this cliff. Oh, God. Dick-shaped pillars, where are you? Oh, I see them. There they are there. Right? Guys, is that our two dicks? I think it is, right? Big dick and little dick sticking out is back to front from the map. What do you guys think? Jink that's us? Jink that's us on, on track there? But like, the hill's back to front, so we need to be on the other side. It's fucking so dark, I can't see a goddamn thing. So, that's the two cocks of the west, yes. Right, I think then, so with that in mind, where the fuck is that? What way am I facing, dude? Wait, am I not looking out across the... Wait, what? Why is my marker facing that way? Is it because... Oh, because my guy's turned around. Hold on, I need to face in that direction, so I'm pointed in the right way. A little bit to the... Uh... We go across the river to... Let's just get a little bit closer. I'm just going to travel on my horse towards that, actually. I'm not even going to bother with the markers. We're just... We know... We see the dicks. We can't lose the dicks. So we just travel there. We should be fine. It's not exactly very bright for treasure hunting, but I haven't actually found any treasure yet, so let's get it done. Coughs and fruit. Right, let's go. On on the hunt for the great dicks and the treasure involved. I'm gonna stay this side of the river. I think we're gonna be golden, guys. <laughs> the rock hard dicks is dusty. Now you are just making it weird again, chat. Okay, listen. There's a line. We call it we call it the tin around here. You cross the line, the banner goes in the tin. But I do think these are the rock hard dicks that we're looking for, which is really helpful. How do I get my booty up on the rocks though? We have to go on the other side. Um let's see if we can't find the way up here. We're on the wrong side, so I think we just go So you're not gonna So you're not gonna do anything silly that I'm gonna regret here, right? Okay, hey, this looks good. This looks good. 
a right. So here we are at Dick City Central. No, I don't want to smoke a cigar. Right, we're smoking a cigar now. Not intentional, but okay, that was kind of cool. Right, um, treasure maps. Is it? Do we go up this ridge here? There's an arrow pointing to the front face of the rock. We have to go up the back and then come down the path. Sue, I think we're on to something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off Sue. Sue's gonna get me in trouble. We go up the back end of the arse, and there should be a path coming down. That's a path up here and down. A O A O. Wait a minute, is this what we need? What in the name of fuckery, dude? There's a little rock path over there. Is that it? Why have we got our gun out? Put the gun away. We're not shooting anyone up here. This is the path. This is it. We found it. We fucking found it. Chat. I never really considered myself a treasure hunter before, but today that all changes. I'm so glad we didn't bring Sue up here. What in the name of fuck is this? You never told me about this obstacle. What's my, what's my jump button? Is it square? Okay. Holy f There better be some decent ass shit in this box, I'll fucking tell you. What the fuck is this? Search. Sue? What are you doing? Oh, hey, baby, what is this? What have we got? Inspect the document in a pearl necklace. Oh, no. Oh, I want to inspect the document. Jack Hall, gang map 2. Oh my god, it's a fucking lead to another. Explorer 2, treasure found. We did it, guys. Where the fuck is this? Item log request. Oh, it's a necklace for a douchebag. I can't, I don't know what this means. I can't see shit. Is that like, so there's an area where there are like little puffs of fire? And there's a square where the third puff, the fourth puff, the fourth puff should be. And that's where the treasure is. It's next to like a little box. Can we see that from where we are? How the fuck do I get off of here? This is dangerous. It's going to be okay, chat. Don't worry. We can make the jump. It's going to be fine. I'm not nervous. And before he falls off the mountain. I'm not going to fall off the mountain. We're too clever for that. Whew, I wasn't scared. Were you guys scared? Whew. All right. Sue, what the fuck? Did Sue, where are you? Meanwhile, Sue rolling down the mountain. Do you guys think that, like... I'll tell you what, guys. Hold on. We're going to camp here. Is there anything... Oh, look. Wait a minute. V uh, can we climb over this? So what are you doing, you mad fucking horse bitch? Examine plant. American ginseng. Give me some of that good shit. I think we have to eat these as part of our uh, herbivore quest. Used to craft items, blah, blah, blah. Right, can we just camp up here? I don't know where this is going to put me. I don't know if we can see that point from where we are. If we could see that point and we could get there, I think we could find the next part of the, the treasure, but I don't know if we will. Let's sleep until the morning. Meanwhile, <laughs> after all this, I hope you find the Fables first edition at Tamagotchi. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe. Do you think from that point up on the hill we should have been able to see the next part? Or Jenk, it's completely uh, irrelevant. Tear down. No, no, no. Tear down the camp, please. We don't need to stay here any longer. Would uh, Mr. Wolfjob, do you still play D&D? &D? Asked Vince. Uh, we're on a bit of a hiatus right now, but I like to think, yeah, we're still playing D&D. &D. We haven't played since before Christmas, though. So, yeah, there's that. Um, does that mean we've saw that and like got rid of rid of it, or I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, guys, I don't know if we... Now that it's sunny, I should actually be able to inspect my map. Where the fuck could this be? There's, like, water pools with little stumps. I don't know where this is. Uh, unless those are marked on the map somewhere. Can we see anywhere where that would be? Because, well, I'll tell you what, right? See over there in the horizon? There is actually smoke. But I don't know if that's like a camp or a volcano. I don't know if it's close or if it's like miles away. Shit. Obviously the camp moved my position. I think I was actually over there. Yeah, I was over on that cliff side. So, we have been shunted a little bit. Look for the springs to find it. We could look for somewhere on the map with the name springs and then head for it. Is there springs marked anywhere close by? Painted something, Dakota River, the ranch, Cottage Ridge, Lucky's Cabin, Farm, Rise, Cattail Pond, Diablo, Robe, Timber, House, View. Um, I don't know if we've been anywhere with springs yet, guys. But we could keep an eye out for them for sure in the future. Twin Stack Pass, Citadel Rock, what is that? Cornwall, Firewood Rise, Lucky's Cabin again. Cabin, cabin, cabin. It kind of looks like it would be down in this direction, to be honest. Fort Wallace is still red. I haven't dealt with Fort Wallace yet. Could it be down here, like somewhere in the kind of... There are puffs of steam, not smoke, north. Um, I don't know, guys. It could be miles away, it could be close. I don't see anywhere called springs. There's springs here, actually. Could it be Katora Springs? What do you guys think? Is it worth an investigation? It's quite far away. Sue, come here, you daft bastard. Hmm. We could continue to look. I think we find the springs, we find the treasure easily enough. Alright. This will be the last thing we do today, I think, guys. Might even use the camp to fast travel back to the, uh... Oh, Mrs. Wolfie's actually on her way home. Hmm. What to do, what to do. We're here in Valentine. I wonder if we can see uh, the cabin guy. Where's the cabin guy? He's around here somewhere, right? The log cabin? Oh, wait, is that it? Where's the guy that was building his home? The lumber dude. Is that is that over here? I know it's around about Valentine somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh, is this it? I think I found it. Can we approach this gentleman? That's a fine looking home. Hello. Morning, dear. Morning, sir. Just wish today was over already. Oh, I'm sorry for you. Yeah, but like, what about the dude that I gave him the lumber for? Jesse says, right, I'm off to prepare for Thai box and have a nice corona-free day, y'all. Thanks, Jesse. I will try my absolute best to make that a thing. There's Jesse. Have you found any creepy dismembered corpses anywhere, says Joe. Yeah, I found two. I found one of under the railway quite close to Valentine. There's one directly over there. 
and I also found one next to the Braithwaite property. But I didn't know what to do with the corpses. I just I just saw them chained up with writing next to them both times. I don't know if I'm supposed to interact with them or Hang on a second there, friend. I have zero interest in speaking yeah. to you. I just want to brush my horse. I'm not going in to see your shitey show. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Onwards, gang. Onwards. Uh... I've got a good feeling about the springs, guys. We just need to triangulate our location, find the, the three of them, and then we'll find the treasure in the last spot. Interact with them? You can find their heads nearby. Oh shit, I didn't know that. I did try interact. I went, so the first time we found one, I tried to interact with it. I used my, like, my investigation fucking mode, you know, the, uh, this, the kind of tracking mode. I did kind of interact with it, but like, it, I don't know if it did anything. You doing some treasure hunts? Yeah, Andy, we are, yeah. Um, this is kind of awkward. Okay, don't know if I really wanted to come that way, but whatever, we we'll go past it. Yeah, we are. We're on the Jack Gang treasure hunt. Uh oh, I went the wrong way. Don't make me pay the price suit. Nice, some of them are pretty hard. Uh, I'm stuck on the fourth or the fifth one, says Andy. Not sure which. I don't want to YouTube it and spoil it. Yeah, no, I get you. The first one was okay. We saw the, the peak of the rock pretty easily. And this one's at the springs, apparently. So we're going to go and have a look in the only place I've found on the map called Springs and hope the fuck it's the right place. If it's not the right place, then we're probably just going to leave it for another time, but I will try and kind of stay on the trail if I can. We're having to go quite far to get to this place, though. I hope it works out for us. <laughs> we're looking for our own treasure. <laughs> I know it's around here somewhere. I left it here somewhere safe in the woods where I wouldn't lose it. Classic. Like all these little bridges. Out in the middle of nowhere. Oh fuck. Those boys look like they were in a hurry. Alright. I won't tell you where it is. Oh shit. Dude, every time in this game I take my eyes off of the chat for one second, my horse instantly rears towards the nearest cliff. Or the nearest train. Or the nearest fucking cab, like, carriage. Every time. Alright, so... The springs. Oh, the treasure's right here in front of us then, right? Because there's the three points. Look, one, two, three. There's, they make a square and the treasure's at the fourth point. So I think the treasure's right over here. I think it's at one of these rocks. Is it here? Oh, wait a minute. Give me it. Fucking give me it. Hell yeah, dude. That was not too bad at all, guys. Nice. Good job on the shout on the springs, by the way. Excellent day. Three maps. Yes, I got what I paid for. All right. Explorer four, find the treasure. You've unlocked the new reinforced equipment at the trapper. All right, treasure map three. Is this the last one? So there's a giant rock with a lake, with a tree in the center of it. Oh, you guys told me about a lake. Could that be like here or some shit? Could be that close, right? There's a lake, a, a lake with a tree in the center. It could be the pond. Could be here. Back bros, hey, welcome back, Steve. Do you want some help or would you rather do it alone? You guys can pitch in for sure. Is Do you think it's somewhere as close as this, guys? Have a look around a little, wait before you leave the springs. It could be any of these ponds, right? Let's have a look, because there's a couple of bits of water here. With a mountain in the background. Uh, come here, horse. Yep. 
So that's too small. You've entered the legendary animal territory. I have. What's here? Oh, the legendary wolf. Holy shit, well we can't leave without fucking checking that shit, right? I'll grab a rifle and counter around just a little. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's uh... Yeah, these are just the springs. Okay. So what I can do is I can take that off. Oh, the legendary wheel's right here on our right hand side, look. On our left, rather. Okay. You guys want to hunt some fucking wild legendaries? Let's fucking do it, lads. I am going to keep the double barrel shotgun close because I really... Dude, I actually just think the fucking spring erupted next to me and it actually made me shit myself. I'm gonna clean the double barrel just in case. Thought you might peak. Thought it might peak your interest. Hell yeah! All right, let's get this up a little bit. Increase our rate of fire, our reload speed, just in case two shots isn't enough. But I think we're gonna be able to snipe this with the rolling, the rolling rifle. Right. What else we got here? Long. No, 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 no. That needs to change. So Sue, we need the. Probably. I think we want the rolling block, dude. Rolling block is actually insane. Some nasty, nasty damage on this bad boy. Right, Sue, so I am gonna go hunting. You just stay right here, my dude. Um, stay. Right, so if I don't come back, the wolf ate me. Okay. Here we go. Alright. Oh. Alright, let's go. Here we go, guys. That is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Oh fucking hell dude, every time, every time he starts running, it literally almost cancels the trail. I think you have to do this nice and slowly, I'm very impatient, honestly. Alright, two quests, we need one more and then the wolf will be in front of us. This way. Alright, let's go. Over there. If you lose those trails, don't worry, you can always pick it back up. I've lost a trail before and, and the animal fled and I, I lost the opportunity to get it. Okay. It should be close, right? I don't want to be attacked by it. Because this rifle is good at range, but it's not good at, like, close range. Oh my god, is that him? I think that was him. I think that was our man. Legendary Wolf, you were a lot darker than I was expecting, my dude. But you are a big boy. Whew. Right in the fucking eye. He was, uh, he took a headshot and kept going, dude. He took a headshot from the express fucking bullet. Legendary Wolf heart. Nice. Gathered up enough to make the wolf drink it. Nice. Cool. So I think, guys, based on all of our understandings, I think we're looking for a pond. So, like, see this? Or like this? You see how this is like a body of water with, like, an island in the middle? This is where we want to check for, like, the, uh... I think that's the kind of place we want to check, right? Like this? That's potentially where our, uh... Our treasure could be? Are you sure you're not looking for an ocean? <laughs> Shut your goddamn mouth, Tori. Right, uh, let's put this on the horsey. I'm also going to pick up the fucking legendary wolf if I can. I mean, as well. Might make a good dinner. Come on, legendary wolf. There can only be two of us. Or, well, there's only enough space in this game for one of us. Okay, this is not you, my dude. Uh, Sue, you can have this. 
All right, let's go. I am going to try and investigate this and see if it's the right place. We're looking for a pond, like a body of water, a circular body of water with a with an island in the middle, and this place has one of those, so um, if it's not that, I guess it could be like any pond with like an island, but that one's probably the closest. That one is a pond, but it doesn't have an island. It could be Barrow Lagoon as well, or Lake Isabella. Could be either one of these. Hmm. What other identifiable features have we got on the map for the, the water? Maybe I can actually just narrow down before I even look in this area. Um, treasure maps. Gang 3. What the fuck, dude? Um. It looks kind of circular. With a spiky rock behind it, three peaks on the rock. Does this look kind of... Does that look roughly what, what, what we want? That doesn't look really look circular to me. This is more circular. I think this is our spot. I'm going to get rid of this. What do you guys think? Does that make a bit more sense, guys? It's also kind of up in this, this kind of part of the map. I'm gonna go this way. All he says, hey people back, just been testing OBS and I think I've worked out a decent setup for playing Crash 1, might give it a test run later tonight. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Alright, I don't know if we're in the right place guys, but we'll, we'll do a little check around anyway. When we go to the trapper guys, I can buy new tomahawks to try and take down our uh, birds of prey as well for our challenge, our uh, hunting challenge. Good luck, Ollie. Thanks, Jesse. Gotta go to work first, but we'll see how it all goes. Hell yeah. Nice one, dude. What what job is it we're working tonight, Ollie? It's not the factory shift, is it? You must have a short one if you're planning a stream after it. Can you answer if you know the answer? Well, tell me, Joe. Are we heading in the right direction, yes or no? Or tell me if we're getting warmer or colder, I guess. I don't know if this is right or not. Screw fix. Okay, Roger, Roger. I guess we could save ourselves some time if it's not the right place, but I'll check it anyway. Yeah. We got up as our trapper now that we've got the wolf with us as well. That lake is frozen. As in, colder, colder, we're not going to the right place. What about Lake Isabella? Because it's in ice territory, I guess. So are we going to the wrong place? Fuck. Were we right off going to the first bit, guys? Was okay, was this the was this a bit warmer? What do you guys think? Do we do we like the look of this place more? It's got to be somewhere with an island. And not a big one. There's only a couple of bodies of water that we can see on the map that have islands. Pull there. Yes. Alright, the delay is not going to help things out here, Joe. Do you mean as in... I don't know what that yes was an answer to. I know I asked you a bunch of questions there. I need like a full... Warmer... Uh, when the uh, Warmer than the springs were, says Dave. So, we ignore this then. And go back to... This one? You guys fancy this? Right, I'm gonna head back this way. You guys tell me if that's a mistake or not. I need full sentences though for your with your advice because there's a delay in the chat. I ask you guys a question and then I get like answers like 40 seconds later, 30 seconds later. I'm gonna head back the way. Let's go. Maybe we can do cinematic mode. 
Maybe make things easier. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Must be weird with like, just like, uh, you know if you had like a, a guy flying past on a horse at like in the middle of nowhere, he's just got a skinned huge wolf on his back, on the back of his horse. You would just know either one, that guy's a massive baller gangster, or two, he might be a witch. <laughs> the fuck is this? It doesn't even look like a wolf, dude, like, it literally looks like a pig. The size of this motherfucker. Some creepy ass shit. Cinematic mode for watching your carcass slowly decay? Never, dude. This wolf is gonna fetch a premium at the market. Sorry, I'm watching on a tablet. No, listen, Joe, listen, mate. I gotta tell you right now, don't ever apologize, okay? If I appear slightly um, forward or, you know, I'm not trying to be rude. So, I watch a lot of streamers on my phone at night when I'm lying in my bed or if I'm on the couch eating a snack or I watch streamers on my phone all the time and I know the pain of trying to communicate something with the streamer on your mobile phone. For some reason mobile is so much more delayed than just the PC is or like a laptop for example, right? I was uh, every every single time I communicate with J-Bob on like a 40 second delay, the poor man answers all my questions but I'm like so behind in the chat so that when I write something he gets it so late and he's just like, dude what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> every time. <laughs> yeah. It's it's bizarre, so don't worry about it, guys. Watching on a tablet's kind of sexy, though. Not gonna lie, I I had the iPad 2 at one point. I got it discounted from somewhere. I think I got it like, I think I, I bought it off someone at my dad's work or something, right? It was like, oh no, wait, actually, I think it may have been Mrs. Wolfie. Mrs. Wolfie got it from someone, and then I bought it from her, or some shit. It was like refurbished or something. I loved it, dude. I loved having an iPad. It was. It was pretty cool. Um, oh, my horse is actually like hardcore dying here. Uh, so we gotta feed you real quick if we want to uh, get you there in one piece. How about that? There you go. Let's go. See these flowers? Can I eat those? No. I'm pretty sure I'm in the wrong bit. Sorry. Progress. I think we've been eating quite a lot of like random ass bits of. How have we not done this yet? Four species, four berry species? Not even found one apparently. I've been eating everything I find, by the way. Everything on the ground, I've been like, like some sort of monkey, some sort of rabid fucking animal. I'm eating all these like herbs, hoping to get my challenge and I haven't even fucking progressed in it at all. That's fucking depressing. Funny enough, my phone is less behind than my laptop, says Jesse. Well, there you go. Both are behind, though. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Don't worry about it. Sometimes I find that uh, the different qualities of... Sometimes your, like, your quality, depending on what you're watching, like, if you're watching HD, it normally buffers a lot faster than, like... Somebody's fucking following me. Leave me alone. I will fucking blow you up with dynamite, my dude. He's still talking to me. Do you guys can you guys hear him? Yo, Lucy, what's up? <laughs> How's it going? Crazy Lucy. Oh, welcome, Lucy. It's been a while. How you doing? Alright, we're not gonna die here. We're not gonna die. Later's Ollie, I miss you already. This is Vince. Okay folks, gonna head off to work. I'll see y'all later. Ollie, you've been amazing today. Thank you for hanging. Hope the shift goes fast. And if you are streaming Crash Bandicoot later, I'll try and catch it. And if I miss you, then know that I love you. Arthur exuding some strong goblin energy. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, sometimes if you watch on HD on a tablet it, or like a phone, it, it tends to buffer faster than like the, the other versions for some bizarre reason. I'm alright, how are you? Yeah, I'm awesome. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Uh, I've only been eaten twice today by a, by a panther, so other than that, my, oh wait, actually I died to a horse kick. I've died three times today, which is actually absurd, because we've went a whole week without encountering anything seriously problematic in this game, but the panthers were a nightmare earlier. The panthers were a nightmare. Oh, dude, this is it, guaranteed. This is our, this is our point, right? We gotta get over to the lake, though. 
We got any boats maybe? There is a boathouse around that side. Maybe we can take a boat across. Or we could swim it. Um Oh that's a little pink fish. Is this Hello Lucy, thank you for the host. Did you guys see the little pink fish there? That was cute. That was cool. Running around and eating random garbage, he finds like a go Oh, I see goblin energy. Yeah, now that makes sense. I I'm just gonna uh, dude. There is a bolt house. I think I just fucking leg it, dude. I don't think I can drown, and I don't think I can be eaten by anything, so I'm just going to swim. This should be fine. I hope those aren't piranhas. I'm alright. Take care, Ollie. <laughs> alright, I'm, cl I'm climbing, I'm climbing. Alright. Done. Last treasure, treasure trove. What we got, baby? How much money is that? Two gold bars. Hey. Nice. We did it. Cool, cool, cool. You can swim, yeah. Famous last words. Explorer 4 treasure found. Wait, why am I dying? You can rest by holding triangle. Well, that won't be necessary. That killed me, dude. I almost died. Alright, we're gonna eat some plain big game. I actually think that was the last food I had. Let's go to the trapper, guys. Um, where is the nearest trapper from here? Oh, it's actually really close. That's excellent. Uh, can I get across this place faster? No. Your stamina core is empty. That's alright, we got a horse then. Uh, I'm gonna go up this way. <gasps> Onwards. Okay, good. You're on the same map as me now. Nice one. That was alright. We narrowed down the uh, the pools pretty quickly, which was good. I'm glad you guys gave me the heads up about the uh, the frozen lake. That made a lot of sense, actually. I never even considered that it was far enough north that it might be in snow territory and ice territory. Is the one... Dude. Watching you on my new TV. Hey, nice. How to look on your new TV, Lucy? I hope the uh, I hope the quality is all right. Oh, I just pulled something in my neck. What the fuck was that? Oh god, that was uncomfortable. I just got a spasm of pain behind my left shoulder blade. What the fuck was that? All right, we're gonna try and not kill ourselves when on on route to the trapper. The quality of the TV is good, at least. <laughs> What about the uh, the ginger fella that talks pish and swears far too much on the TV? How's he? Is, is he looking all right? Extra dumbass. All right. I think I just ran over a squirrel. Do, do, do. Vince, I never told you this, but you know when you were streaming the other night and you were like, I said, hey, your little area looks cozy that you're camping in streaming, Vince. You're like, oh, I'm actually in my kitchen. I thought you were trolling, dude, but then when he actually pulled back the blankie, he was sitting in his kitchen. I was like, this legend, dude. Wait, hold on. What the fuck? Look at the state of this tree. How can there be a tree that looks like that? What the fuck? I don't doubt there is a tree that looks like that somewhere in the world, but what the fuck? Witchcraft. But yeah, Vince, I thought it was funny. You pulled back the cover. You actually did look like you were sitting in some sort of cozy little den. And you were like, no, I'm actually just in my kitchen. <laughs> it was great. Uh, hello, Master Trapper. I would like to sell to you, please. I'm selling my dude. Legendary wolf pelt, take it away. Legendary wolf carcass, $23. Boom. Steelhead trout. Uh, I'm going to keep the rest of it. I would like to also buy from you. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Exactly. I would like to buy a gun oil so. and tomahawks. I wish I could carry more tomahawks. There's maybe something I can buy that would actually improve that. Is there like a tomahawk belt or some shit? Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes Get off your horse and go up to the tree. Get off. Why would it be trolling about my kitchen? Never joke about my kitchen. 
Kappa. Um, I'll go with the tree in a minute, Andy. Trophy buck. Look at all these sick fucking bits of gear. Oh, look at that one. That one's funny. Legendary elk gloves. Oh, <gasps> wow. The stalker. These actually are the like some of the best outfits in the game, dude. Some of these are really cool. That one's sweet, the Night Wrangler. Right, you know what? Just get me away. Reinforced equipment. Horseman holster. Uh, bandito. Right, you know what? Just it's fine. Jack, you have to dress as a furry now. Well, I mean, if you guys want furry, we haven't been Captain Bandito Beaver in a while. What do you guys think about Captain Bandito the Beaver Lord? Andy, you were saying go up to the tree. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't feel... Guys, when I'm running about in this game, I feel like 90% on fleek. But when I put the beaver hat on, we're at least 200%. What's... Oh, inspect the tree, Andy, you were genius! Fail tree. What the fuck? What's the point of that? He just... He just sketched the tree? I... Right. Okay. Alright, okay. Alright. Okay. Clemens Point. We're gonna go to the... Where was the uh, the fence that was right about here? Isn't there a fence? This guy. That's quite the journey, but we can do it. That's adorable. That tree is a misplaced Tetris piece. Bum 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 all right, we're gonna make ourselves a trinket, guys. I don't know what the legendary wealth, uh, wealth. I don't know what the legendary wolf trinket is gonna buy us, bring us, but we'll check out when we get there. Oh, you haven't inspected much, have you? I mean, I didn't know I could inspect half the shit in the game. I, when I saw the dodgy tree, I did not assume that I could inspect and I don't know why you would want to scribble down a picture of a, a squint tree, but I mean, Apparently you can. Apparently you can. Do, 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 do. The only thing I have... So, right now, guys, I'm feeling pretty pleased with how the playthrough is going. It's fairly chill. We're accomplishing a wide variety of, like, side quests while also doing the main quest. And I feel like I'm enjoying it, right? There's one thing... What's wrong, dude? Are you okay? Hey there, mister. Why, hey there. I feel like I'm. There's one thing on my bucket list I'm going to talk to you about in a minute. Nature's gift to us all focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Right. That's interesting. Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Why? Well, shit. Thanks, I guess. Cool. So there's a little tobacco area. That's cool. Yo, Juan, what's up? Welcome, welcome back. If your controller is vibrating, the game wants your wants to have your attention. Sometimes it's because you stomp a squirrel, but it could be something very interesting. You know what? Sometimes I had this I had this discussion earlier, Joe. Right? Um, I said that. At one point, I think it was yesterday, well not yesterday because I wasn't streaming yesterday, but the day before, I did feel a vibration in my controller and I was like, guys, something's going on. And people in the chat were like, yeah, it means something's around, but I didn't fully appreciate what, like, what it was supposed to be. Um, which is intriguing. Uh, where is Valentine, by the way? All the way over there. 
I know there's one of those carcasses in Valentine hanging from the tree and I was gonna go back and inspect that again and see if I could find the head that you guys were talking about. You know the dismembered men that are like chained up. You guys said there was a head close by that I could find. I did actually look around for shit when I was inspecting it. And the, at the time the chat were like, oh it's just something like an easter egg, you don't actually do anything. But I guess I was wrong. I'll keep an eye out for more vibrating controller things in the future guys. And we'll, we'll have a little hunt for stuff, okay? I will f I will be a bit more patient with stuff. Dude, why are we going so fucking goddamn slow, horse? Is it because it's windy? Alright, so like right there. Right there, my controller pulsed. Is it to do with the shed? Hey, Mrs. Wilfie, you alright? How's things? Not yet, no. We're doing chicken salad tonight. Alright, okay. Okay, cool. Sweet. That looks like a cigarette card. Hell yeah. We're gonna take this. Damn. Oh. Cool. That's for a person in our town. Cool. Hey now, you guys are clever. Hi Mrs. Wolfie. <laughs> I think that's what was pulsing my controller, I think, right? Unless there was something else weird. Yeah, like my controller is still... It's still doing things. I, I get little pulses there. Oh wait, inspect the site. Is he gonna doodle in his book again? Ah, he does this from time to time. So does this do anything? Here, that empty town I found. Interesting. Is there any benefit to that kind of shit, guys? This is a bit weird. Ill with sin. Oh, we can't go in there. Somebody must have been doing bad things in there. You can inspect and sketch. Yeah. Pretty un unusual. What does this say? Stay out, plague. Cool. I am going to keep my... I was going to say eye open, but I'll keep a feel out for the controller buzzing in the future, guys. You can inspect and sketch. Sweet! We've well, got a couple of things to give back at camp now as well, which is pretty cool. That's where we're at in our honour level, guys. Normally we build up honour pretty easily, but then I end up blowing someone up with dynamite and losing honour quite, quite quickly, so... We're kind of maintaining it while also not being a completely good Samaritan. I haven't done a lot of my bandit challenges, that's probably going to lose me a lot of honour. But we can have a look at that at some point. Maybe we could do that last, I don't know. Vince, now you've got the fucking Tetris song stuck in my noggin, dude. <laughs> say, uh, say to her for on me. Uh, I will, guys. If she comes back in, she's probably making her dinner just now. But if she comes back, I'll tell her you guys said hi. I promise. Um. All right. Is the fence? Of course, it's not fucking available. Is that because it's too late? Oh, 
Right, let's set up the camp then. You need to watch a vid called Tetris God. I could. I might. Who knows? What is this? Night, uh, morning, noon. Let's sleep till noon. Fuck it. Let's see what this does. One says, where are you from? Well, one, if you're, yeah, yeah, one. I remember finding out that you were from Chile, one. I remember you told me that. All of my information, guys, about me in the stream is all below the, uh, all below the stream. But if you must know, and don't know already, I'm from Scotland. Yo, is that, is that the Meek, guys? Is that lol Meek in the chat? Can we get some fucking love for lol Meek? Dude, that is a god right there. Alright, mate. Is this game worth it? Was thinking about buying it. Meek, I think this game is insane, dude. You, you would be playing it on PC, right, dude? The Meek? Yeah, dude, the very same. The man, the myth, the legend. I love this game, Meek. I went into it having not played Red Dead 1. I played a little, little tiny bit of Red Dead 1. Played a bunch of GTA games in the past, right? Played Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 5, right? Like some of them, didn't like the others so much, right? But this game has been top notch. Like, really fucking good. There is so much effort involved. Um, I wait, it came on sale for me on PlayStation 4. And I got like the ultimate edition for like thirty quid. I I think it's fantastic. If you Meek, you know how you kind of felt when you played The Witcher, right? It's very similar to how it feels playing this game. It's very very good, man. I think you'll like it for sure. Well, yeah, I'm no a bit of console gamer, am I? <laughs> nah. I own it, but I have not played it yet, says Crazy Lucy. This game is really good, guys. There's a lot of value here. There's a lot of effort put in. The game looks phenomenal. I think you'll have a blast playing it, Meek. You're just lying now. Nothing is as good as The Witcher. The game is very good, Meek. You try it and play it for yourself. There's so much stuff to do in the game that you can get easily sidetracked, but even the main story missions are really good fucking fun. Really good fun. I I would highly recommend this game. How much is it on PC right now? Have you actually looked into seeing how much it costs? Tell me how much it is, and then I'll tell you if I think it's worth. But I highly recommend it, Meek. I think you'll have a blast with it, my dude. Fuck, 55 quid? Hmm. Hmm. Dude, why- Guys, why can't I visit the fucking fence right now? I just want to sell them my fucking shit. Why is nobody here? Hello? What's going on? This is annoying as- as fuck. I've been too busy playing The Witcher, funnily enough. How are you finding The Witcher crazy, Lucy? Worth every penny and more, says Joe. Yeah, this game is a really good fucking effort. I... Oh, dude, the whole town is unlock. Is that... Uh, that's not because it's, like, a weird time of the day, is it? To do with the fact that there's drama going on in this town. Motherfucker, dude. Am I really gonna have to go over here? This was not my. This was not part of my plan. I think we should go here and then fast travel to the camp to come back. Hey, Aqua, welcome back. Gerald would ride Roach here to catch himself some treasures. Uh, treasures for sure. Come on, Roach. I mean, just if this is how good the game looks on console, Meek, and you're also watching it through a stream, so there's a bit of quality lost there as well, right? Imagine how good this is. This fucker's gonna look on PC. Mhm. Mm I play Ori and Hades for now and wait till it's on sale, says Meek. Sounds like a sensible plan, my dude. Maybe you can check out some gameplay or some reviews, but I think that a lot of the reviews on this game are going to be, like, really fucking good. I would be surprised if there was uh, a lot of people that disliked this game. It's really, really insane. Like, see here, right? This area here freaks me the fuck out because there's fucking alligators, dude. There's literal alligators that fuck you up if you go too close to the water. Hey, back and also home, says Aqua. Nice. Quest. Must be quest related, yeah. I think the fence is on lock. The, the whole town's on lock. Yeah, I've seen a few people say that the first 15 hours is amazing and then it gets a bit stale. So, my honest opinion is the first five hours of the game are pretty slow and then it fucking explodes. That's how I would describe it. I, I played the start of this game and I thought it looked good, but it was also kind of like, ah. There's a couple of things that pissed me off at first. Like, I kept having issues trying to get the right guns off my horse. 
um, I would not know how to access certain menus or do certain abilities or things like that. There's a lot of complexity to all the different things you can do, right? And I was getting a bit confused with some stuff, but once I get the hang of that, once I understood a lot of the mechanics, um, it, get, it gets really fucking good. So I would say the start of the game is a bit slow. A couple of people told me the start of the game was a bit slow. That's an alligator, dude. Oh, it's his, it's his face. It's just the head sticking out of the water, dude. It's kind of freaky. I'm obsessed with the alligators. It's like a kind of uh, a facet, like a horrific fascination. I bet you there's a king alligator. I'm not gonna fucking hunt that shit. Mhm. Mm Did some dynamite slip into the pockets, Jack? We have some dynamite, yeah. We have some dynamite if shit, shit hits the fan. We might end up sliding some dynamite into someone's face. Mm-hmm. Chocolate. I'm setting my stuff up so I can stream in a bit, says Aqua. Nice. Uh, GG's. Go to the mission, says Juan. We might. We might, guys. I gotta make myself a trinket, though, because we just hunted the legendary wolf. So I'm currently en route to hand in the legendary wolf pelt. So, you've got your main missions in this game, guys, that don't- anybody who's interested in this game that doesn't know, right, including Meek and everybody else. If- you can kind of do, like, your main quests and stuff, but there's, like, so much side content that I have just got lost in doing, and it's actually so much fun. That guy just called me a cocksucker. I've played so much poker, so much blackjack, I've spent so much time hunting, so much time fishing, uh, so much time doing, like, bounties and shit, and some challenges, and- it's actually just so much fun. It is actually really, really good. Really good quality. None of the world seems dead, and there's a couple of bugs here and there, but with a game of this magnitude, it's kind of to be expected. Where... Oh, dude, is the fence, like... I think he's round here, right? Come on, horse. Yeah, yeah, I found it, I found it, I found it. This is like the battles, dude. Doing the battles. The banter in the battles. Right. I... I, right, I would like to... Wait a minute. Why is there not a craft option here? Is it buy? Uh, wait, this is the trapper, dude. I'm looking for the fucking fence. Am I in the wrong place? Am I drunk? Oh, what the fuck? How did I end up here? Excuse me. Oh, so sorry about that. Where is he? Is he over here? My god, dude. Please. Fence person. Is this you? Is he in here? Oh, thank the heavens. Uh, oh god, why are you all the way up here? What the fuck is this? Is this the room of requirement or some shit? Hello, good sir. Dude, it took me like 12 years to find your goddamn shop. I'm here to sell some shit. Uh, gold bar. Wait, what? Sell for a thousand dollars? Have you guys seen that? Oh no, sell for five hundred dollars. I've got two of them though. We're rich boys. Oh, get in my belly. Right, the gold nugget. We're... Mm, I'm tempted to kind of keep that. We need the necklace. We're handing that in to somebody. I would like for you to craft me something. I'm going to take the balls of the legendary wolf and we're going to turn it into this wolf heart trinket. Um, player can consume two times more alcohol before feeling negative effects or being drunk. It's kind of shit, not going to lie, but it's fine, we'll take it. I'm going to hang that on my horse. Thank you, kind sir. Grazie, grazie. Can I sell any more shit to you or nah? What random piss do we have in here? No, that's fine. Okay, back to the horse we go. We've got a new trinket, guys. We can now get fucking hammered twice as fast. Yo, Chuckabuzz and Isaacard, what's up? Welcome. Welcome, guys. That was a face. Yeah, sorry. I was a bit disgusted about the shitty trinket that the, the guy just cut me. Where's my horse? Why is he on the wrong side of the fucking fence? Come here. Horse. What are you doing? Are you drunk? Are you trying to hide? Is this a game of hide and seek? Right, where are we going? Back to the camp. 
The camp is a fucking mile away though. I'm tempted to just take the skate the stagecoach. Oh we're just gonna ride the horse, it's fine. Maybe we'll get some fun shit to do on the way there. It will maybe just get some fun shit. I don't even know why the horse was in there. Alright. Come on, suit. We're gonna get your booty out of here. We're gonna head home. There's a fucking trap. Now, one of my horses got hit by this earlier and it doesn't end well, okay? So don't let that happen, guys. If your horse tries to throw itself in front of an oncoming tram, you have to stop the horse from trying to kill itself, okay? We, d we don't want that. Nobody wants that. You'll actually get hammered half as fast. You buy twice as much now, says Tori. That's a good point, yeah. Yeah, we get hammered a little bit slower. Well, technically, we're, we're still hammered. I think he just holds his drink a little bit more. He said that we can drink twice as much and feel less negative effects, right? Pox is Lucy. The daily grind. Look at these mad fuckers. I don't really like being in the big city, guys. It kind of intimidates me. I just like when the town's... When the city's very small, you know? You know when there's like two shops and like a butcher and then a trapper? That's what I like. I don't like when the city's too big because there's too much shit going on. Juan says, first the mission. No, dude. We're not doing the mission right now. I know you guys want me to do the mission, but you just gotta relax, okay? We spent all day doing the missions. We're taking a little bit of a chill time now. I'm wondering why Sue is extra slow. Is there actually a king alligator in this game, guys? Like, is there a giant crocodile? I kind of wish there was, like, a giant snake and shit as well. Or is it, maybe it's just giant buffalo and shit, I don't know. Horse suicide prevention, beware of trams. Yeah, exactly. Getting hammered is half the fun, though, says Jesse. True, true, yeah. You guys are not speaking illogically. I'm not sure what to do, says Aqua. Shall I use the microphone on my laptop so I can connect my headset to my Xbox controller so I can hear the game music nicely? I mean, it depends, Aqua. That seems like an okay plan. But if you're streaming and you're also running the stream through the laptop, the laptop's going to be doing a lot of intense processes. And what I'm thinking is, because you're using the laptop, the fans built into the laptop might, might spin up. And if you're using the microphone inside the laptop, your fans are going to be picked up by the microphone. But obviously you want to stream with game volume. So what I would recommend, Aquia, is that you use the microphone on your headset, but if you want to hear the game volume, take your phone headphones, your iPod headphones, you know, like the little white kind of bud headphones, the little, like you, maybe you've got an iPhone, maybe you've got something else. You must have headphones that you take with your phone, right? Plug those into the controller. Put them under your headset. Talk through the microphone in your headset. Get the game volume through your controller via the Apple headphones. And then there's the best of both worlds. That would be my advice. There's a gator, yes, no snake, I'm afraid, says Andy. That's I. I don't really want to be wrestling a giant python. If I'm being honest, I just kind of thought that'd be cool. Should I put my PC screen loader and use the microphone off my headset? Oh my, you're a genius. Uh, no, it's, I'm not a genius. I've just done this before. <laughs> we streamed Call of Duty once on my console and I had issues with the, the audio for some bizarre reason, but that's what to do. Why can't you just have sent through your headset? It's a bit weird. Um, when you set up like a console and a capture card, the uh, the audio is like kind of weird sometimes. It's weird to try and set up. Yeah. Your headset needs to be connected to the laptop in order for my capture card to have... Yeah, basically you sacrifice your own audio for the stream to have it and then you have to have it like a separate way of like dishing out the audio. It's a bit bizarre. If anybody's had a capture card, you'll know that it's like a thing. Some people have ways around it and ways to get by it, but I've encountered this problem in the past as well. Can I hitch my goddamn fucking horse, please? We have two gifts to give to people in camp. I'm going to deliver these right now. I don't know who they're supposed to go to. I know Tilly is one. So if I see Tilly, I think I've also got something for one of the other females. So these guys, these are all dudes. The camp, I think, is getting bigger. Where are all the females hanging out? There's Tilly. Okay, I've got a necklace for you. What we doing so far, South Arthur? I don't like it. Seems as good a place as any to get right, Tilly, shut your dogs. goddamn mouth and take the necklace. So dumb, Look, I can't give her it. It says give request. I have to wait. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. Okay. My mama was a slave until she was 15. Not now, Tilly. 
Can I give you the request? Anyway, I won't disturb you. Come here! Come here! There, there you go. There. God, I'm trying to give the bitch a necklace. She's just walking away. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Take this. It's What's she giving me? What did she give me? Two health cures. Two health cures? Okay, Mr. Mor Where's my shotgun? Yeah. Right. There's another female we've got something for. Uh, I think I can do it like... Um, Jose enjoys crime novels. I think that's it, right? Is that what we've got? Molly's asked for a pocket mirror. Asked for a naval compass. Is it Hosea's novel? Is that who I've got? I've picked up something. It may have been Hosea. You okay, Don't let it go cold. Come on. I thought it was for a female, but maybe it was Hosea's picture. It's actually kind of hard to tell. Where is Hosea? Hosea? Oh no, it's not for you. What are you doing, Hosea? Are you okay? Hosea? What you making there, old man? A little medicine. Real medicine or snake oil? Just who you think you're speaking to. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you find any ginseng, I'll make some for you. It's easy enough. I actually think I have some ginseng. We collected ginseng. kept me alive far too long. Oh, you outlive us all. Oh, there's an exclamation mark on the map. I see it. Uh, I think I can give him... Can you get out of the fucking way, dude? Why are you here? Give request. There you go. What do you play mostly? Is it Red Dead 2? Asked Dave. Are you talking to me, Dave? We play a whole bunch of games, guys. We do, like, a bunch of variety. This just happens to be the recent playthrough. There's an exclamation mark on the map. Do you guys see this? Aha! For Jack. We might have found the Penny Dreadful novel. I don't have a fancy mic like Jack does. That's okay, though. You don't need a fancy mic to have a good setup. Um, yeah, we we play a wide variety of games, Dave. Um, Red Dead is what we're on just now, and we've been at it for quite a while. If you want to see what kind of games we play, I recommend that you click the... Uh, in fact, I got you right now, actually. If you guys are bothered, you don't. I'm not saying to subscribe because a lot of our YouTube is VODs these days, but if you go into the playlist part of our, uh, our YouTube or the history of our YouTube, you'll be able to see all the games we've been playing recently. We played a bunch of Final Fantasy XIII, lastly. We also played through The Wolf Among Us. We also played through... God, I don't even know what we played before that. I'd need to check, but... Oh, God of War this year as well. Here, Jack. Can I give this to you? Jack, take the fucking book, you f... Jack. Hi, Jack. Hello, Arthur. How's the reading going? I'm getting better. Jack. Take the goddamn... Good. Well, keep it up. Just take it. Okay, Uncle Arthur. Take it, Jack, please. Why? Any closer, you'll squish me, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> Just take the goddamn book. I hate you. If I could punch you right now, I would. Jack. Oh, thank God. I was outside the camp. I couldn't interact with him. Thanks so much, Uncle Arthur. Do you want to have this? I found it in your camp. What is it? Thanks, Jack. Jack's such a sweetheart, dude. Aaron boy, chocolate bar. Hell yeah, dude. I don't know what the chocolate bar does for us. Should we check it out? Yeah, I was asking you, what can I expect next? So, Dave... Just as a heads up, okay, I've got two games lined up right now, so we're doing Red Dead. I've also downloaded and purchased Shadow of the Tomb Raider to play with you guys, but word of warning. So if my holiday goes through, guys, um, and I am, you know, we get away successfully, I'm going to be AFK for three weeks. Um, when we come back, there's a bunch of games ready. We're going to be playing through the Final Fantasy VII Remake. We're going to be playing through Persona 5 The Royal, which is going to take us quite a while, but I'm, I'm so excited for Persona 5. That's going to be an epic time. Um, obviously, you've got The Last of Us 2, not too far on the horizon. In June, you've got Ghost of Tsushima coming out. There's Cyberpunk later on in the year at some stage. There's the Resident Evil 3 remake at some point. Yo, Dave. All right, just 
just uh, just uh, pop right off then. Why don't you? Take it, you little sheet. Yo, Dave, thank you for the Twitch Prime. You're insane. Last of Us got me. <laughs> Dave, listen, I appreciate you doing that, dude. We are going to be AFK, guys, for three weeks. But this. that being said, guys, as it stands, I hope my holiday goes through because I've been waiting on it for like a good two years or whatever, right? Saved up a long time for it. Booked it all. It's all organized. We're all good to go. If it gets cancelled because of Corona or whatever, if we get stranded somewhere or I come back early or something, we'll be able to jump straight back in and we won't have as much downtime. But um, yeah, that is our plan. There'll be a bunch of updates. Again, there's the Discord that Andy's just linked. Thank you, Andy. If anybody joins the Discord, just give me a shout or Andy can actually promote you and change your nickname and shit. But uh, yeah, thank you for that, Dave. That's insane. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. You didn't have to do that, man. But GG's. That helps me out massively. So uh, thank you. We've actually had a ton of subs today, guys. I'll get around to having a look at them in just a little second. Um, This horse is kind of, you know the white horse? It's kind of running rampant in the camp. I kind of want to stow it in a stable. But I don't know if I can. There's a request over here next to my camp, I think. Oh, Jose. Oh. Did he? Oh, she's having problems again. Shaving kit. The medicine should be here, right? Examine flower. Take potent health cure. Hair pomade. What is that, dude? I can't even pick up the health care. Alright, I'm going to sit my ass down on the bed here. F for the mission. We'll be, uh, Corona will like, uh, will be like no vacation for you. Yeah, hopefully not. I really hope it doesn't come with that, guys. I don't leave, I don't leave for another two weeks. But, um, obviously there's room there for more countries to go on lockdown and stuff. Obviously the Netherlands announced today that they were on lockdown. Italy's on lockdown. Obviously China and some of Asia is on lockdown as well. It's a bit crazy. Apparently I've just heard that from f for from now onwards, apparently only British people from Europe are the only people allowed into the US, which is a bit fucking weird. Um, I guess to a certain degree it kind of makes sense because Britain's like the furthest part of Europe to the west and closest to America so I guess it's like technically safer or some shit I don't fucking know maybe it's just because Great Britain and America get on so well I don't know what the fucking dealio is there but um, obviously there's more and more places that are kind of locking their borders for the time being I don't know what's going to happen but I'll keep you guys posted obviously uh, the Discord is the best place to kind of keep updated thank you again Dave for the uh, the Twitch Prime dude massively appreciate that alright cheers that goes a long way to helping me out every single month thank you Right, guys, we are going to uh, save our game here. Let's actually just see how much progress we've made today. If I go into the... Apparently, we've done 36% of the story. If I go into the story mode, I should be able to save my game here. Um, we were at 46.7% when we started today. I'm going to save over this. We'll see what we go up to. Because we made a little bit of progress today. We're almost at 50%. Jesus. <laughs> this game has got so much content, it's actually insane. But uh, we're we're kicking the shit out of it slowly but surely. I'm loving it, guys. I feel like we're doing it right, though. I feel like we're taking our time and just doing anything we want in the game. We're not rushing anything. I feel like that a game like this deserves that kind of level of treatment. But it's been a lot of fun. I will be back tomorrow, guys. Uh, a shorter stream today. We only stream for about seven hours and forty three minutes, which is close to eight hours, so it's not so bad. But I did start an hour later today. Normally we start at ten a.m. UK today. I need another extra hour to prepare and get ready and stuff. But Thank you guys all for coming and hanging out. Thank you for all the new follows, guys. Uh, I put in my stream title that we're at 600 followers, which is actually unreal. So big, big thank you to everybody who's been kind of hanging out recently. All the people who have joined our Discord. Anybody who's gifted subs, uh, resubscribed yourselves using either your own money or Twitch Prime. I go on and on about this, but it really does uh, help me out a lot every single month. Every single bit pieces together to help out me and Mrs. Wilfie, so thank you. Uh, I'm just going to quickly run through and shout out some of you guys if he's fancy it. If not, have a fantastic evening. I'll hopefully see you guys tomorrow. But um, just real quick here, we had just Richard subscribing for his second month with us today. So shout out to Richard for being amazing. We got a donation from Mufasa. Uh, a donation for £3, which was kind. Phoenix came in with a host, Kalmar, resubscribed with Prime. We had Jesse Raiders earlier on as well with a party of four, which was excellent. True Maverick gifted a bunch of bits in our stream. And he also gifted a tier one sub to Steven and to Silent Fusion. Jesse gifted a sub over to Dusty Road, so thank you True Maverick and Jesse. Riley then came in with the host. Jesse did his own resub uh, with Prime. 
Lucy give us a host and now Dave's come in with the Twitch Prime as well. So massive amount of support today, guys. Really, really grateful. You guys continue to impress me every single day and I'm very, very thankful. Joe says, thanks for today. Thank you, Joe, for coming and hanging out. You're a legend, dude. Much appreciated. Um, I'm all doing the 100% grind when you find out how big the game is. Yeah, I can imagine. The game's insane, but we'll be seeing you all in Discord then, says Dave. We'll shout to you guys. Thank you, guys. Let me run through the users in the chat real quick and give you guys some love here. We've got... Okay. Um Jesus Christ, dude. Um J Bob. J Bob, are you doing that thing again? Alright, well, that's the thing that happened. That's that's more than twenty-five dollars worth of subs, by the way. Holy moly, Juan's here. Juan, you've been amazing. Thank you for being here. I'm sorry we didn't do the mission, but I promise. I promise I'll do it tomorrow. Don't hate me, Juan. You're amazing. Thank you. Juan, all the way from Chile, guys. Legend. And then lastly, we've got Nadro here. j Bobby monster, dude. Um, wow. Nice one, j Bob. Thanks, everyone. Stay safe. Thank you, Jesse. You guys are crazy. <laughs> Lot <Lord> of <laughs> Why you guys gotta go ahead and break me like this? J Bob gets five subs. They go over to uh, X Miller, uh, to Joe, Ivan Doss. Uh, Ivan, welcome back to your third one. Uh, you got a new sub badge with us today. So thank you, J Bob, for gifting a sub to Ivan. Ivan's been a big part of our community in the past, and I'm very, very grateful that he's here. Um, again, Juan and also Nadro. Nadro was excellent here yesterday. So big shouts to him again. He's been amazing. I think he was here today as well, actually. I think I said hello to him. But yeah, we've had a lot of pop in streams recently, guys, and it's quite hard for me to adapt from going from like 10 viewers to like. 25 viewers and above and um, obviously it fluctuates depending on what day it is but the red dead community has been absolutely insane so far every every single person that's came in to visit us has been incredible um it's quite hard for me to transition from a smaller stream to like potentially having like double the viewers sometimes it's harder for me to interact with you guys as much it's harder for me to keep up sometimes i'm trying to concentrate on the game and i'm concentrating on the chat too much and then the game lacks and I'm just practicing. I'm getting better as, as uh, I'm trying to get better, basically. So I love you guys a lot. I'm going to run through the users real quick here and shout you guys out really quickly. So we've got Alfred Judicus, another TV viewer, Aquia Gamer, Chewy V2, Commander Root, XS, J Bob, Jesse. Um, we've got Joe, Juan, King Dong, J Cram, Leek underscore I'm, uh, Lurks, Miss Crazy Cat Ladies Back, MK Dave, Pokemark, Roxas, Serenity, Steven Open Business, Streamlabs, Tori San, VK, Virgo Pros, um, Exmo Cadis and ex -Amelia. Thank you guys, these are insane. If you just want, we could potentially host, do, have we got anybody that we want to host? Or raid, just a curiosity. The Honey Bear. I would love to raid the Honey Bear. Now the Honey Bear is playing some League of Legends guys, I know it's far from what we're doing just now, but if anybody's at all interested, I'm gonna raid this guy because he's super nice to have us. He's been part of our community for a long time and he deserves some love, so even if you guys are just gonna drop in and say hello, make sure you're polite to him, be nice to him. And uh, if he's don't if he's can't be arsed with any of that shit, then feel free to dip out. But I'll be back tomorrow, guys. I'm gonna prepare him uh, uh, for the raid here. Can I find the honey bear? Honey bear. I think it's, is it the real honey bear? There we go. All right, this dude has five viewers right now. I will speak to you guys on the flippy flop, guys. I'm gonna start the raid, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, love you guys lots. Peace out. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow. When I find my ending screen, I will disappear. Professional streamer, by the way. There it is.